Yo, what's up, guys? Happy Tuesday. Happy... Reset day? Dude, I don't know how 14 does their stuff. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's a joke. Hey, what's up, guys? We're back. Back on 14. Let's go. I'm gonna hop right in. We got business to attend to right now. Let's do the thing, shall we? What up? Hey, Brookie. Hey, Willow. Uh, Darabon. Uh... Logan, hello. How you doing? I know, I know, I didn't have the, I didn't have the, the, um, the right, um, thingy on, I know. My announcement was that, oh my god, Velvet! Ah, uh, Velvet, I think, just cleared. Yo, we got a gamer in the house. Free to play Orthos? Yeah. Actually, that would be Palace of the Dead. You can free to play Palace of the Dead. Yo, Velvet, congratulations. Thank you for sharing the congratulations over here. Let's go, dude. Happy Tuesday, just cleared EO for the first time. Uh, thank you so much for the great content. Hey, it is my pleasure to be doing the thing I love to do, and then you get the benefit off of it too, so... Hell yeah, dude. That could've killed me, I don't care. On heaven on high right. Um, you know, I wonder... Uh, can you do free trial on, uh... Can you technically do free trial with Stormblood? I know free Stormblood is like free at the moment, but I don't think it's the same thing, right? Come on! Uh, this is good, right? Should be enough. Maybe it wasn't trial, but free for a bit. Gotcha. Where's my... Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was trying to find where Holy Circle is. Hey, well, how, how you guys doing? And, and thank you for the five gifted subs. I appreciate it. Congratulations on your title. I hope everyone else is doing an amazing time as well as just Velvet is. Um, any tips for Paladin higher up? Um... Really, really leverage the silver chests. That's one thing that really helped me a lot. Silver chest landmines are huge with Paladin, especially with Hollow, especially with Clemency. Um, I mean, really like your traditional tank strats, um, where you want to make sure that you keep the pulls, you know, as um, as high as possible. Keep your DPS up as possible. Make the movements very concise. I mean, it's very similar to the healer run, uh, if you will. And you're you're trained for healer, so he this would be a lot faster than healer, generally speaking. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So keep that in not keep that in mind. But yeah, that's that's the best of it. Um, you know, obviously you know you're gonna study for uh for uh behemoth, but behemoth wasn't too bad. Um, I mean it's a little precise, but it's not too too bad. So. Kitsu says, I got a new PB today, reaching 96. I'm not even out of here. What in the world? Reaching 96 and heaven on high without much time left. Okay. So I another Dark Knight, which I'm planning to finish tomorrow. Okay, okay, okay. That's Prague. Way to go. Let's go. Main tip, reroll. This is a. This is really a free-to-play game for Loken, isn't it? Reroll. Start all over again. Make a new account. Um, yeah, Velvet, congrats. Um, let me see if I missed any other message. Ada, hello. Uh, I'm not pulling with those grenades. I am, I am a smart gamer, unlike some of you crazy people. You, some of you people are weird and crazy. Why can't you ban Will anymore? <laughs> anymore? <laughs> it's like you've tried before. Yeah, kids, you got this, dude. Are you just giving me imps? We are using the playlist. I'm not- I, I'm kind of lazy about the mimic counter, but to be fair, like, the mimic counter is weird, because, you know, we're doing two different files today, so... So I'll probably do the mimic counter maybe, uh, on Thursday and Sunday, when we get back into it. Sometimes, you know, I don't know how you guys feel, um... Sometimes when I take like a little bit of an extended break from 14, like extended break, like yeah, like six days, 
uh, I get worried that I forget how to play the game, and then all all it takes is for me to just play the game, and it's like, oh yeah, I kind of just remember how to play the game. <laughs> it's like, what am I concerned about? I know how to play this game. What's the big deal? I mean, maybe it's more maybe it's more pronounced in like in like a rating environment. Um, you know, since things are like a lot more precise, but especially with Deep Dungeon, it eases into it. Uh, so it's just like, yeah. I mean, I did forget where Holy Circle was, but I mean, that's that's just that's more because I'm not that familiar with the job, more than playing the game, you know. No, it is it is straight up muscle memory, but sometimes I concern myself with that. Especially, I think more so because I've been playing a controller for Honkai, um, so it's like a completely different, uh, you know, playpad. But I don't want a multi pull with a gloom. I mean, I have HP up, but. I'm playing- I'm gonna play, like, semi-safe. Uh... Whatever that means. Oh! Oh, I didn't hit the Dahak. I actually completely thought I hit the Dahak. But he didn't care about my AoE, so... Fuck. Tend to get nervous when tanking, when not- when not playing well. Yeah, that's a- that's a- that's a roll that for sure would give you some anxiety on that one. I can totally see that. Well, I ended up pulling the hawk anyway. The hawk you see in there. Oh, I don't have a gap closer. Rip. Did you see? Uh, yes, you got the you got the full destruction, right? Yeah, that's what cleared me on World Four. Um, part of me is like, oh god, I, I want to do it now. Like, I want to go in like like tomorrow night when I have time and just spam it. But I'm saving it for stream. It gives me stream content, so um. And I'm not in a rush. I already re I already capped out the weekly reward. <laughs> so it's like, what am I rushing for? You know, what's the big deal? I'll just do it when I when once I get there. Uh, when I had a break for 1.5 weeks in our static some time ago, I guess I'm taking the hawk with me. Uh, I couldn't remember my opener. Oh my god, there's so many dragons. Uh, couldn't remember my opener in my head. So played it clean because my fingers just did it. I remember a dis a very distinct memory. Um, so I went to a I went to an all boys high school. It was a private school, so like it was a lot stricter. Um, we had lockers with locks and everything. And it's one of those things where like if you forget your combination, you basically have to do detention. That's it. Like you forgot your combination, your penalty is like detention. So there was just one time I think I, I was coming I, I was away from school for for like for like a reason, um, and I get to my locker and I think about my combo. I'm like, what is my locker combo? I'm trying to think of the numbers and I'm like, I don't know the numbers on my thing and I'm panicking because I don't want detention. You know, I'd never had detention before, um, and you know what I literally did? I literally just went up to my combination and I just turned my hands to the locker because it was a rotating rotating combo and I got it. <laughs> That's it. That's all I did. I was just like, okay, I'll just press the buttons and see what happens and yeah, I just... It worked. I'm like, wow. Okay. Let's go. Muscle memory for the win. Um, it was like the one and only time ever that I straight up relied on muscle memory to, to remember how to do it. I was amazed at myself, you know? That's how I used to do phone numbers back in the non cell phone days. I couldn't tell you a number, but I could dial it. Yeah, it's just like a like a pattern, right? It's incredible how, how that works. We switch in PvP, PvP, forgetting my rotation, whatever. It's rare. Right. I haven't. You piece of crap, the hawk. I'm like, oh, I have an opening, and the hawk's like, no, you don't. <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? About to lose the Shanghai hand. Hey, Dan J, how you doing? Uh, I think that one on the top left is gonna move, so... Gotta respect his butt. I'm gonna shank before I enter this floor. By the way guys, really excited about this, you see it in the title. 
we have a merchandise store now for the channel. And the the items we have t-shirts, coasters, and stickers. And they're all related to first we have Palace of Dead and Heaven on High Rewards. I think eventually we will try to do Eureka Orthos. It'll be it'll be sometime. Don't hold your breath. Um but we're gonna we're gonna have those and um you know if you wanna kinda represent the community, support the channel. Maybe if you go on a fan fest, you know, showcase, you know, hey, I'm part of the Deep Dungeon community. Check those stuff out. Also, it, it is... I do have quite the amount of control with that. So if there's any thoughts that you have, any suggestions, anything you, like, may see that needs to be corrected, definitely talk to me. Uh, I'll try to help you resolve it. So, um, that is... We're gonna kind of, you know, push, push that and announce that. Um, throughout the... well, I guess forever. Um... You know, that's of interest to you. Uh, I'm really excited. It, that has been something that I was working on for almost a year. I got the option with that website that we're using, which is called Fourth Wall. They came, they approached me a year ago. They're like, hey, we think, uh, we think your channel can, can get benefit off this, off this thing. I'm like, you know what? I like it. But then I'm like, it's gonna take me a while to get something together, but you know what? I'll keep this in mind. One year later, finally able to have something, so. Um, but I hope you like it if you do get it. So far, there have been, uh, my mods have them, and they've, they've been pretty happy with it so far. They were, uh, kind of my test subjects, but not really. And, uh, yeah. Really excited about that. Doing okay, Dan J? Good to hear it, man. Um, nope. We got a bomb. We got the bomb incident. Okay. I kinda wanna maybe do big pulls in the next- Actually, yeah, maybe I do big pulls after the bombs get out of here. I don't wanna big pull with bombs out. Like, feel safe. I think I'll get the lone shirt. Make clear when I get it. Hell yeah! Yeah, yeah! I, I, I made a note in the... <laughs> I made a note with the description of this shirt, you don't have to clear. But, you know, I, I think some guys will probably feel a lot better having this shirt as like a, almost like a trophy, if you will. Which is completely fair. Um, but... I went to the bar and got hit by every girl. Every girl? Thank you. Every girl. Oh crap. Well, I got Sealy today. You're cool. I'm only missing four characters. Wow. Are you so so? Don't take this the wrong way, Ether Bunny. Uh, I'm I'm just curious, like genuinely curious. Like, are you doing free to play? Have you have you done like your low budget? Um, you're free to play, and you got that much. Wow, it's cool. Yeah, I have a lot of characters to go. I mean, I don't have a big roster at all. Is using what the game gives you. Yeah, I, I there's like a whole lot. I mean, I don't have Clara. I don't have Welts. I don't have Bailu. Um, I don't have Sampo. Um, so there's a lot that I don't have. Um, so, but but I'm not complaining. Like I'm, my roster is full already. Like I'm having a tricky time leveling things, which is a good thing to some extent, right? Um, so uh, yeah, definitely not complaining. I I did some um, I did some of the forgotten. The Forgotten Hall, and it really does focus on your you having the proper comp for the challenge. So I'm starting to see where variety is really helping and hurting. Um, so uh, gonna hope that I can. Uh, oh, I'll see how far I can get. But I but I I got the the 15 we needed for the for the weekly for the weekly thingy. Just got Himiko and you're opening 10 full. Got Claire in it. Wow, damn, dude. Damn, Ether Bunny, let's go, dude. Congrats. You know, I, I wonder how I would be. I wonder how I would like to go. Like, I think honestly, I might actually prefer duplicates over variety, but the variety will open so many doors. That's the thing. Um. But yeah, I'm with you. I, I want to play with what the game gives me and make the most out of it. Um. You know, that's that's what would make it a lot of fun for me personally. I mean, that's what's gonna make it fun to me in general. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna play free to play only two. It's just yeah yeah, and and I'm getting to what I call the maintenance mode for the game. Um, like I'm almost at like the end of the content, and I don't know about I don't know how you guys feel, but I felt like the amount of content that they brought out for um for 1.0 was was pretty damn good. Um, I mean I know I know like a lot of us are probably pushing pretty hard. Like, cause we have the time, we're, we're gamers, dude. Um, we're grinders, but, um... In respect to that, and kind of thinking about, like, the average gamer, I, I think they brought out a really good amount of content for 1.0. So I'm interested to see what the special event's gonna be, I'm interested to see how much they push out in 1. Um, 1.1. I know Genshin had a lot of game modes that got introduced over time, and I have no idea what they are, but... Um, I know that they existed, so... Kind of excited to see what they're gonna think about for, uh, for, uh, for Honkai. I think I've cleared Forgotten, Five Forgotten Worlds so far, three stars, so far at Harkir. Yeah, I've done, um, I think I'm on, like, I'm pretty far. I think I'm on, like, number nine with, uh, with the Forgotten, with the Forgotten Hall. So I got pretty far with that, and I'm, I haven't, I haven't, like, I, essentially I just didn't have time to keep going. But I kept trying to trying to trying to do it, and I was having a good time. And I didn't realize how how, how pretty good the rewards were. All right, come on, boys. Hey, Apple, Opal, how you doing? Happy Tuesday. Welcome in. Uh, I don't want the bomb, so we're not taking the bomb. Oh, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> I, I hollowed by accident. Okay. Yeah, I've been playing a few hours a night, enjoying the story, doing all the side chests, exploring, just unlock third world. Nice. Yeah, I'm about to do the. I think I'm about to finish the story. I'm probably doing that tomorrow night. I'll finish the story tomorrow night. Um. And then I think I have enough for like two pulls, Ether, on the on the standard banner on the standard pull. Yeah, I think I have enough for two pulls on the standard pull, so that's gonna be on Friday. I'm just holding. I'm I'm pulling. I'm doing all pulls on stream. I have a couple buddies that complete the opposite of me. They don't want to pull on stream because they feel like their luck is bad on stream. And look, that's completely valid. For me, it's like you know what? I think it's more exciting if I pull on stream because everyone sees what what I'm gonna be doing. And this is what I'm working with kind of thing, so I'm, I'm like, a little bit happier in doing it that way. And we've been pretty fortunate. I'm pretty happy with the, the stuff we got. I mean, we have Himiko, we have Sile. I have actually not been able to get it, taken advantage of, uh, Jepard yet. I know he's good. And I got his, um, his, his, uh, latent, uh, his ability for, uh, for getting more, for being more aggro, but... Um... I just haven't had the opportunity to really build him, so... Got the merch store, guys. I'm gonna be pushing that pretty hard, but I'm pretty excited because... The, the artist did a fantastic job on the on the work there. And, um... Yeah, I, I really like the, you know, the, the theme of it and, and the overall style of it, so... I want to make sure that uh, everyone knows. And and I'm gonna... Um, I have a lot of options, by the way, with the merch store. I can integrate it with Twitch, um, where when I'm streaming, someone can actually gift on the store to like to like be like a gift redemption. So like they hit a button, and then um, I can do a giveaway if someone does that, but I have to be live. And then it's also I also integrated it to YouTube because they gave I do have that option. So all of the videos on YouTube, every single one of them, will have the the store on the bottom, all the items on the bottom, which I think was just so cool. I it's one button and it goes to every single video that's on the channel, and there's a lot. Like imagine if I had to do that one at a time. I just hit one button and it puts the channel wide. So. Um, I'm probably gonna hold my special banner pull till next banner. I've gotten a character, so I'm typing every 10 and 2 things, so I... Okay, so wait, did you get Sile or did you not get Sile? I'm holding... I can't remember if we talked about it, maybe we did get Sile, but yeah, I'm probably gonna hold for the third banner. You did get her, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna hold for the third banner also. 
I don't think I'm gonna get enough pulls. Like, I wanna get, like, 180 pulls before I go for a banner. Because, man, it's just gonna become this, like, horrible chain reaction, right? If I just have enough for 90, and then I try to pull the next banner and I don't get anything, well, then what happens to the banner after that? Do I keep pulling for 90? So I'd rather go for the guarantee over the, uh, over the... Over the other way, you know? You went Kafka? <laughs> what about, um, the... I don't want to be too spoilery. Kafka, Kafka you see at the very beginning, so that's fine. I don't want to be too spoilery. But the... the little girl with the pink hair. I don't think she's part of the character list, right? She is totally becoming a character, right? <laughs> like, she... She's absolutely becoming a character in the future, if she isn't already. She looks cool with what she can do. Um... Oh. I had fun when we could play Kappa and the Trill. You know, I honestly completely forgot... ...what she did. I think I, it was such a blur for me, because I was still kind of understanding the game. I don't- I didn't even remember we played as her anymore. But it's kind of cool that, um... It's kind of cool that they have a lot of characters already available, and you could already see where the next characters are going to be, right? Even the story kind of... like, from, from where the story is going, you can totally see where they can go with the story, and there's so much, like, lore that they can explore. They really did kind of a decent job with, uh, with that stuff, so... Damn it, I hate pulling when I already opened the acid. We're actually going really slow, by the way. This, uh, this is not working as well as I wanted it to, so I'm probably gonna try to go faster here after this pull. I think the bombs are gone, so... Gave me all silvers? Alright, no, I'm out of here. Um, I'm gonna re-strength and steal on the... on the on the floor transition and then we'll just go through. Let me speed this up a bit. We're going, like, really slow. I'm in POTD Ninja, making as many bunnies as possible. <laughs> Easter's already done. Good song. Good song to make some uh, big pulls. I don't have a witching though, so I'm bummed. Intuition? Sure. Damage with me. Good. Ooh, this is silver chest, huh? If I can take advantage of the silver chest. So, uh, there's a couple silver chests. Ow. Ow. Knock it out. Oh my god, this spite is just not taking damage because he's not in the- he's not taking the- uh, he's not anywhere nearby. I guess it doesn't matter. Relax! Stop! Stop! Well, let me get these guys to the silver- to the- let me get them to the other silver chest first before we do this. Nine I get music, random ball, not alone. Yeah. I love the music from Nine. God damn it. Okay, well, this will be a good spot to uh, deal with the behemoths going in ham. Because I'm gonna have to respect them. Oh 
Oh, uh, not really. Alright, that's all I can take. I'm out of here. <laughs> Alright. We can't do any more? Okay. Oh no, that's a bad spot. I'm super dead. I think I'm dead. Oh, I live. It's alright, I'm a paladin. I forgot the, the... I forgot the shield. What a spot for that thing to decide to use the, uh... To decide to use this stupid thing. Also hilarious to me that I was able to mitigate uh Meteor. Because you would think oh, well now you give me the landmine. What the hell dude? You couldn't have done that earlier? It's just hilarious to me that I could mitigate the meteor. No, like where, where in the original Behemoth you can't do that because that's impossible. Can't mitigate. Meteor gives you PTSD. I mean, it should. Like it, it honestly should. To be fair. Um, I can do one at a time. Oh, I got him. Did I hit the right book? Let's go this way. Three enemies over there. Chest and two boots. I will avoid the boots. At least I did use a fresh strength, so I mean, can't complain. I did my best to make sure that that was not wasted. I think the ice sprites I need to get rid of. Uh, Alme! Thanks for all the welcome in. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Almost certain I have to kill the ice sprites. Because I think they're all proximity. I'll just deal with both of them, I guess. Do I have enough damage here? I don't. Well... I mean, I kinda do. Uh, pull. pull. Come along, I- water sprites. Come here, this way. I have two fashions that are following somewhere. There's the one. Right. Uh, I'm gonna wait for it to come here. Oh. Alright, well I guess I'll just do all of them. 
guess it's a party in this house right now. The bright side, they're doing it at the same time. It is an orange key, so I guess it's not bad. I still have to kill a bunch. If I have to kill three, then I... this is not a bad play at all. Steel is down. Well, so much for a speedrun, but I'd have to push so hard for a speedrun anyway, so it's fine. Beasts. Uh, I'm gonna try to do a site. Big ass room, and that's a landmine. Alright, so we'll try to do a landmine, although I have to be careful because I don't have, um... I don't have steel on. I need to be a little bit careful. I also don't have movement speed apparently, so that's also great. Um, and I might have to run all the way back for that landmine, so I need to keep that in mind as well. I'm gonna focus target you. I can't get to him. There is a landmine here, so that's good. Need a little bit more. I don't know why I'm walking to the wall when I already know where the landmines and where the traps are. Okay, I gotta go backwards to go for the uh... I'm gonna just go now because um, I don't need a silver chest. Gotta get everyone gathered first, and then we'll hit the landmine. I have hollowed for this move. I do have fortune as well. No premature movements. Wait for everyone to get here. Hollowed. AoE down. I missed one. Awesome. Love that for me. Got another Storms, and a Dread. You know what? One of the better fortunes I've ever seen in this game. If only I can get a Demi-Clone, then we're talking. Negatif. Blind, my favorite. I love blind. Tempted to just storms here. So I think I actually might just storms here. I'm gonna pop a strength though. Because, um. Oh, but this is a small room. Because there's two chests here and I didn't alter. So that means that it's going to be a three or four room. I do now have the fortune, but I don't think I'm gonna do the thing. Aha, but we have a silver chest. Let's try to get these guys over here. Let's get them below 70 if I can, then we'll pop the silver chest. Should be able to stay alive here, no problem. Just five. I'm definitely gonna say we, we tried- we had done this last Sunday. Not the Sunday previous when I was playing Honkai. But when we were doing the charity run for Machinist. And getting the playlist back in order was really nice. Like, it, it felt really good to have the playlist back. Like, I was actually enjoying the content more. 
So I'm happy that we have we have returned to the playlist. And I, I hit my criteria. The criteria was that I was gonna clear off the path, and we did. So um, here we are. <laughs> we're doing uh, we're doing the thing. So playlist is in. I might pop in uh, off the path boss music for like Twintania. I don't quite like the boss music that's played in uh, Twintania upwards. So just bear that in mind. But uh, outside of that. We'll just be doing the random playlist. We will keep the boss song coming in here though, because I do like um, Calamity Unbound. Uh, it's a good song, so I, I do like that one. But uh... <laughs> in terms of the boss ones from like 40 upwards are gonna are gonna be are gonna be replaced. Hey Rin, how you doing, man? It's been going well. Um, been having a good time. Playing some Honkai, which was really, really fun for me, so I don't know if anyone else is playing it or if you're playing it yourself, but I've been having a blast with that game. But it's been good! So I hope you're you're having a good Tuesday on your end. I shouldn't have done that. I'll have one up again. Oh, I need to go in between. We're gonna do ads in between floors, by the way, so expect a three-minute ad once we kill this boss, but I will go right back, right back in. So just to give you guys a heads up on that one. Usual ad, ad, after boss kills, so on and so forth. I gotta remember this rotation, hold on. Interesting spot there. Man, I'm almost halfway done. Something I don't miss. Get to the combo finisher. Eh, kind of. Okay, right here. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't get it off. God damn it. I was able to, but I just... I moved away just too late. Alright, ads coming in, guys. Actually, before I hit the ads, let me do some partial announcements. And then I'll hit the ad. Okay. So before I hit the ad, one, I'm gonna be pushing this pretty much on stream a lot in this week since it's brand new. We have our merch store that is brand new, just released as of yesterday. Um, so check it out if you want to see some uh, Deep Dungeon related stuff. Also, also, equally as important, I released a survey yesterday as well. EO Deep Dungeon Survey. What are your thoughts about Eureka Orthos if you haven't put in your responses yet? We have, uh, I'm gonna check it right now. We have 381 responses right now. That is a lot of people. That is way more than the, some of the other surveys we put in um, before when we were talking about community feedback and something like that. Um, so if you have some thoughts about Eureka, going into it, experiencing it, and you want to share them, we're going to be working on just getting all the information together, what everyone says. Uh, I had said in the announcement in Discord that I might do it on Reddit. And I might actually make a separate one for Reddit. I want this, this is like, you know, the people who are invested with the Deep Dungeon, with the community, with the channel. I might put one on Reddit. I'm, I don't know, I'm still on the fence about Reddit. But I might do a separate one, because it might muddle the results a little bit. Um... So that's what we got. But anyway, check those out while some of you will be hitting the ads. Listless, good to see you. I'm about to hit an ad if you're seeing one, but we'll be back in three minutes. We're going to go right into the next four. So thank you guys for watching. We'll step into 11. I'm going to refood up. I'm going to kill the music so I can get my own music up. And let's go in. I'm going to try to do this one a little bit faster. This floor in particular, I'm a little bit better with in terms of speed. So, Plus we got good music, so all the more. Open with the strength. Good old Final Fantasy X thirteen two music. Oh wait, I have Holy Spirit, I forgot. That's gonna be a big pull and I don't have to steal. Oh, this is gonna be a really big pull and I don't have to steal. Okay, I'm gonna fortune here.
storms. Uh, I might actually just use that because that's three. Hold on. Oh, I can't see. Uh, storms. Sight, serenity, good enough. I kind of don't want to sit more than uh, three storms, or rather more than two. So I saw the storm, so I used it. Easy game. There's the Doga. Let's see if we get a landmine here. And I gotta keep track of it if I do see it. Got a little last one, minute. I know it's been something I've always I've been uh, I've been debating on streaming because I do like that game a lot. Pretty good game to revisit, and I think a lot of people. Uh, I would say more than more than not. I think more people haven't played the game than played the game. With a unique game. Oh, it just storms again. Well, if I see a landmine, I'm not gonna storm, so we'll go with that. Rip the strength I used, though. Wait, this one. I'm gonna probably... I'll probably do another fortune here. We'll see. I'm debating on it. I do have a landmine. Yeah, I'll fortune. It's enough chests here. Everyone here? <laughs> That's... I mean... Does it matter? Hold on. Yeah, let's go. Probably storm the next four then. Again, rip the strength, but whatever. Welcome back to the ad, guys. I appreciate you going through that if anyone saw the ad. Anyone who sees an ad, I get revenue out of that. So... You know, I do appreciate it if you sat through it. What ad? I mean, you know, you know, Willow. There is um, there is an ability. I do have an option to uh to turn on ads for subs. <laughs> it's the it's the worst option ever, but it is it is available. <laughs> and I uh, so I went to a, a webinar with Twitch. Who they were talking about? They were discussing the ad incentive program. At least when when it existed. It doesn't exist anymore. The ad incentive program is effectively dead. Um, but when it existed, you know, they were talking to us about what it is and, and and the and the logistics of it and everything. And they're like, yeah, you know, you could turn on subs for you could turn on ads for subs. But he said, statistically speaking, ninety eight percent of the entire Twitch community does not have that on. <laughs> I'm like, who the hell is the 2%? <laughs> Must be some, uh, some real evil people out there. And, and even, like, the Twitch guy. Like, this guy was the one in, like, like, I think he was heading the department for, like, the ad incentive program. And he even, even he's like, yeah, we don't really recommend you turn that on. I'm like, okay. Hey, hey, Laka, how you doing, man? How goes everything? Frogging uh, deep dungeon as DPS when you use the tank as well. Yeah, the uh, the damage adjustment is tough. I mean, if anything, it might balance out. Um, it might balance out in the sense of like, um, you know, you can kill stuff fast, but like having to think about kiting and everything certainly changes a lot of the perspective. You know, so I totally understand that. And that's one reason. Laka, that I like to do some of the jobs like together, the, the job roles together, because I have to adjust my games, my game style, my gameplay to like the role. So like I wouldn't want to go like tank to healer or like healer to DPS or something, 
because you have to play those so differently. If if I can control it, I'd rather I'd rather do um I'd rather do them like together or like separately or something like that. Sounds like the best way to lose subs. I mean, if the money's good, you know, who knows? Who knows what the what the uh, the logic is to try to do that? Um, but I mean, the option is there. So, what's this? Oh, this is Fire Emblem. That's right. Bless JC and for helping me out with that. Chimera didn't kill me, but Gorilla did because Dots kept reaggering. Oh, after the, oh yeah, re-raise pain. Even just Warrior compared to other tanks. Be yes, agreed. I would say like yeah yeah like like even adjusting warrior to like gunbreaker sometimes because it's such a different method of healing. Completely agreed on that. Oh steel. Thank you for the position boost. I'm not checking that silver until I kill everything. Uh do I fortune though? That's a question. I don't think it's like big enough. I can I've seen a bigger room, so I'll probably just forego the uh Oh god. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Man, that would have been real unfortunate if that was an otter trap. Although I probably wouldn't have died. But I didn't even get a button off until I stepped on the trap. YOLO. Nine minutes to the first, uh, five? To the first four? Hey, Fire Emblem into Fire Emblem. Let's go. Oh, rip, no items. So much for this super speed run. Let's see, I'm gonna go the opposite direction. I'll pop this. You need booty sleep? Yo, thanks, thanks. I'll, I'll, I'll try to get through 39. Have a good one, Willow. Thanks for passing by and have a wonderful, wonderful day uh, when you start it off and a uh, wonderful sleep. Hope you have a good stream today and everything it was great. I have to see you soon. Alright, Laka. Appreciate that too. I think I will have a pretty good stream, so thank you for uh for hoping I will. And thanks for passing by. You two get that awesome sleep. Probably need another kill.
Oh, I need another kill. Always fun how like you get a really good pace on a speed run, at least from my experience, and then all of a sudden you get it gets it takes one floor to lose all that time. You know, that you're going fast, but part of the nature of the things. And the one time I want to respawn to be in one of these two rooms, and now it doesn't show up. Ugh. Pain of going one at a time. Can you just open up, like, by me just walking past you? Does that work? New mechanic, Deep Dungeon. Be like, uh, Dark Hold. You stand on the exit long enough, it'll open. <laughs> I can't even cheat to the exit because I gotta make sure it opens. What? Um, what do I want to do? I mean, I can do Big Bowl still because I can Shank Steel. Gonna Doga on the boss. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just go by that. Maybe I don't need to steal though. Oh, whoops. Oh, 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 oh. Semi decent sized room. I'm not gonna pull everything. Affluence. Witching. Ooh. I have full witching, so maybe I. Wait, uh, the exit's here. I might pull the witching uh, to make this just a little simpler. Also, kind of get all the AoEs all at the same time, so it's gonna be kind of nice. Deleted. Wait, there's a chest here. I'll do an affluence here. I probably should have done an affluence too, but on uh, an, an alteration, I mean. Oh, nice. Of course, I did an affluence, so there's no items. That's exactly how it always works every time I do an affluence. Never fails. At least I'm getting pickups. That's the exit, so I'm gonna go this way. I can, let's pull like, five. I think five would be manageable with clemency. I could probably do six, honestly. 
Une. Oh, I can pull Une. Ixaria. Ixer... Ixera. Ixera. Thanks for follow up, man. Sorry, I, I probably killed your name. But, uh, I tried my best. But I hope, uh, you're having a good, uh, what's today? Tuesday? I hope you're having a good Tuesday. Oh, come on, the raised tease. Would that be nice right now? I shouldn't die here, though, to be honest. Not to this. Hello? I should fight somewhere else, because I'm going to aggro that thing by accident if I don't go move. I'm going to move. I'll focus you. The stagger AoE is kind of annoying, honestly. Um, but I mean, it can't be helped. It's just, it's just a little annoying with the staggering of the AoEs. God, the... the shield AoE is so strong. Okay, you dropped stuff, didn't you? No, it was a raising that was there. Okay, we're going. Yeah. I think I got blinded. Oh yeah, sure did. I love me some blind. Am I gonna do anything about it? That's the question. Depends on how many enemies there are. Ah, oh, another raising. If anyone is looking for raising, I apologize in advance. I am taking all of them. This game knows that I've had a problem with Paladin, so it's trying to give it's trying to give me some uh, some hope here. I'm gonna try to play the smart for the silver. This is a pretty big area. I don't want to do too much of a pull here. Ah, hi. Ah, I'll do that. Excuse me, boys. Pardon me, pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. I know some of you have tail swings, I know that. Pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. Oh, uh, let's do the silver chest here. Okay, got the silver chest. Come on, give me a target. Okay, thank you. Perfect execution there. That's that's exactly how you draw it up right there. I'll use the storms on nineteen. Probably. Oop. With a fortune? Question mark? With an alteration. Man, my, my playlist wants to play Fire Emblem. It's played five Fire Emblem songs already. Considering this playlist is 160 deep, it decides to play all the Fire Emblem songs. <clears throat> I mean, the good the good songs, that's why they're there. Um, I have a Purity, so I think I'll just drag these Mimics with me. Which means I'll also try to open this chest, too. I'll do a Fortune. Uh, 
position movement. It's only four rooms, but I have Mimic, so I guess it justifies it a little bit. Um, but do I do the fortune? I mean, do I do the... Eh, you know what? We'll just do this normally. It's not that much. I can save the storms for the next set. Let's just do that. I'm gonna really regret it though if I get a storms, uh... If I get a storms right here with the mimics. But who who knows what's gonna happen, right? Or if that chest right there has the storms. Uh, maybe I should just check it. Nah! No, because I'd have to go through the room and I might aggro the Oracle Hunter. I'll just do it later. So I might regret this, but it's alright. Oh, there's this thing that can do a back swipe, so I need to be careful. Which actually, I should just target it. It's all tooth. This song goes very well with the with this duty right now. At least what I'm doing, that's, that's for sure. I didn't get any chests. <laughs> Nice fortune, even the one Mimic didn't give me a chest. Feels bad. Oh, I get one chest. Got a sight. That could be useful. Alright, would've been nice if you gave me a... Actually, no, the Demi Clone wouldn't have done me anything. Okay, never mind. I take that- Oh, come on! You have to spawn right there, facing that direction, really? Of course you do. Why not? Bring in the, uh... Well, I was trying to bring in the in-game music, but... Give me nice and quiet for a little bit till I get the in-game music in. Really? Oh, I didn't have to go that far. Oops. Here. And eh, not the best position. Here. Turning, turning, turning. I'm gonna do an ad at the end of the boss kill. Um, I will go right into the next set. I'll take a restroom break after the 30 floor. So just a heads up, we'll do a, we'll do an ad break and step in. So also let's just pop through it. Again. I think this is actually a good spot. I know my spots currently. Mm -hmm. I was not paying attention. That was not the spot I wanted to be in, I was just not paying attention. But it's not a big deal. Not on, not on Paladin is it a big deal. Uh... 
It doesn't really matter. I think this is all bad, yeah. This is the spot I want here. Hey, speedrun! Okay. Uh, BRB in three minutes, guys. Thank you for watching, and then we'll continue into into 21 plus. So thank you, guys. BRB. And then we will step right into this next set. And uh, hopefully, I don't die in this next set. That'll be great. Good song. Storms. Opening storms. Okay. That's the exit. Let me check the this one first. Perfect. Good thing I checked it first, I guess. It'll be a three rumor, I feel like. I have to go back and get that chest anyway. I don't know why I'm going this way first. I have a dumb play if you ask me, but whatever. Decisions have been made. Yet another storm, so huh? right. well, I'll keep it in I'll keep it in order just in case I need a second storm for one for some god awful reason. Okay, everyone gather together, especially you, Drone. One reason why we should keep the storms at 3 the whole time. I'm gonna keep the song on for like 3 floors, it's too good. That's the exit. I'll pull away from the exit, it's not a big deal. Sights, I'll use that leader. I'm gonna use another Storm Seer. And I don't think I. Oh, wait, uh, no, I'm not gonna check it. It could be a mimic, so I'm just gonna not bother. Okay, this is a little. This is gonna be a little spicy. Okay, do I fortune? Ah, uh, yes, because we have three. Okay, we're fortune. But I think all of the freaking enemies came from the. Not touching the silver chest. That is, that is a that is a no go on the silver chest. Strength, sure. Is everybody here? I at least need to kill the uh, the drone. That that needs to die. Everything else can be delayed. Open, open, open. Now we check the chests. Okay, good. Okay. Oh, sorry, I, I hit my microphone. I apologize. Um, maybe I pop a demi clone next with a. Nah. Trying to think of what I. Oh god. Oh god. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. I forgot your proximity. My bad. My bad, dude. I should have just pulled you. Welcome back to the ad guys, thank you for that, I appreciate the support. Uh, you dropped the chest. Okay, another storm, so I guess I'll just do another big pull. I was thinking about doing a potential land, uh, landmine play. But I'm just gonna keep getting storms and I'll keep using storms. Um, and I'll probably do a sight on the, on when I'm, when my storms are sitting up too. Yeah, we definitely wanna keep the storms going though. <clears throat> Amo Ducks. Alright, first instance of the Ortho Knight, so I need to be a little bit careful. Thinking about potentially doing a... Uh, thinking about doing a uh, steal so I don't die to the uh, pull. Let me see what's over here first. Not the exit. Alright, kill you. Kill you. 
gonna focus target him for now so I don't get caught off guard with the Electromagnet. Although, I can probably focus target the, the other one I'll pull because he's gonna be the current Ortho Knight is gonna be at the top of the list. So, let me focus you. Although, I don't, or I just don't pull you, which is actually a lot safer. Um, but, but there's gonna be one here. I don't have to pull you either. Save me some headaches by not pulling you. Okay, knight's gonna be last. We're not gonna pull the knight until like final the final pull. So I don't have to deal with his BS. Electromagnetics coming in from the other one. I have no idea what it is. Okay, now pull. Now do that. Hello? Strength. Alrighty. Nice amount of speed. I think I do a side in the next floor and we see what we get. Probably gonna steal. So I can get the uh, I can get some safety big pulls. We're gonna deal with Ortho Knights again, so. This uh this pulse this pulse track should have been in Eureka Orthos by default in my opinion. Oh, I didn't realize it's three. Oops. Uh, that's a mistake. I should have paid attention to that. I, I could have known that it was three by looking at the amount of chest that spawned, so that's on me. Safety... I mean, if there's a land, I might still use it, but... I could have actually not had a problem here. Focus the Ortho Knight. Hit the long button. This might not be enough. Four is gonna be a little le uh, a little low on the kill count. Oh my god, I missed Goring Blade. Feels bad. Oh, and I had a Lethargy. Oh, I'm gonna use it now because I had to wait for a freaking respawn. Oh, hi. Speaking of a respawn, perfect timing, dude. Oh my god, I need another pull. Now what is this? I don't remember. Oh, safety. Uh, yeah, sure. There were not- there were no good traps anyway, so... No real loss in that one. What do I do next to speed up? Anything at all? I could burn off my sights because I'm not really using them for... for later. I could technically burn off my storms because I should make them all back. Hmm. 
And I can dread later too for the boss. What did I do? This looks like a sighted fork. I'm not gonna step on my traps. Apology? That's true, why not? Well, um, then I should have stepped on the Lloyd Trap, but you know what? Too late now. This is assuming I see a freaking landmine. Like, what am I gonna do if I don't see a landmine? I guess I'll just kill it normally. I have three witching, so I'll do that. All it is up. There is a landmine. I ignored the Ortho Knights on purpose. There's another landmine. Okay, well, I don't have to worry about landmines because I have multiple. Another Lethargy? Um, I'll wait. I can probably do a Luring Trap. If I see another Luring Trap, I'll probably do the thing. Um, because then I'll Lethargy and then we'll get the, the new the new spawns with Lethargy. But for now, I'll just do this full. Ignoring the Knights on purpose. Kinda hoping there is a landmine here, which there in fact is. I'm gonna check here. Yeah, I need I need y'all gathered. Everyone gathered together. Everyone gathered together. We're all here. Fantastic. Love it. Oh, I missed one. One guy did not want to get landmined apparently. That is on me, because I just whipped him. Uh, he's like right up. He's all over the freaking exit. Uh, what will I do the next floor? Question mark. Yeah. Don't turn around, there's nothing behind you, I swear. Nothing behind you. Okay, good boy. Ooh, I'm blinded by light. Um, um, mm. That is a treasure room. So, let's safety. Let's also steal. And let's also put chum. Am I dealing with Ortho Knights? No. Okay, so I can dodge everything. Presumably. I'd run a straight line. Yeah, good. God damn it. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Um, I'll bring out the Rune, but I don't even need her. Not a single gold chest. We got we got an Une! Come on, Ava, we can't complain about Une, man. Don't don't throw her under the bus like that. That is that a gold? I don't know, that's gold. Sir Ernity? Um I can pop it later. Ooh, shrink. Look, she's contributing. 
Okay, 26, I can do another sight here. 27, uh, 27 I can sight, 28 I can storm, 29 we can dread. That order. Ooh, Octopath. Assuming I get a... Uh... I get a landmine. I got a witching. I do not have a landmine. Got a sight back though. What is this? Okay. But my comment flew before I saw the Une. <laughs> okay, 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 fair, fair. Fair, that's fair. Death is fair. Uh, you are looking right where I need to go, you piece of crap. Guess I'll just kill you. You know what? I'm gonna even go a step further and witching you. Single target witching. How does that feel, dragon? So next floor has to hopefully be a landmine. I'll keep the song on for another floor. The song is just super hype. Oh, you piece of... Uh, I might surrender. I get a Doga though. I'm gonna Unite and then I will Serenity. So I'll get the site. I mean, this is just gonna make my life easier. Now, what happens if there's no landmine? I cry in a corner. I reset the file. Okay, there is a landmine. And I got the site back, so justified. I have a plan. I went the wrong way though. Actually, wait a minute, no I didn't. Another Doga. Oops! Actually, I did go the wrong way. I wanna go this way. Oops! Hello, hello, hello. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, it's gonna hurt. I hit with something. You know what? Me and Une, let's go, dude. Oh, we got a friend. I'll just try to move it. I'm gonna push him too. Wrong button. Don't mind me. Checking to see how I should approach tank if I ever should come back in this content. Notes I'm getting right now at channel inner maniac. Yeah. Just just, you know, pull like an absolute in in insane person, you'll be fine. 
I have nowhere to go. I'm gonna witching here. Alright, there is one Fendo. First of all, did not, did not, did not have enough, enough, uh, amount of witching to- Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, well. Why are you still alive? Hello? Okay. Uh, Witching came back. <laughs> two chests! Wait, I got two chests out of that. Lovely. Very fitting music. Yo, I gotta make it epic, man. I do that in normal pug content in normal dungeons. All I get is pissed off healer with no mana supply. So, you know what's so funny, Sword Slinger? I gotta say, my confidence in in dungeon pulling wall to wall came because I did it in deep dungeon. And so I'm approaching it where I'm I'm like kind of hoping the healer, you know, hits like one button every five seconds. But I'm okay with that. Like, okay, if I have a bad healer, that's fine. I did this in deep dungeon, that's a big deal. Um that's my attitude to it. It's not a great attitude. But I mean it gives you confidence at least, you know. Um, at least you can you can keep yourself up. Who cares? I mean, if you're a warrior, all the more you can keep yourself up, right? Who cares if your healer like you know has to like feed the has to feed their dog or like their cats on fire? You'll be fine. You can manage. That was white mage neo. I don't know yet. Is Shara? I haven't actually done healer yet. Um, so I don't like commenting on jobs I haven't done yet. You know, I, I don't think it's fair, but. Healer, I mean, you don't. Even, I, from my understanding, healer, you don't even have to double pull. That's the that's the interesting part with healer. So, okay. oh, the war. Oh, I I can just I can totally see that. I can totally see that. I just need to see the exit here. Blind. I mean, that is the uh, that is the soup bowl, as Sig calls it. <laughs> Hello? Oh. This should be enough pulls. I just missed one. Man, if I need the other one, I'm gonna be kind of... I'm gonna... I'm gonna be... a little angry if I miss the other one. Okay, good. <clears throat> this is a purposeful play because we're gonna take the Dread into the boss. For speed. Oh, well, we gotta respawn, so who cares if I'm gonna... I, I mean, I do have enough kills, but... So sorry I couldn't give you kind of a better answer there, Ish Ish Ishiro. Um, I mean, my, my, I think the first healer I will touch is Sage. And I might do that pretty soon. Um, and it shouldn't be too far different. I mean, Asha would be the one that's kind of different from the rest of them, but I think even, like, Aurora will probably say Asha is not really that bad. Um, I mean, in comparison to, like, let's say Palace or something, it's not that bad. Really? The far ends? Okay, well. Make it challenging, why don't you? Swing. I mean, honestly, I'm taking my sweet time trying to get Omni. <laughs> like, we're, we're doing Machinist again today, but I have a specific reason why. We're going to be doing um, a very, a very, a very highly requested um, guide on Pomander and time, and time uh, management. Everyone's been asking me about that. Not everyone. I mean, a lot of people have been asking about that. It's like, uh, I think the biggest comment I had on YouTube was like, Hey, so, um, you know, looking at your runs, it looks like you have a lot of luck on your, on your, on your, on your protomanders. And just wanted to know, like, you know, how is, how can you do that? How can you, you know, something along those lines. And we've had a couple people in chat come in and ask that same question. I'm like, you know what? Fine. Let's just do a video on it. Because... It is a rather interesting perspective. I mean, they're not wrong uh, that, you know, they watch, they look at the video on, on YouTube and it's me clearing. And when you're clearing, it looks like the, the proto manders are like fantastic. And then you're wondering on your own run, it's like, well, how come my 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 power ups look like ass? Like, you know, but then the, the extra layer to that is I am, we are loading up every single run I do, even the ones I disconnect, even the ones I die. 
So, but, but, like, how many, how many runs have I uploaded? I, I didn't upload the Red Mage, but even when we were doing the Red Mage, um, first attempts, you know, trying to get my first clear blind, my, my Pomanders were not a problem. Like, I had no issue with my, with my power-ups, it was just surviving the mechanics. And now, so we're talking, like, maybe, I'm um, probably about 25 runs deep, and I would say none of them challenged me with running out of, out of power-ups, except when I did the speed run. Um, on Machinist, but that's a completely different animal. So it's now to kind of translate that information to you guys and how you guys can apply it and have success there. So that's where that's why we're doing Machinist yet again um, for that specific info. And today is just a setup. So I mean, I could talk about it if you want to, but it's not going to be applied until uh, until until Sunday when we when we wrap up the run. So that is why we're back on Machinist, and th that might be the last time I go on Machinist unless someone else wants to see something very specific. Um, and I'll kind of resume my journey through, uh, through the Omni. So that's where we going. Uh, let me catch up and chat a little bit. I will take a restroom break and an ad break here, so let me just, uh, do this first. That's not bad considering I didn't- well, I mean, I speed run two floors to be fair. I'm going to make- I'm going to be maining white mage for all content, so I'm looking forward to trying it. Yeah. Um, I, I would definitely say, like, if you haven't done it, also, uh, uh, Dia, Dia, Dia Thora, thank you for that follow. Um, one thing I will say, Ishira, if you're asking me, how is White Mage and Palace in Heaven on high? And I'll be like, healer is tough. <laughs> that, that's it, healer is tough. White Mage is like one of the better healers, but healer is tough. Since we're talking Eureka Orthos, though, it's like, that that kind of difference of like say taking a tank or something versus a healer it's a lot smaller of a of a difference like it's still gonna be hard but i don't think it's as hard as doing it for the other deep dungeons if that makes sense like that much i can definitely tell you based on how people are doing it based on the omni clears right now um so that much i can tell you um and and, and if you have some experience in the previous ones maybe that can that can at least give you some sort of no, uh, answer, you know? Hey, Queen! Good to see you, Queen. I hope you're having a good night. I think many people have different approaches for it, right? Uh, since my approach was to have Demon Clones, especially Onion for 99, but 80, 90, 99, and any Demon Clones I have for a game kind of act like a pseudo floor ups. Yeah, I mean, everyone's gonna have a different approach. Um, mine is to kind of be a little aggressive on the Demi Clones. I would say, honestly, I think almost every single one of my clear swords thing, I had an Onion Knight. And that, that is, I don't know, that I think is kind of lucky. But is it though? Um, I've had an Omni Knight every single time I went to 99. So, I don't know. I mean, we'll see. Maybe I get a run where I don't, but I've always seen one. So, um, anyway, I'm gonna hit ads. I'll be back. I'm gonna hit the restroom. And then we'll step into 31 plus, and hopefully I don't die here. There'll be a little bit more chill to make sure I don't die here. And uh, we shall continue. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna get some background music playing instead of the, uh, the boring Mordana music. What do we got? Perfect. Any tea enthusiasts? BOB. Alright, we are back. Thank you for that break. As a reminder, we do have, uh, we have released and made public the official merchandise store of this channel. So it is Deep Dungeon related, shockingly enough. It's also related to the whole idea that I say the phrase, walk into the club, along those lines. So if you think the stuff are cool, check it out. Uh, it does support the stream. It also supports the artist that is um, that, that did the art. So definitely appreciate it. Definitely take a look if you're interested in the paraphernalia. Let's go. Uh, Octopath Battle 2. Oh, no, Battle 3. I think it's Battle 3, actually. No, Battle 2. I think it's Battle 2. Mune, return to me. Hit the one button.
Oh my god, why didn't I get that GCD off? What in the world? Sure. Landmine? Yeah, alright. Oh, there's a lot of things here. Hmm. I'll take the bug with me. I didn't want that, though. So dumb. I come to me, boys. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, self, don't die. I listened, I didn't die. Back. It doesn't matter which way you go. I need no items in my life so I can do the Aquilins. That's what I need to do. Um... Yeah, yeah, let's play fast even. Though. Yeah, I was really hoping that wasn't the exit. I'll pull now. In. Hey Mariko, how you doing? Welcome in. I probably get that ortho bug. Oh no. 
Swing badly with Theater Rhythm Quest somewhere rough. I haven't touched Theater Rhythm in a bit, but that, you know, Theater Rhythm for me is a game that's gonna be there forever, so I'll get back to it like when I'm traveling, because I have it on the Switch. I'd like to get back into that game. That was a really fun game. So happy that I have that game now. Uh. Although I said I finally. Hey, congratulations! Let's go, freedom. Music soup. Yeah, I mean it's it's Final Fantasy music, and of course the mix. If you had like the um, the DLC and stuff, um, I mean, it's the best music around, you know. Um. <laughs> I'm the owner of one more curse and sometimes go on. Eh, you know, that's how it is. I mean, because it's so short though, that's why that's why it caters to that, you know? Imagine doing that for Deep Dungeon. You die at like, you know, 95, you're like, you know what, one more. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. But like, that, I mean, that's like a two minutes, I mean, depending on the song, it's like two minutes to five minute song, so I mean, it's just a quick go. Like Mario Party. Mario Party's uh, definitely part of that too, you know? Nothing wrong with it. One more day, in and out, 15. Yeah, exactly. You know the meme. I had, uh, mine, hello. I had the one more set of floors in Orthos before. See, I... It's funny with Orthos and Deep Dungeon in general, because I, I stick to such a strict schedule. That I, it's like I don't give myself a chance for one more, but I mean I do it on stream as well, so it's like a completely different animal, right? Um, but yeah, sticking to this strict schedule, like I'm gonna do this many floors today. I'm gonna do this many floors today. Kind of, it's kind of relieving, you know. Except when you end early, then it's just like, what do I do now? Um, it kind of becomes this like state of confusion of like I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself for the next like two hours. <laughs> I'm gonna do an affluence here, which I'm sure I'm gonna get a no items, but yellow. What do we do more? Hell yeah. Oh no, the, hor the, the horrible of finishing a set 200 of PUTD, such horrible fate of finishing early. Well, I, it- well, like, for instance, like, let's say- I mean, let's say, um... Let's say I'm doing, like, a- like, a POTD schedule, where I do 121 to 200. If I die on, like, 150, it becomes a really weird scenario, and that's happened to me on Astro, you know? I mean, I ended up setting up a new file, but, like, you know, the schedule kind of goes out of whack. Like, what do I- what do I do to kill some time on stream? I mean, like, off stream, obviously, it's just kind of whatever. Um, but on stream, it gets really weird, you know? Because that's why it's, it's a unique situation on my end. Yeah. Like, today! Another- another good example today. I mean, we're planning to go 140 on Machinist and Paladin, so... If one of the runs ends at, like, 30... I don't have time to redo it. Like, I can't just go back in and do it again. Like, I could, but it's gonna take so much more time. So you kind of just end early, uh, it gets really confusing for me. But again, it's like, it's like first world problems. <laughs> you know, it's like, man, if that's your only issue, bless. Oh, I stunned you, really. Wait, I'm a Palydon. I have the shielding bashing thing.
Are you kidding me, both of them? You know what, at the, at the, on the plus side, they aggroed at the same time, which means the AoEs are going to be pretty together. I might need both of them anyway. Trilly! Thank you for the tier 2. 45 months in a row. Thank you, my dear friend. Thank you for continuing to support this stream. All the... all the... oh god. All the, uh, adventures we've gone in, all the different games we've done. From before I was partner, to now partner, and everything in between. Thank you for the continued, continued support. I appreciate it. You basically have pretty much seen everything, so... Thank you for that. And still no Xenoblade. Like, hey, I do have the game, okay? JCN donated the game to me, so I have the game. Just, you know. Getting to play it is a different question, but we'll see about that. Um, ya ya hill ya hills ya hills. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome in. I miss the 8-bit streams? Don't worry, I don't. <laughs> Man, that was so much stress. Oh my gosh. But that's fair. I mean, they were unique for sure, and blessed that you actually stuck around. It really makes me wonder, if, like, you know, if we would have had more people if that didn't happen, but maybe at the same time, it, it really gave a unique look to the stream when we had the eat the stream. Nowadays, I just lose connection, and then the stream is dead, so... But it happens so rarely. You know, actually, that reminds me, um... They said to check in summer for for fiber, so I think next month I might see if I can get fiber. Um, that'll be exciting. That'll really be like the the final nail on the on the whole saga of my internet. Although although my luck would be I get fiber and then it's actually worse than what I have now. <laughs> Just out of the pure the pure irony of everything, you know? I was crying and praying for fiber, it would cause- it would solve all my issues way back when, and then I get it and it's actually the biggest issue ever, but, you know. Yeah, I mean, I barely had a problem. We have a problem, like, if I were to put an average on it, we have a problem, like, once every, I don't know, like, three, four months, five months, honestly? Like, our last problem was- was a paladin file. I disconnected on 72, because the- the internet my modem just died. Um, not not the modem. Uh, the something happened with the connection. It was down for like 15 minutes. Now that was a Thursday, and funny thing was the same thing happened on a Wednesday. Um, same exact thing, same exact time. So I don't know if they were doing some type of maintenance. It hasn't happened since because I'm I'm playing games at at midnight. Um, but yeah, that was an interesting. Uh, that was an interesting one for sure. Uh, what do I want to do with a blind floor? Do I want to make this a mess again and, and repeat what I did before and... You know? Let's see what the game gives me. I'm just tempted to get rid of this floor sooner than later, but it could cause me to die again. Which is... This is exactly how I died last time I did land my play. And then, um... I couldn't kill everything in time, so I died. My world my Wait, where are the traps? Hello? I need to focus you. I might storm if I don't see it. Wait, did I save you? No way I saved you. Maybe I should focus the mirror knight, not the stupid drone. I'm gonna lethargy right now. I'll be listening, packing up my luggage, have a 20 hour flight. Okay, safe flight, my friend. Be safe. And, uh, are you going back home? Or you- oh, that's the trip coming to America. I can't remember. Just die- oh no. I better not die. I'm gonna keep- I'm trying to try to stay alive as much as possible. Fly to here, Turgus. What happened, man? What killed you? Are we talking, uh, General Grievous has killed you, or something else killed you? Like, 
Hold on. Distracted? That's the biggest thing that kills you in here, really. It's distraction. So I get it. You gotta be focused. Oh, I do have a landmine. Okay, it's gonna be witching. Also, I need to take care of this mimic. Alright, I get two mimics, it's fine. Except I don't think everything's gonna come here. I don't think everything's gonna get over here. Things are still kinda digging around. Wow, look at all those chests. Lost count. Um... Hmm, I'll keep the flights at two. Especially in this set. I'm done with the semester going home at the 10. Graduation, gotcha. General Grievous, I didn't read the attack and got behind him. Yeah, you know what happened to me on, on 39 on this job? And, and some of the some of the friendos are, are making fun of me on 39. Because I did a witching play exactly what I did just now. I didn't lethargy. But I did a witching play, and they came out because I didn't kill them fast enough. And I had like I had like a chimera, and I had a general grievous, and I lost track of where the where the where the general grievous was facing. And I basically just stood in forearms, and I had no answer, and I died. That that's just how it did. And I'm like, all I could have done was witching. That's it. I could just witching, but I decided to play it, you know, conservative, and conservative killed me. So. I know the feeling. <laughs> but it happens, you know, you just you, sh you shrug it off, you shake it off. You go back in, just don't do that again, you know, or learn your lessons, you know, be a little bit more careful, adjust. Um, make it a little bit safer. Or, better yet, do it all over again, same exact scenario, and try to do better. Conquer your fears, that's another way of doing it. But it happens to all of us, for sure. I think that's why the uh, the Deep Dungeon Fails channel in Discord is, is really something that a lot of people do enjoy. Not because they, they like to see people suffer, it's more that they can they can relate to the suffering, you know? It's like, like this guy posts, oh my god, they died at 99 because they stood in AoE, and like six people are like, oh my god, I did the same exact thing. And you don't feel bad about it, it's just like, okay, well this person just went back in and cleared, you know? Um, so it, it's humbling, but it's also helpful. Get further, everyone. Precisely. Just died on 35 or something with ki five chimeras. Patrols all going into one room. Oh my god, they wanted to kill you. Well, you know, sometimes the game just wants to kill you. That also is a thing. And it's like, here, do you have an answer to this? Sometimes you don't. It's, that's Deep Dungeon in a nutshell, really. Is that the exit? No, it's the thing. That's Deep Dungeon in a nutshell. You gotta, you gotta react to, uh, you gotta react to what the game gives you. You know, that's one reason why, if you guys have been seeing the Honkai, or you guys have been playing Honkai, I don't know if you guys have been trying out the simulated universe. Shocker, I've fallen, I've really fallen addicted to that piece of content, because it's, it's a roguelite. It's a roguelite. It's just straight up a roguelite. And you play with what the game gives you. You know, you make your choices, etc., but... You know, you lose a run, horribly, close, whatever it is, you go back in because, you know what, the next run is going to be completely different. You make your lessons learned and you adjust and it's been a lot of fun. I've been having so much fun with that content. Got a bit today. Tomorrow, so we're going to have some safe... Alright, Marika, thanks. thanks for passing by. Always good to talk with you for a little bit, and I uh, hope to catch you next time. You got Sealy, let's go! You know, a lot of people today, it, is it is it the 90 pool? Like, are people up to 90? Are people up to 180 today? Because I gotta say, like, a lot of people... And, and we're not talking a lot, I'm talking like four people that I know. Um, all that Sealy today. 
uh, and the day before, so, um, good 70-ish? Nice, maybe it's just in the water, you know, maybe they, uh, you know, maybe everyone got lucky today. My friend Kiriari got one, um, I think someone else mentioned that they got one yesterday. Uh, I know, I know our buddy Terrell did single pulls, he did single pulls, and on the third single pull with the free ticket, he pulled one. Thought pity. Yeah, I was lucky. I got mine in 90 and I had... So mine was a 90, but it was, it was, it was the, it was the second, um, the second five start because I went three pulls. I got Himiko. So early pull, got rid of that 50-50, and then I went six pulls and I got Sivik. And I'm like, all right, let's go. <laughs> I only spent 90 pulls and I got two awesome uh, characters. And now I'm just gonna sit on tickets now. I do have enough for pulls though, so we'll do it on Friday. I can do the standard. I can do, I think I can do 20. Or rather, two pulls on the standard banner on, uh... On, um... Friday. You've been doing singles? Man, it's so funny, Amir. Like, I, I never... So, especially when it comes to free-to-play games and, and a game like this. Um... I know there's suggested ways and, like, maybe meta ways of doing things. I don't want to instill that in people. I don't want to make it sound like this is the way to go, because you can play this game however the hell you want to. But with that said, I I personally cannot imagine ever doing single pulls, you know? Knowing that every 10 you get a guarantee. I mean, I know it, it counts up. Like, it doesn't, like, it doesn't, like, ruin the chance that you get there, but... I gotta have that big pull, you know. I gotta see all the things all at once. I gotta feel like I might, I might get the thing I want in a in a ten pull. So I could never imagine doing singles, but you know, a lot of people do it, and at least recently, a lot of people have been getting a lot of success with the single pull. So it's like I don't know, maybe it's the way to go. Who knows? But I'll always do ten pulls, and we're always gonna do it on stream too. I'll take a lethargy. Oh my god, I can't hit him. I relate to that doing ultimate. I am currently progging Uwu, and I understand it will take hundreds and hundreds of pulls. Mistakes will happen. Uh, but learning from mistakes is the key. Same goes to Deep Dungeon. Learning how what I can manage and how to deal with certain situations comes best. Yeah, I mean, look, you got a great attitude, Turtles. I think one of the th one of the things that fall that that people fall into a trap with, in my opinion, um, especially in party content and especially in PvP. Oh my gosh, in PvP, that you think you're like the god. You, you think you're the you're like the golden child. You know, like okay, I'm the one playing the best out here. Like everyone else is lower than me. So clearly you're the one making the mistake. And man, that's such a terrible attitude. Because then you'll never you'll never try to get better. You'll always just kind of hope that people around you try to get better because you assume that you're playing the best you can. That's such a terrible attitude in my opinion. Um but in Deep Dungeon, you can't you can't you can't put the blame on anything else. And that's one of the reasons I love the content, right? Because it's just you. I mean, okay, you can try to blame RNG. You can try to blame, you know, your cat smashing your keyboard. Okay, fair. But, like, you can't blame another person. <laughs> it's impossible. There's no one else. Um, and so your attitude really has to be. But I think some people fall into another trap where, where they feel like they're not progressing or that they're really trying to rely on RNG to carry them. They stop because they feel like they'll never get the right run, you know? And that's kind of the secret to how to win a, a roguelite. Or how to win Deep Dungeon, but a roguelike in general is that you are slowly building your knowledge. And eventually that knowledge will get you the win. That is like the, the definition of a roguelike, you know? That at some point you get so good at the game that you that you win the game. That's just how it goes. Um, but it's trying to, I guess, convince people that is the method and that is the way to approach it. And that's, that's kind of the challenge, at least from my part, right? I want everyone to succeed. I don't care what skill level you have. I want you to feel like, and definitely prove that, you can win this type of challenge, even though such a small percentage of people have done it. And, you know, always a challenge, one way or another. Dun, 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 dun.
Is that a landmine? That is indeed a landmine. That's our Vams Force. I'm gonna check the other chests. Switching. Nope! Okay. Oh, good, it's right here. Thank God. I didn't even realize I got the dread back. I got it somewhere. God, the boss themes in Octo 2 is so freaking good. You swing first. Man. Uh oh. Oh god. <laughs> Any ping? Any ping for the win? It's those server upgrades. Those server upgrades definitely help me. 1st I gotta kill the uh I gotta kill the Chimera no matter what. So far, from what I've seen, the Protomanders are there to deal with that RNG. I haven't been in a situation with zero solutions, I always have failed, but yeah, that that was my experience in here too. Although mine experience is, is weirder, right? Like like it's a little bit hard to apply my experience and then and then apply it to like, you know, someone trying to go for the first clear. Um but I was mentioning this a little bit earlier, like... Even when I was trying to prog on Red Mage for our first clear and we are going blind... I never was out of resources. Resources was by far the least of my issues. It was like execution. It was surviving mechanics. It was uh, learning the boss fights, you know. That was the thing that was killing me every single time. Um, 
And I definitely feel like the proto mandrits here are a lot more lenient than the previous 2D dungeons. I think the people carrying over your time management skills will be a huge asset to victory. So. Now, that's one of the reasons why we're going back to the Machinist today, because we're going to be doing that as a guide version, talking about the proto mandrit management and the time management specifically. Uh, and hopefully that I can translate that knowledge into someone watching him. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah, I don't mind going back to this song. Okay, General Grievous coming in. Witching. Corrigans. Alright, I'll kill these first, then we'll uh, do the thing. Une? Let me see what this one is first. Hold. Okay, we'll do the Une. Uh, thank you for that follow, Jacob. Appreciate that. Welcome in. Yeah, what is this chest? I don't remember. Witching. Okay. There's a chest here, but I mean, do I really want to get it? <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't aggro that. It's like, I'm gonna use it once I get a chance here. Okay, that's a little dumb. <laughs> that's a little, little close uh, with my positioning there. Shouldn't have done that, but we did not, we did not get penalized for it. Okay, incoming uh, General Grievous. This should be an okay spot. Okay, Dragon Boy's in, but I am gonna have an interesting time trying to dodge Ram's voice. I think I'm gonna go out this way. So that I don't get the I don't get General Grievous here. Oh wait, what? Oh I know why, I know why, I know why. It was because of expulsion. Explosion, whatever it's called. It's a wide. It, it, it. I did that before. Okay. I understand. That is on me. All right. Do I get past thirty nine? That's a landmine. I'm gonna check the chest. It, I, you know what? What the heck? I, I, why am I gonna check the chest? We'll just get him. Literally just means a mimic. I'm not really caring about points that much. I still find it hard to believe Circle of Scorn is only 3.2% total DPS. That's so useful, right? Oh god, I used the wrong one. Oops. I mean, it doesn't also, like, it's a, it's a short dot, too, you know? Mr. Omni Omniros! Is the Omni Omniros. I'm gonna make a strong bet. Oh! Never mind. I haven't, I, the words didn't come out of my mouth. Thank you for shouting out our buddy Ross. He is a member of Team XXFFXIV Solo. My Twitch team, with a whole bunch of creators that focus on Deep Dungeon and solo content. He's very good, very good at explaining his thought process, very good at the game. Um, so if you like the vibe here, and you like, you know, someone who's gonna talk through what they're doing with Deep Dungeon and other content, you gotta check Russ. He's such a cool guy. 
Um, but welcome in, guys. I'm Andrew Stevens, do a lot of Deep Dungeon solo. Trying to make it to 40, and then I'm a happy person. But I hope your stream went well. What are you up to? Zig, I appreciate you. Thank you for shouting out on Man Ross. I'll check chat in a little bit. I'm gonna just try to kill this Chimera first. I want to make it off 39 today. Alright. Okay, sure. Uh, it's 100 potency on big pulls. Okay, on raids, not so much. Gotcha. Very good at witching, storm, treasure rooms. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good at the game. Sometimes just chooses not to show. <laughs> Dang. Playing attention is the only thing I haven't mastered. You know, we we had a couple gamers today die because they they got distracted. So, what killed you this time, Ross? What got you, man? Okay, 94 dancer and AFK'd. A doggo. Rip. Otherwise, fun run. Also tried a treasure room storm on Dancer, and it did not go the way I wanted to. Oh, did you try to do like the like the timing and all that stuff? The the tight timing of the thing. Similar to like when Aurora was doing uh, the star or the storms or something like that. He ran into the middle of the room and died. Oh. So it wasn't as exciting as I'm thinking about, no, gotcha. I think I had thought I think I had legit money. Okay, gotcha. It was a spur of the moment decision. Yeah, you know what? Spur of the moment decisions are always fun, you know? You draw from like your 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 book of like, you know, things I think I can do. <laughs> I'm sure I can do this, right? If it go if everything goes right, I can do it. <laughs> and then and then you miss like the dumbest the dumbest reason why it doesn't work. <laughs> which is which is always hilarious. <laughs> if I was on a tanker heal I would have lived for sure, gotcha. I believe in you, Ross. You're you're a skilled player, dude. Not even a question. We're playing uh, Octopath boss music for Twintania, so. Because I don't like the boss music. Here. I have a slightly modified strategy for this that I picked up on Machinist, so we'll do that. I mean, it's not really that exciting, but it works. Music kind of goes pretty well. Irish Moo, hello, how you doing? Music slaps. Oh, Octopath is just the best, dude. Octopath music is just the best. I'm so happy I can play it. It doesn't give me a problem on YouTube. <laughs> At least it hasn't up till now, so that's why I can use it. I'm so upset because on the flip side I cannot use Octopath 1 because it, it because YouTube gets really angry, so I can't have a single Octopath 1 song in my playlist. It's actually not even it's not even like easy to find on like YouTube, you know. Because everyone else gets pretty much copyright struck down. <laughs> Been lucky turkey, I've never played Octopath. Oh, Oct if you- okay, so if you like J a classic JRPG, a classic look to it, you know, like the old school pixel version, if you like turn-based combat and you like a really good story, Octopath is- is really, really good. 
And their music, oh, their music is definitely top not I messed this up a little bit, so it's gonna hurt a little bit. Okay. Um, best, some of the best, um, music game OSTs that I've, I've heard, both of them. Octo 1 was fantastic, and Octo 2 was just as good, if not better. But, um... Octopath 2 and like the Octopath game certainly scratched the itch of like OG turn-based JRPGs. Like it's just it's strictly it's strictly turn-based and it's just a lot of fun in my opinion. I love those games. And I had such a good time playing Octopath 2. And we 100 percent did it on stream and everything is fantastic. It's so good. Dude, I can't wait for Octo 3. They're, they gotta make a third one? Like, there's no way they wouldn't make a third one, right? Because it, it, everyone just loved the game, so... Only YouTube has so much. You can- I think you can find Octo 2, but Octo 1 is- is very rare because it's just- Yeah, there's a lot of issues getting that- getting that, um, getting the songs up there. I mean, not the playthroughs, but the songs are a problem, and and I know that speaking from experience. Like, like you're not gonna get um, like I'm not gonna get like a copyright strike, but I'll I will get the copyright claim, which means I have to share monetization with the original. Also, I finally just deleted World 3. Nice! Why do I suck? <laughs> no, man, you don't suck. Something, it clicks. I think after World 3, it starts to click sig, in my opinion. Like, I, I started to click uh, with, like, strategies and stuff. I think, you know what's the one thing that helped me a ton? It's resetting the blessings and trying to re-roll. That really helps. <laughs> I hadn't been doing that before. I started doing it. I'm like, oh, wait, actually, this is really good. So... Uh. It's alright, I mean... I mean, it also kind of runs down to, like, what your comp is, too. Like, I think it's more comp relate. Like, I, I think it's more comp reliant than just kind of, you know, blessing reliant. Like, you really have to have a pretty good, pretty good strat- a pretty good, um... team to run it. That's in my opinion. And you don't need, like, a crazy team, it just needs to be a good variety, that's all. I really want to try to clear it with, like, the default characters, or, like, that one guy who tried to clear it with, like, only one character, like, only- Well, he used Clara, though, but, like, to have maybe a, um, to have maybe, like, one of the default characters see if I can solo with just them, like, that'd be kind of cool. You need to kind of- you need to find a current sub for Branya. Oh, like, you don't- you don't have Branya, so you need to find someone that can- that can be, like, a Branya, is that what you're saying? What is Branya, by the way? What- I know she's Wind, but what is she? Is she, uh... She's- oh, Harmony! Oh, interesting, okay. Harmony. Um, I'm going to take- oh, uh, Garbear, thanks for that follow. Sorry, I didn't see that. She does lots of buffs? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, that's- I will say in my JRPG playthroughs, I tend to ignore the buffer and the debuffer. I shouldn't, but I tend to. I remember when I was a younger gamer in JRPG, like playing Fantasy Star 2, I had always, always done brute force. Full attack, just attack, 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 and heal. And I couldn't beat Fantasy Star 2 because I did that, and then I embraced 
buffing and debuffing, and I'm like, wow, this is a lot easier. <laughs> of course it is. Um, so I'm trying to get better at that. Um, I mean, I have Asta, which I, I'm starting to see a strategy with Asta right now. Um, especially because I've been liking Hunt, uh, the, 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 the path of the Hunt. Um, and then I have Ting Yun, uh, who I'm sure is going to be useful. I just don't have the resources to level, level her right now. So, uh, you did that until you discovered SMT. Okay, fair. Nods and buffs and <laughs> Magnus. I did until 13 and not as great as, as it was, and I really like Sentinels. It's fair. I guess, it, you know, it depends on the game, but I keep it in mind. Like, you know, I keep it in the back of my mind. It's like, okay, I have the option here, you know? Um, I should I should at least give it a shot, see if it helps me out. Like, like you know what's the one that I never did that I know is such a potent um, strategy? It's like poison strats, right? Like how there's a lot of there's a lot of JRPG games where just like just like get poison on them and just like you know just like sit back relax, um, and I I never embrace that as much because I I don't know for some reason I felt that was cheap but it's a strategy like you just you just dump a poison and it just does like ten percent of damage every tick. I feel the potential content being hard to clear unless I have a certain comp. Arknights had that issue. Yes, Brave XP has had that issue, Darabon. Um. Now I there is a there is um there is uh the Forgotten Hall, which is like a challenge mode, another challenge mode, that it it has specific enemies with specific weaknesses, but it on top of that has like, oh your alley your physical damage is more. Oh your lightning damage is more. Oh your your allies do a little bit more like, you know, spread around damage. So that definitely leans into um having the right comp or having the right person to do that damage. But the character split in terms of elementals and everything, with the exception of Welt, who's imaginary and is a pull and a five star. Um, you have access to all the elements, I think. I think we have access to every single element to some extent. You definitely have ice, you definitely have lightning, you have wind, you definitely have wind. Uh, you kind of have fire, not well, yeah. I mean, main character's fire and hook's fire. Oh no, I'm not hook, I'm sorry, past this fire. Um, you have quantum free uh so you kind of have all the elements available to you with one exception so um you know um but time will tell i mean look it's a it's a free-to-play game at some point they're probably going to bring something in like that i mean if if people are familiar with genshin i'm sure you probably have a little bit more insight than i do but you know for now definitely gonna enjoy that game okay i'm gonna take a restroom break i'll hit an ad break and this also gives a nice split we're gonna shift to machinist now um, Paladin is ready to go, so this will we'll be continuing Paladin on Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern, 41 plus, and we'll see if we can actually get through. Um, also, the bot, perfect timing. We have the merchandise store that is that is brand new. We released it yesterday. It has uh, relatable Deep Dungeon t-shirts and coasters and stickers um, for Palace of Dead and Heaven High. So if you're someone who has a clear and would like to celebrate with the shirt, it's revolving around welcome to the club, the club idea. If you don't have a clear, you can still get it. Um, I know someone said that they might get the shirt if they clear. That's fair. It's like a trophy item. Um, but give it a look while I'm away. See if you like it. And uh, the that does support the channel. It also supports the artist. So we're, me and the artist are splitting the profits. Um, so you're also you're helping two people. Actually, technically three people. You're helping the original company that is stocking the items. But yeah, so you're helping the artist and myself. So... Appreciate that. Give it a look while I'm away. Let me play some background music while I'm going to step away. Let me read Darabad for a second. I'm curious to see the power creep. Yeah, I'm curious too. Hey, I'm going to do it. I I'm enjoying this game so much, Darabon, so I'm definitely going to keep up with it. So I can definitely keep you posted. Um, okay, let's see what song's playing. The classic, Aaron Palmer. Not in Eureka Orthos. Alright, so BRB, give me three minutes, I'll hit the restroom. Thank you guys. Let's do this, shall we? Ada, Kitsu, Blank, Wallen, Willow, Requiem. Hey guys, how you doing? Happy Thursday. It's Pally Dawn. Let's see if we can get this done today. I hope. This has been kind of a cursed job up till now. Um. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, it's been kind of a cursed job with different situations. I should have been done with this a long time ago. But you? Oh my god, Ada, is that a whistle? Um, should have been done with this a long time ago, but here we are. 
So uh, we will just do our best and uh, hopefully not die in the first set. I'm gonna raising. Uh, I'm gonna raising on 51 because I have three. I'm not gonna raising here. So um, we'll hope I can get clean. Like my 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 big tr tricky floors are 47 up or 46 up. So hopefully uh, that doesn't become a problem. But I hope you guys are having a good day. Thanks, Gitsu. It's been um. Yeah, we had a we had a bit of bit busy week up in here. A couple announcements we did, and we're just kind of vibing. Honestly, like I feel I feel like I feel like um we're kind of just in a waiting room, or at least I feel like I'm in a waiting room for um well, ironically, like I'm technically in a waiting room for um the new patch coming in, but I'm not really gonna do much of the new patch. Because I don't really raid, right? Um, but I think a lot of 14 gamers are waiting for that patch coming in the end of the month. I think for me, the biggest the biggest thing I'm waiting for is 16 coming out, uh, which we'll go really, really hard on. So I'm, I'm going to be pretty excited about that one. But uh, yeah, we're just, uh, it's just one of those months, you know? Thanks, Willow. I uh, got my POTD file sitting on 116. Man, all the homies are going to uh, all the homies are going to uh, to Palace. Huh? I know Sig's in Palace right now. Um, I hope Aurora went back to Heaven on High. Bless. Um, so that's kind of cool to see. To see, I guess that's a trend right now. I mean, I you know it's funny. I would love to go back. I just don't have a. Uh, I guess I just have business to attend to here first and foremost. So I don't really have the motivation to return to it. Uh, I am taking my sweet time to be fair. Um, so, you know, this will take like a quite a bit of months to get to the point when I can return over, but nothing against it. I guess everyone else is kind of there, which is fine. Uh, switching. Yeah, I'll use it. Speaking of raids, I don't know if I shared it here, but then. Hey! I. You know, maybe you had Kitsu, but you know what? You should keep sharing it, so congratulations. Awesome. Right before the deadline. I know I know a couple people are trying to uh, get it done. Obviously, you want to get it done before the next tier comes out, but uh, good to hear that you got it done, so congrats. What the hell am I missing? I thought Sig was doing no palms. Uh, I looked at I looked at his title, it said Astro 1 141, so maybe the no palms died. <laughs> maybe he's using a backup file, I don't know. That's what I saw um, when I looked over before I went live. Okay, let me go get. Oh, hello. This will fight you. Oh boy, you can't see. Okay. Just need seven more kills for a new tier. Seven more kills. Is that because of the the gear that you need or something? How does that work? Like, like is the is the is the savage gear still gonna be superior to what you can get for like crafted, or would the crafted just be better? Or are you doing it because of other reasons like glamour or you know the rewards or something? Kind of pointless for me to get this chest, isn't it? Unless I need another kill. Let me take you with me first. Come here. Or a bitch. Oh, cool. Let me not be here, also. Uh, yep. Bruh. I'm so dumb. I, I, like, I literally forgot what button it was to press. That's why that happened. A good thing I have a purity. I'm like, which button was it again for the for the for the infa for the interrupt? I want to look away from this screen, but I can't. Oh my god! Okay, I gotta go. Timing was weird. Still not out. Uh, everyone wants the weapon because it looks awesome. Okay. 
Savage Gear and the upgraded home. Uh, it's always BIS with some exceptions, being relic weapon, like, mini gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Is Mander, is, is that gonna actually be, uh, useful to you in, uh, the last, the last tier? Is relic actually gonna be something you end up using, or... I have no idea. <laughs> it, it's funny, you think I'd, I'd have an idea by now, but I just, yeah, it's just, it's, it's information that doesn't stay in my head, that's what it is. Dun, 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 the slow first one. I think... I think at some point... It will be the best weapon, but at some point, Savage Relic. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, at some point, Relic will be... Yeah, but I guess for the tier, um... You'd be using the Savage over the Relic right now, or would you actually be using the Relic now? Guess you'd be using the Savage weapon, though. Up until you can upgrade it, uh, appropriately. Right? Sure. I'm gonna wait for the AoE to come out. Savage Green Relic, you said that there's an ultimate. Uh, of the relic of yeah, 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 yeah. I'm using relic at the moment, but that's because I don't have a gotcha. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okie dokie. Oh man, you know I was looking for that. I was looking for that landmine because I'm like, there should be a trap here. It's probably a landmine, and yeah, there is. So. Do you have a witching? Um, not really. Uh, the pulse should be safe. If I pull a spriggan, I probably actually wanna. I probably wanna. I probably want to. Um. What do you call it? Steel. If I'm gonna pull Spriggans, because they can delete me pretty fast with their with their burst damage. Oh, I can go this way. Okay, come here. I used the site, I need to go get the site. Uh, wishing good luck on Paladin, thanks Effie. I hope we do it today. Other thing I'd like to share, I got a new PB in Heaven on High, reached 98! And died due to lack of zoning. Oh, was that the post? I saw the- I saw your post, I think, uh, about- No, wait. No, someone else posted, uh, Palace. 195 Machinist ran out of Serenity. Post. You're almost there, dude. Let's keep it up. Lethargy? Yes, you want it. I'm it right before you. Okay, okay, okay. It, it, you know, that's happened a couple times. When, like... Look, the 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 randomness of, of Deep Dungeon, right? Deep Dungeon is RNG. But then, of all the situations of all the people in this planet, sometimes you literally will get someone who just has the same exact... Like, not the same exact floor, not the same exact job, maybe not the same exact Deep Dungeon. For the same reason why you lost, why you lost, it's just it's just pretty incredible how that just happens to be the case, you know. Um, so. uh, streaming ties ruined. I yeah, magic trader. I apologize. I know this is this is really good for me any like any time because this is basically like when I'm able to settle at home and just have the whole night to myself. But then it sucks for you. I, I stream Mondays EU times, uh, 3 p.m. Eastern my time. So that's generally about. Um, that's generally about, uh, 9, 9 or 8, 8 o'clock EU, but, uh, I don't do 14, I do variety, and, and right now our variety game is, uh, Honkai, so... But, yeah, I have at least one day of the week that is, uh, EU-friendly. Unless we have special occasions, like when we were grinding EO and it was the first thing, you know, but... I'm not gonna lie, like, that, that time slot is pretty cool, um... It's a pretty cool time slot. Uh, that early morning. Well, not really early morning. It's like it's like afternoon my time. But it's just not a viable one for me to sustain on a regular basis right now. So 
But every time I've done that time slot, whether it be special occasion, so on and so forth, it's just, it's been a pretty comfy one. And then it's nice because you finish up stream and then you have the whole night to just do stuff, you know, to just chill vibe. Um, but it's something I'm keeping in consideration, but I, I am not able to pivot into that, uh, that time zone for, for mid situation. But, <laughs> with that being said, Magic Shader, I'm glad uh, you passed by at the very least. I guess that's why YouTube is a nice blessing, at least you can at least catch some of the content there. I'll be around normally for that then, I think. It's past 3 in the morning right now. Yeah, yeah, I know, it sucks. It's so, it's so, it's so crappy because there are totally people who watch the content on YouTube. I've never met them on stream because uh, they can't get the stream. But uh, they're like just watching me on the VODs and stuff. But again, I do thank you for passing by. Regardless, I mean, and it really means a lot that people just pass by, say hi. Like that's more than than I would ever do in another streamer. <laughs> like I'm so, I'm so like, like, uh, I'm so reserved. You know, I would chill in the stream, but I would never say anything in the stream. I would just like lurk the whole time. Both died by like serenity. I'm glad I reached 91 consistently. Yeah, exactly. That's a that's a big takeaway, um, Kitsu. You can't, you can't make that, you can't make that up, right? You can't, it's not like a, it's not like a false, it's not like a false confidence type of thing. It's like, yeah, like I'm getting there consistently. And then if you look back at what you were doing months ago or weeks ago, right? When you probably were struggling 71 or probably struggling through 81. It, it, sometimes I think some people don't realize that progression. But when you think about it, it, it's like, wait a minute. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh damn, yeah, I am actually getting better. Like, that's the only way you really see if you get better, is because of that kind of, uh, progression. Um, so it's not that obvious, but that that's progression. Uh, Giga Chad to my backside? Yeah, I see. Are you gonna use your thing, like, today? Okay, Jesus. I appreciate the EO proc streams, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm going for my Omni, you know? I want Omni. Um... I want to get it, that's a goal, and it's content for me. What a nice pace. Certainly in no rush, and... Look, the content, Deep Dungeon in particular, I mean, I think the, the biggest benefit that I've received from the content and from doing the content, it's doing it, like, well past its introduction, right? I mean, when did when did people really get into Palace and Heaven on High solo? It's like years after the content initially released, so I wanna be there for that for those people that are hopping into Endwalker for the first time, you know, and then they're hopping into this deep dungeon for the first time, you know. Um, because they're going to be there, they're going to exist. So we'll be there. That's that simple. Videos are gonna be there, I'm gonna be there. I like to be there anyway. We'll probably take honestly I'll probably be taking more like mini breaks from the from the content in general. Um you know, like uh wait. There was a... there is one, okay. I need to move myself. I'll probably be taking more mini breaks like we did last week with Honkai and stuff. I mean we're gonna take one for uh for 16. And I do have a couple like longer term games in the in the back, not no, not the backlog. In the back burner. Um, hold on. You know, I'm keeping my eye on Wayfinder, but they said I think early access is summer, but Breda is coming in, like next week. So I, I still don't know if that's something I can stream, but it is closed beta, so I imagine it's not. Um, 16 in June, and then, and then the other thing that I've been like keeping an eye on is uh is Blue Protocol, which I'd like to try. I don't know if you guys heard of Blue Protocol. That thing has been like kind of pushed back, pushed back, pushed back, but uh... That's essentially like an MMO Genshin. Kind of the best way I can describe that. And, you know, that's one game that I think will be a lot of fun. At least I'm looking forward to it, it's just, it's just nothing going on with that right now. Like it should have been, I think they were originally looking to put that out like in spring this year. But that's been like way pushed back. Okay, let me catch up and chat a little bit. Um, months ago, you died to 61 on reuse. Yep, frog. I meant the blind red mage. Oh, the blind red mage frog. I managed to catch like 90% of those streams. Gotcha, yeah. Hey, I was pushing hard and I really thank everyone that was watching that and it was good times. Um, oh my god, it's Moody! 
It's the Moody Moomba. That's my buddy, Miss Moody. She is the ever consistent daytime streamer. Does 14 all week. Mixes it up with some variety, which which blessed that you're you're doing that too. You know, getting a little bit of the the break um, from from the from the from doing the same thing. Just one of the best communities too. So definitely check her out. Moody, how was your stream? I hope you had a good time over at uh, 14 and then into Disney. Also, you've been playing that game for a while. That's kind of cool. I know, I know like a lot of people were trying that game initially, but I don't think any one of our mutuals are playing it, so it's nice that you've got a, found a little bit of a home there. Wait, I pulled the one I didn't want to pull. Yeah, hold on. But I hope you had a good stream. Heard of Blue Protocol, didn't look much into it to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I don't know too much of it myself, but... It looked nice. Um, yeah, hey, no problem. Thanks for bringing your crew over. And if it's your first time here, I'm Angela Sleeman. I do a lot of Deep Dungeon solo. I do some variety as well. Our current variety game is the is the popular Honkai Star Rail. And actually, if you ever see me play Honkai, we're going to play it tomorrow. But if you see me play Honkai, we're actually doing the, the game mode called Simulated Universe. Because go figure, it's basically like a Deep Dungeon. <laughs> so of course I'm doing that game mode. Um, and having a lot of fun with it, but yeah, so, uh, that's our game. That's our game for a while, I think. I'm, uh, I'm probably gonna be on Genshin. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm gonna, probably gonna be on, um, Star Rail for quite a bit. Um, and I'm having a lot of fun with it, so. This is just addictive. Oh my god, it's so fun. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad you're having fun in that game. Lala, hello, how you doing? Yeah, welcome in, guys. We just started, so we'll be here for quite a while. Uh, so if you if you wanna if you wanna watch from 14 for a couple hours, see if I get this clear. We're gonna go all the way to 100, so this usually takes about five to six hours. We'll be here for a minute. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I forgot. Oh boy! Okay, that's really close. Okay. I don't know why I forgot that ability. I blanked on him. Yo, yo, it's going good. Um. You know, again, I just started. Just hoping I can get through this set clean. I'm gonna start using raisings going in the next set. Um, so just kind of hoping I can get through this okay, and then we'll be a little bit more comfy. Like I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit more like you know worked up, trying to trying to just make sure we don't make a bad mistake kind of thing. But... Also, if you're new to the stream, uh, if you're reading the title, we do have we have released. Uh, our merchandise store related to the channel, which I'm really excited about. Uh, it has Deep Dungeon related t-shirts for Palace and Heaven on High. Um, we announced that Monday and I'm really, really excited about that. And some people have gotten some of the stuffs. Uh, I think some people actually got got some of their stuffs already. They put the order in, they already received something. So, um, you all want to check that out. It does support the channel as well, so... And that'll be definitely a long-term thing. I can't look, dude. I, it's so weird for me sometimes when I just talk into the void. I'm just like talking to my screen. I'm not looking at chat, but I can't look away right now. Okay. Uh, why did I go in blade? Oh, that's fun. Um. Anyway, here's the merch. So if you guys want to check it out, uh, Ligaya, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, this usually takes around five to six hours. We'll be here for a minute. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Speed run. GDQ. Yo, GDQ is the end of the month. I, dude, I can't even believe it. So I did not submit for the new GDQ, um, because honestly, like, it's gonna be hard for me to resubmit for GDQ now. I gotta be really creative, um, if I ever want to do it again. But, um, GDQ's coming at the end of the month. I'm like, damn, already. It almost feels like I just did GDQ in, uh, in December, too. January, actually. Really excited about that. I got a lot of, like, got a lot coming in, uh, coming in this month into next month. So, um... Good times to to just be entertained. And then of course, you know, if you're a 14 gamer, you have the patch coming in by the end of the month as well. Um, if anyone's doing Savage and, and, and all that stuff, I hope you guys are ready to go. I hope you guys are excited for that. I'll be excited to watch. <laughs> be excited to watch the World Race and all that stuff. Alisu! Aw, oh, thank you. Right back at you, dude. Thank you for the continued support of two months. I hope you're doing well. 
thank you for continuing to sub. And and I'll always say this too. Um, you know, I appreciate all the gift subs. I appreciate all the people who who enjoy the channel. But but the second month sub, you know, the two months, it means so much because it means like, okay, you know what? This is not bad content. I don't mind supporting. And that sometimes also means you kind of stick around a little bit longer too. So it, it it's great. So I really appreciate that a lot. Um, so thank you for continuing the sub. When I see those, when I see that two months, I get really, really happy. So thank you. Yeah. The I gotta watch out just in case he uses it anyway. Just in case he uses it anyway. Okay, no go. Sometimes when you stun the enemy at the wrong timing during one of these like combo AoEs, they just end up committing to it. So you gotta be a little bit careful. I'm not a hundred percent sure when they commit to it. Like, you know, if I had to make a split decision, so I just play it safe and just get ready. Steel. I think steel came back. Uh, I'll get the chest. Um, better, better, better. Ooh. Better, better. But one thing I will say, um, with with Yuka Orthos, I think I've actually been enjoying this a little bit more because I changed the music. <laughs> Um, I think last Sunday, no, not last Sunday, the Sunday before that, when we did the Charity Machinist, I started to, like, actually enjoy EO just a tiny bit more, um, because I was, I was kind of over the, the BGM in-game. Because some songs are good, some other songs are like, uh, you know, I kind of just don't want to listen to it anymore, so now we're on the, on the curated playlist, and I'm very happy about that. I'm gonna pull you. I should put the belly music in here though. I gotta find it. I don't know if it's on one of the OSTs. I, I do want the belly song in here. There's a lot of people that don't like that song. I like that song a lot. Alright, let's get out of here. What's up? Wallen, how's your uh how's your wall how's your honkai going, man? I have hit- I have hit maintenance mode. Um, 100% hit- hit maintenance mode. I don't think I'm gonna push too much harder. Like, I don't think I'm gonna make some like- some- some like crazy effort to hit 40 right now. So I probably hit 40 on like Monday- I hope- actually, I hope I hit 40 on Monday. Because then that gives me some content to do on Monday. Where uh, it's like the first time I'm doing World 3.2 and all that stuff, so... I might push to 40 because of that. But I'm not gonna push, like, harder than that, um... Although I do have to give myself time to level my stuff if I get to, uh, if I do that. Um, but we'll see where I'm landing. Like, I think I'll get 38 tomorrow, almost guaranteed. Um, because I'm, like, more than halfway through 37. But I don't know about the other days. Like, mathematically speaking, I basically shouldn't hit, uh... I shouldn't hit, like, 40... ...soonish. Um, how long did it take me for my first <laughs> That's always such a good question. Um, I mean, if you're just talking about time, and you're talking about the release of when it happened... Hey, Francesca, thanks for- Oh, thanks again for the sub to our buddy Moody, Oh, And should you check out Moody, guys. She's such an awesome and kind person in her stream, and she reflects that on stream. Like, you really will have a good, comfy time in her stream, so definitely check her out. Um, so... Like, if you're just talking about time, when it was released, okay? Alice of the Dead released in, like, what, 2016? Late 2016? I didn't get my clear to, to, till 2018. So, uh, I'm sorry, 2019. So, technically speaking, that's like two and a half years that I did not see that clear. Uh, so if you want to go that path, go ahead. But there's so much more detail to that. Because, you know, initially when the, when the content first came out, Red Mage didn't exist. Uh, the solo title didn't exist. Um, sustaining potions didn't exist, so it's it's weird because I wasn't I wasn't necessarily doing attempts like anyone would do it now, where it's like, okay, hey, first time in Palace of the Dead, I want to get this title. All right, here's all the information. Here's the game mode. Do your attempts. Like it, it was an ever changing scenery uh, back then. Um, but what I can tell you is, uh, hold on. What I can tell you is I cleared Heaven on High first. 
I did put quite a lot of time into Palace. I cleared Heaven on High, and then when I returned to Palace after clearing Heaven on High, it took me five attempts. But that was with the backing of the experience of Heaven on High that helped me so much. So. But it was way more than five attempts, let me tell you. In, 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 in total, way more than that. So. I hope that gave you a pretty good answer. It, yeah, it just, I can never answer that straight, because I can't. It's just, it's just one of those things where... Uh, I just can't give a straight answer. Hey, Karen. Um. Oh, thank you, Moody. Thank you. Um. You. Thank you. Karen, how's it going, man? How is your Honkai experience going? Oh, I hit the wrong button. Let me rephrase, I guess. How long did you. Do you. Think it took you to progress? I want to do this solo my way. Actually, clipping. Yeah, I guess, um. Probably like I would say like two years, like maybe a year and a half. Because once Red Mage come out came out, that really felt like it was possible to do the clear. That makes sense. Um And that was probably like whenever Stormblood came out until two thousand March of two thousand nineteen, um, is the is the rough timing of that. So. My 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 slide out desk is being a little bit of a annoying thing with keeps it shifting. Sometimes it's moody. Because it just doesn't stay in place and it keeps moving every time I do it. I, I kind of want a new one, but this has treated me well for over the years. Star G. Well, yes, I was. How is your how is your star wheel star rail going? You're in 40s. You're ahead of me. So. And I haven't seen the doggo yet, and the doggos will show up here. I need a nice LOS here. I need to focus on. Oh, sorry. You're. You're about to cheat. I have one more left and I'm done. Collect all the treasure boxes too. You got all the curios? I'm missing one. And actually the one I'm missing is not bad. It's the ble it's the the I think Nihility uh the the one that gives you more Nihility. Um so that, that's gonna come eventually. Uh, and I'm missing, I think, three blessings. And I've been trying to hard farm them, but uh, I just don't want to show up. But it's okay. And they're two stars, which is which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, we'll get them eventually. I'm not too worried. I mean, I'm I'm still farming up the uh, the abilities. I'm I'm into I think the last path of the abilities where you kind of go. We got yeah, like three sections to go in each in each tree. I'm like getting there. I'm gonna feel excited and also bad that I finished it though, because it's like, okay, well, what am I doing with these points now? <laughs> you know, you kind of hope that it, that there is like a um, and don't tell me if there is. Uh, this is more rhetorical because I kind of want to find out the hard way. Um, so don't tell me if this is actually true. But it would be cool if there's like a like a merit system or some some system where uh, you know, the ability points will be ch will be will translate into something else, you know, whether it's currency, whether it's something where you can just modify, like, a, like, attack or something, that'd be kind of cool. I don't know what, I don't know yet, but... It'd be kind of cool. I mean, what's on the show? Yeah! I, I do wonder, I mean, we, we had this conversation last time, uh, I do wonder if, uh, they will add to it, you know? If they will actually put more into it, and, and and sometime after that conversation we had it in chat, what I thought about was the following: um, you have up to world six right now, and then it, and then it repeats into like 3.2, 3.3, all that stuff for the equilibrium. But they only show up to the uh, they only show the the enemies that we are facing currently. Like there's no surprises in terms of the fights that you're fighting. Um, maybe except world six to some extent, um, but. I imagine they probably would add more worlds if they add more planets and story bosses and all that stuff. So you probably will see um, new ones. Um, so highest palace run so far died to 133. Reaper runs 110. Ooh, 133 landmine. That sucks. Yeah, that's a tough one. The um, the cave force is always asked to, to have to deal with. So oh, fortune is what I'm missing. Okay, come with me. 90 Palancy is nice. I didn't like it in Heaven. You didn't like it in Heaven on High? Interesting. You know, I actually loved it in Heaven on High. Um, 
I actually liked it a lot in Heaven on High. I, I, I liked it way better than what it was before. What it was before was kind of just annoying. Doga? Um... Yeah, okay, let me just... Here's hoping you can get the PLD clear tonight, Angelus Mimic Bongo Animate. I enjoy how this is a meme, but thank you. I will, I will try my best, Brookie. Man, I wish I had a fortune. Oh, I got the Doga back. Oh, the Hellhound is here. Okay. I probably do the storms. Oh yeah, let's just do the storms now. Oh, you little piece of crap. Okay. I gotta get the loot. Photoshop and EOS I'm saying. <laughs> oh man. I'll get there eventually. We'll get it. Uh, oh, so much cat kill us. This game's already in daily mode for me, unfortunately. Oh yeah, I'm I'm definitely on maintenance mode. Um, I'm not. I like I wouldn't really say that's unfortunate. Like I, that's fully what I expected. Like I'll be honest, I'm I'm pretty happy with the amount of content that came out for 1.0. You know, like like it, I think it was a very um a very good amount of content. Like not terrible, not horrible, not fantastic, but it was good and. Um, yeah, pretty pleased with it. I'm really excited to see the event coming in soon, whatever the event that's gonna be. Um, gonna get the next level gain. Yeah, I'm gonna slowly get to 40. What I'm kind of hoping for is I get to 40 by Monday for stream. Um, that's what I'm kind of hoping for. Is just get to get to that by Monday. Because then I could have some content to do. I think I should have enough materials to get, like, my party up to, um... ...to par? We shall see, though. Damn it. Let me get the GCDL. Now I gotta wait here forever. Blue Mage, I know, I know. It's been a highly requested thing. We keep telling Score and Next to do it, and they don't listen, so... And I'm, I'm almost certain we're not seeing it in the next Blue Mage patch, whenever that is, right? I think that's a guarantee, because they would have said it by now. Like, part of me hopes, like, oh, maybe they're gonna really bring out the... the Blue Mage Deep Dungeon once and for all. Surprise, here's all the content you can do in 6.5 before 7.0 comes out. Nah, probably not. You know how many people would probably come back to the game? If they put- if they did a Blue Mage Deep Dungeon. Like, it'll be insane. Like, there's gonna be so many people that will come back to the game. No, 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 The way- the way you do Blue Mage. This is how you do Blue Mage, okay? This is the proper way you do Blue Mage. You- you set the Deep Dungeon up where you learn your spells in Deep Dungeon. That's how you do it. So you start with one spell in Deep Dungeon, and you learn your spells going up. Every time you restart the file, you learn your spells going up. So it becomes deck building. So you don't have to worry about the- you don't have to worry about it being overpowered. You don't have to worry about it being broken. No, you start at zero every single time. And then you- and then you can just make- you can just make different challenges every time you play. That's how you do it. And then also... To further complicate it, you make it where you get spells only exclusive to Palace. You can't take it outside, you know, you can't use it on the outside world, but you use it specifically for Palace, or specifically for Heaven on High. That's how you do it. That's the proper way of doing it. And that'll, that'll be like a forever content. No matter what happens to Palace, no matter what happens to Blue Mage, that'll be there forever. That's how you do it. Permanent content. Crazy replayability. Um... Timeless, timeless piece of content. Ten years from now, it'll be the same thing. They do it. Yeah, something to that effect. I mean, literally make it deck building, you know? How all the game- like, 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 think about it like how- how freaking simulated universe is, you know? 
Hey, pick this spell. Which spell do you want to go with? RNG. Like, embrace the fact that Blue Mage will already be broken, but put in some RNG into it. Make it a lot of fun. Boom. Easy content. How many, how many enemies do you use blue spells in POD? Yeah, like, you have a couple, but, like, if you make some of them, like, super exclusive to the content, you know, you make it special, I think that'll be a lot of fun. Okay, left of you again. I think- I don't think you balance it. <laughs> I don't think you really balance it, you know? Um... I think you just... Just let people have fun. You know, you have its own- you have its own achievements. Um... You let it have its own achievements. Just let the people have fun. Cause- cause I think it'll be in such a different category from Necromancer too, right? Um... Like, you want Necromancer? I do it on the OG jobs, but, uh... You want to do Blue Mage, whatever you want to call it, then at least that's a separate thing. Ah, uh, ooh! Wait, there's another one? I hear it. I don't know where it is, I hear it though. <laughs> okay, there it is. Uh, you're facing that way. You don't want Necro on- no, you don't. No, but- but if you make it so different, you know, if you make the content so different from the original, then it- you wouldn't be worried about the titles, because it's not the same thing. You get- you get your own title from Blue Mage. Um, that's why I think- that's why I think it'll be a good execution. Because you no longer have to worry about, oh well, just cheese it on Blue Mage. Well, yeah, you're not- I mean, you know, do it on Blue Mage, you just get a different title. I think that's what makes it- that's what would make it pretty good, in my opinion. Cause I mean, it is, an, it is a, ne a necromancer run, it's a blue mage run. It's completely different. Because otherwise, if you did do that thing where it's like the same content but you take in your spells, you gotta- you, you, it won't be fair. I mean, if- it will be so dumb when- when someone comes in here and they're like, Hey man, I wanna get necromancer, um... Do you have any tips? And it's like, yeah, unlock blue mage. <laughs> you know those 19 other jobs? Don't worry about it, do the 20th one. You, like, I don't even have to give an explanation. It'll be like, it will almost be silly for me to, like... Be like, well, if you want a challenge... But people just want the title sometimes. So, speaking of Deep Dungeon, you seem to never hit traps when I'm drawn in, like, a magnet. Any pointers? Um, so, I think it's more about... It's not so much not hitting traps. Like, in these cave floors, Magic Trader... Um, what I try to do is I try to limit the risk involved hitting a trap. So, what you'll see me do a ton of times is I'll fight something in a room... And I'll make sure it dies first, or... Wait, what is this? Intuition. Or I fight in the hallway. And while I'm not engaged with anything, or I make sure I don't aggro my, my way through the room like this, then I'm going to be okay. If I hit a trap now, okay, it happens, but at least I'm not going to potentially die to it. I keep the risk as low as possible. Luring trap, whatever it is. So I make sure I don't get the aggro. I get rid of things that are in my way. So here I'm gonna move through. These guys could move, but it's whatever. I'm gonna actually go the opposite direction here. Um, and we did get aggro, but I'm gonna pull it back. And I'm gonna make sure this is dead before I move. So that's that's where I kind of mitigate a lot of the risk involved. Um, to make it safe. You know, like, like here's a, here's an, here's a thought, okay? You just said that you died on 133 because of a landmine. Well, a landmine directly doesn't kill you. The reason it kills you is because you were probably fighting something, or you aggroed something and then stepped on it. So, the way to prevent that from happening is, one, don't have something on you, don't fight something while moving through a room, and two, make sure when you go from point A to point B, assure yourself that you're not getting the aggro. Now, here's an instance, right? This Appa right here. That's a proximity enemy. So I'm gonna want to pull it here and fight it here, not in the room. Because then I know I can get rid of this, I'm not gonna aggro it, it's dead, so on and so forth. Um, those are kind of the mitigating things that you can do to make sure that you don't cause an issue of like a landmine death. Um, so you end up stepping in a landmine? Okay, whatever. Step on it, I'll be okay. I know, Kitsu, I've been asking for that for like, years. Like, well not years, like maybe like two years. Um, so I hope it happens, but... <sighs> that's a big, that's a big, that's a big hope, so... 
Um, we're gonna use one of the Octopath musics here for, uh, for the boss theme. I'll just do... We'll, we'll go up the thing. Um, hold on. Let's do, um, Critical Clash 1. These boss songs are better. <clears throat> yeah, Magistrate, I hope that made sense. I'm out, then in. Oh god, I'm out, then in. The timing, I thought it was gonna, <clears throat> gonna be a little weird. Uh, my right. His right. His right. For 100? No, no, no. I will play the 90 boss theme that's in here and the and the 99. Um, I'm only gonna replace 50 to 80 because I don't like the I don't like that song as much. I'll get to you in a second, hold on. Okay. My left. You have a point. I know it doesn't matter how long it takes to clear, a 30 minute clear, or a 55 minute clear, both are clears. That's some sense of time pressure I still have if, you, if I still- yeah, 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 mm-hmm. He's left. I think Blue Mage Royale will ever make it. <laughs> okay. I think, Kieran, you should know me by now. That I'm usually very optimistic about things, right? So... If I were to make it... If I were to put an optimistic spin on what you just said... Here's my thought process on that, okay? Here's the one thing that I think would help. If the PvP tournament that they're going to employ right now is successful... I think the idea of more types of PvP modes could be a reality, right? Oh, oh, let's go. The PvP tournament, a lot of people watching, a lot of people doing it, a lot of hype. Esports. Yeah, maybe they think about something like that, you know? Okay, let's invest time, let's invest some resources into more PvP stuff. That's what my brain's thinking. <clears throat> you know, they, you want to you wanna capitalize on, on something or a topic that is is what people like. So, maybe. Um, now, they are, I mean, you could also make the argument that they are completely unrelated. <laughs> like, what does that have to do with Blue Mage? That's fair. You know? I mean, that's fair. But, I mean... You know, who knows? I do hope that PvP thing goes well. Um, you know, I'm I'm still a little surprised that they doubled down on the idea, considering the last one was like okay. Um, but I just hope it goes without any hitches. I hope uh, people are happy with their experience because the last time I was a part of the feast regional thingy and the experience was mediocre at best. Uh, and I just hope people don't suffer and experience what I had to experience. <laughs> That's all I'll say. I hope anyone, if anyone in chat is doing it, I hope y'all have a good time. How are people even teaming up for it? Can't use a team? Um, so, so, fair question. They have had a lot of, they have had a handful of community tournaments already. Um, both, both official tournaments, 
as well as as well as community tournaments. Um, so those are kind of your opportunities to do it. But it's just a really weird um, situation because I was talking about this with Chila this morning. Um, if you're taking someone who's not, you know, who's not like into Twitch, not into Discord. Well, how do those people know how to get into the tournament, you know? Like, I think it benefits people who are engaged with the community, who know that these things are being run, who talks and converses with other gamers. Um, that's where you see, um, like, the opportunity of that arising. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, they never had, they never put in a team queue. They never put in a multiplayer queue. Like they did in Feast. Feast, you can do training mode with two people. Um, but they never had a light party queue. And uh, all of it was always custom matches or kind of community ran. Or, they again, they, they've had official tournaments. They've done it before. In JP and EU, I think they did an NA one. I'm not sure. Um, so they've existed. But you had to have known that they was happening. You had to have friends do it. But I think, to be fair, I mean... Yeah, I imagine you're gonna have to go with friends, or you already had buddies, or you're really trying to make an effort to do it if you were thinking about it. Um, I mean, there's still kind of time to get set for it. You know, find four other gamers and go for it. Hey, Impossibles, thank you so much. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, I can point you in directions if you want me to. I am still kind of in tune with, like, the PvP community in a way. So, I mean, I could point you into Discords, but, um... <clears throat> you know, I've been so disconnected from 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 PvP in general that, but yeah, I mean it's it's an odd one. Um, but in reality, on the flip side, all you gotta do, like I said, just find four of the gamers who want to do it, and then sign up for the tournament. I don't think there's any requirements. I don't think there's any like anything you need to do other than just be there for when those brackets are coming in and go for it. So. Yeah, I just hope he, I just hope whoever does it has a good time. That's all. Um, uh, Magic Trader says trying to kind of keep my pace with, with me as a benchmark too, but how he breezes through five boys in ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, revival Discord is is where I would point you to. I think that's just the main the main PvP Discord really, and I'm sure there'd probably forming parties parties there. Um, so yeah, I don't think it's still kicking. I think it's been kicking. I think that's more accurate, right? I don't think it's ever really kind of died down. Um, considering how successful they are getting uh, rival wings going on a weekly basis and all that stuff, but that would be the first place I go to um, to see if there are any gamers that want to join up. But um, anyway, uh, I'm gonna take a Russian break. We'll do some uh, we'll do some ads here. I gotta do some mandatory ads anyway, so I'll take I'll stand up, take the Russian break. What song we got playing? Pretty good. So thank you for watching, guys. I'll come back in three minutes. Um, I'll be doing this on the ad breaks, but first and foremost, we have a merch store. Check it out. It is Deep Dungeon related. Uh, thank you to the artist that did that work. You can see, you can see uh, where they are in that webpage and check it out. We have shirts, coasters, and stickers. Um, and that does support the stream. And also, if you haven't already, because I'm only going to be pushing this until the patch comes in, but we have a EO survey. So if you want to share your thoughts about Eureka Orthos and how you feel, do you love it, do you hate it? You like the old ones, you hate the old ones, put it there. We have 400 responses so far. And once Savage comes in and everything settles down with Deep Dungeon, I'm going to start looking over that information, start putting it together. So I'm just letting it sit there for now. But if you haven't already, definitely check that out. But BRB 3 minutes, I'll be back. Thank you for watching, guys. Also, Brokey, I don't think I thanked you for the resub, so thank you for the 15 months, I appreciate it. I'm almost certain I didn't thank you, so thank you for that continued support, man. Been, it's been it's been fun having you around, so appreciate you. All right, let me update the title. I I haven't been updating my title for like two weeks, so I need to get back into that. Can't be lazy. All right, let's go. Let's have some fun. Raising, raising, raising. A vitching. Ooh, a vitching. A vitching is gonna be good. Because I can kill the nice sprite for that. Ooh, well, there's also that. I do have a landmine up, so we could do. I mean, I'm sorry. I do have a. Um, I do have a witching and a raising up, so we could do a big pull here. So let's just see what we got first. 
I ran this like 10 times so I can't get my life. Dude, I've been- dude, I spent all day today. I think I did a- I, So I was initially farming World 3, Kieran. World 3, and uh, I, uh, I probably did it like 10 times also, and I never got what I needed. I finally got it, and then now I've been running- Actually, I've been farming World 4 now. Uh, with a full DPS party, and I've been trying to get hunt, and it just- yeah, it just, it just won't come. I just can't get the last one. Uh... Okay, I'm really hoping there's a landmine. I'm like advertising there might be a landmine here, I'm not seeing one. Is there none? That's a demon. Alright, um... Yeah. I'm like hoping I would get that, uh, that, 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 uh, that one occurrence that just gives you everything, but... So here I put a couple down low, because what I wanted to do is I wanted to kill these in Witching, so they wouldn't explode on me. That's why they looked a little odd, but that's that was the specific reason I did that. And I had the Witching, so... But now they don't explode. And also I Lethargied, so that means they're gonna take even longer to explode. Did I already get to interlude? 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 Yes, I did. Yep, I got to interlude. Yep, I got that. I got the. I got that. Um, yesterday? Yes, last night. And I tried to clean up as many achievements as I could. That was at least viable. So I'm pretty much clean there. Um, and I'm certainly on like the daily maintenance. Um, and like I said, I'm not. I'm not upset with it. I know it was going to happen. Um, and honestly, it taking nearly a week and a half for that to happen was like, I'm fine with that. You know. I'm perfectly fine with that. And I was pushing pretty hard. Oh, there's the landmine I was looking for. God damn it. Alright, uh... Surprised I missed the, uh, the sprite though. I actually would have thought the sprite was gonna be in range. Yeah, I finished, like, all the, all the puzzles that were there. Um... I'm not sure if there's any other, like, side quests I might be missing. There might be a couple side quests that I don't have because I had to wait a day to get them with them, but that's not really my concern. Are there any many mobs in EO that you would put on the no pull list? <clears throat> um... So... I'm gonna give a little bit of a... a little bit more of a detailed answer, Effie. In terms of execution, in terms of, like, can I kill it? The answer is absolutely no. Everything I can pull, I can kill. Okay. Now, are there going to be enemies that I would prefer not to fight? Absolutely. I do not want to pull the Amirs. I do not want to pull, uh, like a couple of those enemies. Um, like I don't want to pull the Thunder Beasts. I don't want to pull, um, a Phallic on a range class. So there's a couple that exists that I don't want to pull. But when you're talking in comparison to like, um, Heaven on High, Palace of the Dead. There are enemies in Palace of the Dead that almost no one wants to pull because you almost can't kill it. Um, if that makes sense, right? Like, worms are extremely tough to fight. Dragons, for certain jobs, you don't want to fight it. Um, Gravekeepers, uh, Gravekeepers are kind of doable on a range class, but courses on a, on a DPS without seal? Yeah, good luck with that one, right? So those have categories. Um, in, in Heaven on High, uh, Mifoons, um, 
uh, Ryujins, Ankos, like those are enemies that you just do not pull because they are going to kick your ass unless you're like ready for that. Um, but none of that exists in EO. Every single thing you can fight, you can pull. Um, it just comes down to, do you want to fight it? <laughs> do you want to pull it? That's all it comes down to, that makes sense. Um, so. Yeah, it's not, it's not like a directly straight answer, but you will see that I will prefer not to fight things. Now, when we did the Machinist run, I pulled everything on purpose, because I wanted to demonstrate what everything does. But on a Machinist, there definitely are enemies I would not pull. The Amir I wouldn't pull. Um, yeah, like the, 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 the enemies I just mentioned I wouldn't pull on a Machinist. I would rather just fight something else. Back on the survey, didn't clear yet, but... <clears throat> yeah, no, anyone... Anyone um, that's done it, even if you didn't clear, um, that is that's actually even more of an important opinion, right? Because you could be the person of like, well, if you didn't clear, why didn't you clear, or do you even want to clear, right? Is, is there something with the content that is is holding you back, or something you don't like that's, that that is um, hold, that that doesn't want you to do it? I mean, even more important is the guy who probably has Necromancer and Lone Hero and refuses to do EO. Like, why? Why? Like, let me know why. That kind of stuff. Um, so every single opinion, no matter what your level of gameplay or experience is, is, is important. And I'm still mulling over if I want to put it on Reddit, and I think I do, but I'm going to make a, a different one. I still haven't, like, kind of formulated how I want to, how to want to award it and stuff. Even on Jaws, they can't do. I never pull up a dragon. Yeah, I mean, I've gotten more confident into it now, um, because I've done it a handful of times. But I do need a specific situation to make it happen. I need to have strength steel. I need to have full bursts, and then I can do it. But yeah, like I wouldn't do it on a. I mean, I could do it on a healer, but it's just really annoying. I wouldn't do it on a melee DPS under any circumstance. Never would I do a flood dragon on a melee DPS. You know. Um. Oh, uh, I'll just do these. These should be fine. Yeah, it's not fine, but it's whatever. Time mitigations is real, yep. Oh yeah, like, you gotta get full mitigation on that one uh, to do it on tank. Like, I did on warrior okay, but I was like ready. I had steel on, I had everything on. To make it happen. Uh, where are you facing? No. Oh, it's trapped. I've been kind of lying when doing the survey. When I asked if I cleared, I put yes. But then I thought, wait, it means clear, as in reach the final floor. Let me get the chest. Oh, now you give me the safety. Oh, I'm gonna aggro this sprite, I know it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I knew it. <clears throat> Not if I answer, that's okay. I mean, look, if it wasn't clear enough, then, you know, tell me. I just hope I made everything clear as possible. Mm. Don't turn around. Don't turn around! Mm. I'm just gonna wait. I'm so lazy, dude. I don't want to fight this thing. Did the survey and filled it with a lot of EO hate. Good. You know, you know, Caddy. Also, hello, Caddy. How you doing? The thing that gets me excited because I've been sifting through a little bit of the results here and there. The question I asked towards the end: Do you think Eureka Orthos is in the right direction or the wrong direction for Deep Dungeon? You know what the first four responses were? Great. First two responses wrong. Next two responses right. And I'm like. Let's go, dude. This is gonna be fun to read through. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm like, like, wanting to see what people think, you know? The mixture of opinions. Oh, hi. Um, ba -da -da -da. 
definitely not, but the majority of the community will say the right direction. Yeah, gonna see. Um, although I think the best, some of the best results that I've been seeing so far, that is definitely telling. Um, the question about, and I, I just looked at it before stream too, the question about which one do you think is harder? And a vast majority definitely think Palace is harder. But then what's interesting is the majority of people, actually, the only reason they think it's harder is just basically just 200 floors, is it? Like, that's the only standout reason. Um, which is, again, like, like I think a lot of the veterans understand that and they know it, but it's still fun to read it. It's still cool to see it, in my opinion. Playing on Regal Scene? Yes. In the future, absolutely. I, I, I want to gather together. I'm thinking about doing a video. Um, definitely, like, I think what I might do also, um, what I'm thinking about doing is I I'm closing the survey before the patch, because, uh, let's be honest, no one's gonna care about Eureka Orthos once Savage comes out, right? I mean, that's why I'm doing it now. I'm getting everyone's opinions now while people are, like, on hiatus, they're, they're vibing, maybe they're taking breaks from 14, whatever it might be. I want your opinion now. But once that's done, I close the survey, I might start releasing snippets of, like, the graphs, because some of the stuff are in graphs, um, just to showcase some of the stuff. But the long answer responses, for sure, I wanna I wanna sift through them, see what the majority says, and then we'll do a video. It's gonna be similar to, um, I would say, the video we did for the community feedback, if anyone remembers that one, where we gathered what people think um, they want done with Deep Dungeon, you know, what the suggestions. That's where people said about the save files, that's where people said about, you know, fixing the, the pot shirts, which in turn ended up being a duration extension for sustaining cushions, which is a surprise. Um, that's where we talked about the blue mage, that's where, you know, a lot of things that, that we kind of mentioned and, you know, we wanted harder bosses, that's part of that too, is like everyone's like, okay, we wish the bosses were harder, and I mean, we got them, so... You know, I don't know how much, I don't know if they ever saw that, I don't know if those, if Yoshi P ever read that or saw that video, but I'd like to think we had some type of say or some type of influence into some of the direction, so that's where that, that thought process comes in, you know, maybe we can do something, maybe at least something will be heard and they can try to do it. I don't think it hurts trying, it only costs me time, it costs everyone a little bit of time. I feel the moment, I feel the moment to moment Heaven on High is harder, but Frog is much faster because you're right back in. I said POTD is harder as well, but the only reason I think POTD is harder is because of the palm management and one new one and Flood Dragons and all. That's fair. Completely fair. Are you not dead? Shocking. I got a, I got a demi clone at 51 set. I, I, I can't believe this. I just did not expect that. Is there a lot of people doing EO right now? Um... I can take a look at the survey. Uh, I would say, I, if from the quick analysis that I looked at, uh, a vast majority haven't cleared, I think. I think a lot of people did it, but there is definitely more people in the survey of the 400 responses that did not clear than they cleared. Um... So... I'd say more than half did not clear of the 400. Do I really want that chest? Let me eye it very quickly. Um. So 80% said EO is not the first one they cleared. And the question with how many times have you cleared in a party? 41% said zero. And then, how many times have you cleared solo? 51% said... None. So it's more than half that haven't cleared it at all. And, and you are talking the survey, I've only put this specific survey out to the Discord and my Twitter. Um, so you're probably getting at least people adjacent to the community or the community in itself. And that's one reason why I really want to try to do a, a Reddit post. But I'm gonna keep it- I'm gonna keep it in a separate a separate, uh, survey. Like, not- I don't want it to mix in with this one. So, it'd be two different ones, but, uh, it would be- it would have a bigger reach. That's which, wait, did I strengthen and not pick it up? Yeah, but even then, like, half of them haven't cleared. Um... 
which I think was was interesting for sure. And yeah, that's fair. I mean, have you cleared in a party? I mean, I haven't cleared in a party, so I would be I would be a no. But still, more than half haven't cleared yet, which is understandable. A lot of people in my FC who don't care about deep dungeon have been doing EO. Yeah, and in in the in the that beginning section FE. You know, when it first came out, there were tons of people doing it. Even like, even like high-end raiders were, were diving into it and having fun, you know? So, for sure. Though, thking back on the traps and risk management, doesn't your luring trap in 51 plus just super stretch your palms and kill you? Singles to heaven on high? It does. So actually, specifically 151 plus, and also 41 plus magic shader, the traps up there are very, very avoidable. And here's kind of the way I would put it. If you step on a trap in 101, uh, if you step on a trap in 111 to 150 in Palace of the Dead, that's uh, you know, it happens. It's risk management, whatever. If you step on a trap in uh, 151 plus, I would say more times than not, that is on you. That's your mistake, um, because a lot of them are avoidable. And if you're hugging the walls, you really shouldn't hit a majority of them. Why are you not dead? Now I do want to give you this video first, Magic Trader. Um, in terms of Palace, if you haven't checked it out yet, our buddy Darabon did a very extensive video explaining all the trap locations in 151 Plus. So if that's something, if you're someone who likes to study VODs and study info, definitely take a look at that one because that can show you every single trap. And if you have that one equipped, you probably will never step on a trap again. That's how good that is. Now for me, I've only memorized like four very specific locations that I will hit a wall trap. And as long as I remember them, I basically never hit a trap. So, you know, the cave floors, different story. I do hit traps there, but 151 plus, if you've watched any of my runs, I very rarely hit a trap 151 plus because that's that's not luck, that's that's execution. Um <clears throat> Heather recommended to you. It also makes you think. <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah, I don't have them all back in the, I uh, my brain capacity does not does not have the the, the size for that. <laughs> I only remember like four of them that I need to know, and all of them are like corner wall traps. Um, so if like if I have to go for an intuition, it's a it's a spicy day in the office because I don't know how to dive into there and get out clean, you know. Oh, it's absolute overkill, but you know what? Some people love it. You know the analytical guys will love that video. It's there, you know. If you want to have it, it's there. You don't have to. I, I don't. Um, I don't, I don't, I didn't digest that entire thing, but I, I took enough. Hey, Pin. Hey, Pin, I hope you're feeling better, man. Hope you're feeling better, and uh, thanks for passing by. Appreciate it. I have most of that video memorized, yeah. Oh, I, I used the extra shank. Oops, that was my bad. I already had it. That's my fault. 90 pin? Okay, good. Good, good, good. I'm glad to hear it. I think I'll revisit the video once I do a break into it. Yeah. yeah it's, it's one thing that I love about this community magic. I mean, I try my best to get as much intel out there for people to, to digest and to learn. But there are other people in the community that want to do the same thing. They hit other specific sections, and we, as a team, cover everything, um, pretty much. And I think that's such a cool thing, you know. If you need to know something. Someone has the intel. It may not just be me, but someone has it. And we just want we just want people to clear. That's it. It's just really that simple. Yeah. But you know what? It gives me an opportunity to probably get the uh, area that I want to do the reveal. With the loading chaps, also your steep enemies. Ooh, this one probably aggro's, huh? You can say bombs, yes. If you have sleep, that is, of course. I'm not killing these. I'm gonna wait for the second movement. I got the reveal though, that's what I was aiming for. 
Realize that you don't you don't really need strength the bosses still, yes. Yes. Um the boss timers are like I play a lot safer um in my runs. But I think for a lot of the bosses on like Machinist, for example, you can get away without the strength. Steel, yes, but you can get away with without the strength and save it for the next four, absolutely. Because you killed it in under eight, I think, with in some cases without the uh without the strength. Which is definitely important detail. Oh, I didn't... You know what, that's so dumb of me. I meant to pull this one, I didn't change target and I committed anyway. By the way, Willow, how did that run with DB go? With D-Buns? Think you guys were trying to kill each other intentionally? How did that go? I, I was watching on and off. I had it muted, and I got home like a little late. So I was just- I was still playing, uh, I was still playing Hawkeye, but I had you guys up. She died a lot. So who had the most deaths, you or her? Did I even ask? You had, wow, you only died once? Damn. Gamer. You had about- <laughs> How many did you cause? A couple? <laughs> oh no. I'm so proud about how I was able to... To, to assassinate Sheila in our party run. I got her good once. I tried to get her a couple times, but I only got her good once. <laughs> Pulled a cone drone while she was chatting and pointed the dad. <laughs> dad, that's that's stream sniping. Wow. Un wow, you stream sniped her. Holy moly. Brutal. I don't know if this counts, but I pulled like five Minotaurs to fight and they killed her, but it's not like I pulled it into her. Gotcha. I mean, I think that counts, you know. Let me test. Uh-oh. Get back, dude. I know your tricks. So we shielded there so we don't get the slow. Because it only puts the slow on if you take damage. He will get it off again, though. I don't really need anything in particular except the raising, so I'm just gonna go. By the way, heads up guys, actually I'm gonna go get it. On Sunday, we will take in Machinist once again for the 20th time, but we'll be doing a Protomander time management video. 
so it's gonna revolve around all the information I can give you about why I'm making choices about my power-ups. Um, and I'm gonna hope that it helps people make decisions, make people save time. It's been something that's been requested a lot, so we're going to put it in action on Sunday, so look forward to that on Sunday. A lot of talking, a lot of explanation. Very different from uh, the other video, the, the live patrol that we did, which was all about explaining everything and talking about mechanics, boss mechanics, everything. This is gonna be about... I guess you can say theory, but we have a lot of consistency here, so it's gonna be consistent. Hey, Bella! Thank you for the eight months of support. Cheers! Really, really appreciate these resubs. It has just been awesome. So thank you so much. Um, you know, a lot of the guys keep their subs going in this channel, and it means a ton. I'm gonna keep streaming, I'm gonna stay consistent with my content and my schedule. As long as I still love doing this, and I do, so it really means a lot. And you'll continue to support. Dealing with Pox is quite common for most jobs. Having interrupt is privilege that definitely <clears throat> helps push range for school and comfort ranks, yes. Hey Juni, how you doing? A lot of people in DPS struggle on time. Are you asking me? I think a lot of people struggle with Eureka Orthos. That's what it is. It's not... It's not a, um... It's not a problem... ...of which job it is. It's more, um... Yeah, we're talking about the person... ...that, um, is trying to clear their first deep dungeon. I think a lot of us who've had a lot of carryover from the previous... ...use our pre- ...use our prior information and it carries us big time. Um, I will tell you, I mean, I don't know how you have- if you've watched other streams, you know, I know Frosty's been going very slowly through his- through, through his thing, so he might be a good example, a recent example. But I've watched a lot, I mean, June, uh, June Clancy also, same situation, initially, when they were doing their first attempts. Uh, their issue was time, and their issue was protomanders. They would get to 91, and they'd be tapped. they get to 99 and have nothing. Um, you know, from the very beginning when I started this, even with the prog, my issue was not time. Well, except for, like, my very first run. It wasn't time, and it wasn't protomanders. Um, it was dying to mechanics. So, it's about trying to get that knowledge, like, shared, if that makes sense. Um... You know, and I think a lot of people probably will engage with this as their first deep dungeon. Probably, maybe. So, you don't have the prior experience to, to lean back on. Um, Healer Pog helped me a lot. Yes, exactly. Healer will help when you figure it out. But I think getting through that stepping stone of knowing what to look for and what to aim for is the, the disconnect right now. So we're going to try to make that connection. Or at least I'm going to try to make that connection. Little content keep hey Bell, I appreciate it. It really, really means a lot. I hope we're gonna get more different stuff. I mean, Honkai right now, I've been really happy with Honkai, and I hope that can become something that will, um, that will get more and more. But we'll see. Still attempting my first solo clear, been an 83, but only recently got to 41 EO. Completely different than Savage Rating. Yes, Raven, absolutely. Very different from Savage Rating, right? Especially because it's solo and everything. Dude, if I had low ping, I'm not doing that. Um, do I want to go all the way back up for this thing? Do I just be, like, super lazy and just sight or something? What AR am I in Honkai? I'm 37. I just hit 37 today, but I'm not gonna push any harder. I know 40 is a big, is a big one, and I could push for it with the fuel that I have, but I think I'm gonna relax right now and just rely on dailies. Um, I, I, like, currently, I don't see a reason why I should push to, um... To 40 any faster than just natural progression. Um, you know, like if we had new content next week, a new event, or just like literally just something new coming in, um, I will do it. But because I don't think that's happening anytime in the near future, I'm just gonna vibe. Get the 30 taking it easy now. Yeah, I, I've definitely hit maintenance mode. Um, I finished the current story. I finished almost all the overworld stuff. I'm basically just spamming simulated universe right now. And I'm having a blast doing it, and we're gonna do a lot of that tomorrow. Like, tomorrow what I wanna do... We're gonna be doing World 6. I haven't cleared World 6, but if I end up clearing World 6, I wanna try to do it with the different, um, the different disciplines. So if we clear it on one, I wanna force my way through another one, and we'll just do that all stream. 
Um, unless it takes me all stream to even clear it the first time, so I'm really excited about that. That content just has been really fun. Um, doing well. Took a short break and ready to jump back into things. Awesome. Good to hear, Juni. What scares me about EO is that most telegraph attacks just straight up murder you, even at 4-1. Yep, you're right. Um, knowledge is certainly going to be an extreme power in Eureka Orthos, Magic Trader. Uh, I think if you have any type of um, rating experience, I think it comes into play. Because a lot of the mechanics are going to be very similar to rating. Um, but once you know, you know. You just have to really be focused to, to make sure you keep remembering. That That's probably the hardest bit, is to remember, but also to be focused about it. And, and I've heard a lot of people basically basically say they died because they got distracted. So they just looked away and they, they died. Um, and that's like the biggest cause of a lot of the deaths in here, I think. Um, also, I've heard someone that spawn rooms on the floors is always for your traps. That is absolutely true. Yep. Yes, but you are not free from respawns. So things can respawn in the spawn room, so there's something to keep in mind. Um, but in the higher, higher floors, the respawns are much longer, so it becomes a little bit less of a concern, but it's still a concern. Like, you would still rather fight in hallways, but, um, you know. I heard he got to 99, I was unable to watch him. <clears throat> but I know he got to 99 for the first time. And I'm really proud of him, man. I'm so proud of him. I, I can't wait. I, I hope I do get to witness this clear. Um, cause yeah, he's my he's my yo he's my wingman, man. He's my wingman. So I hope uh shit. I hope um I get to witness it. His schedule's not bad. It's just sometimes I'm unable to watch him. I do I do I do hope he gets it. And he's been blind pogging the entire thing. Um. So big respect for him to stick with it. And it's content, you know? He's trying to be a full-time streamer. By him going blind and having to take the long route is content, so... He's doing it the good way. Aurora's birthday run was 92, good for con good day for content. Yeah, and happy birthday to Aurora. I didn't know his birthday until he posted, so happy birthday to him. Eh, he's like me, he keeps it, uh, he keeps it down though. See, if anyone's paying attention... My birthday is on my Honkai profile. I don't really talk about my birthday very much. I don't- I- dude, anytime my birthday comes up on stream, I don't even mention it. I, it's just not a thing I do. Um, but I do have my birthday listed, so, you know, you, if anyone wants to take notes, be my guest. Yeah, that's unfortunate. What do we got? Leech Yabby? Oh, great. We got a Yabby? Yeah, that's gonna be a little bit of a problem. I missed. Yay, this is a problem. Uh, Alright, I'm just gonna play this really lazy and I'm just gonna try it. Oh, crap. Oh. oh, it didn't matter, I had the thing anyway. Alright, let me kill this one first. Watch out for that sprite. Should have killed it first, actually. Okay. This is basically. This is gonna take too long, so I'm just gonna do this right now. <laughs> That's all this was. Focus is the definitely biggest blocker for me right now. My last one ended 90 balls because I lost track of eggs. Yeah, focus is not easy. Um. I forgot to apply Sonic Break Dot. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot to do Sonic too. I didn't do Sonic Break at all. Um, which was hilarious. Like I realized it. Like I think at the very end of my rotation, I'm like, oh, right, Sonic Break. Yeah, I was looking for the Onion Knight. So the right answer earlier was to use a use a freaking demi clone. I got Paladin 190 unless soon unless I do something silly on the way up. Don't do something silly. Easy game. Let me purity as well. Don't fat, fat don't fat finger super well like two minutes before the push like I did. You know, funny story. Uh shifting it to heaven on high a little bit. You know how 
I know that, um, so let's talk the Serbi boss, okay? 70 boss Serbi, three-headed doggo. He has the Hound of Hell, uh, the Hell, with Hound of Hell? The, the Gap Closer. Oh my god, never punished! Um, he has the Gap Closer, right? He does the Gap Closer, you need to be in the puddle, you get stunned, and then he does Devour. I know for a fact that Hound of Hell goes through Invuln because we had a very unfortunate gamer. Batfinger Super Bolide right before that move goes off and it kills him. <laughs> why- why we need- why that happens, it happens, but man. What a way to find that out, right? Super, super unfortunate. Because no other- no other class is ever really gonna figure that out. Like, like, no tank is gonna be that low on that specific move. Except the Gunbreaker. I mean, I knew Devour goes to Invalm. I didn't know Hell Hound of Hell goes to Invalm. Storms? Oh. oh, did I not pick it up? Like a dumbass, yeah. These drops? <sighs> yeah, well, you know, pal maybe maybe the game is uh is is being uh, nice. Who knows? You know. I'm gonna jinx myself, okay? Yesterday night, around the same time that I lost my Paladin file, whenever that happened, which was midnight Eastern, my modem died again for like five minutes, but it was yesterday. <laughs> Zyros, Zyros DMs me, telling me he kills the Super Boss and Octopath too. Damn, it took me like all day. It took me like all stream to kill that thing. Oh look, a raisin. No knockback. Just thinking about things, seems like both Gunbreaker and Warrior are pretty good then. Biggest hurdle thing. Yep. Um honestly if I had to rank the the tanks, Magic Trader, I would say Dark Knight's probably the easiest on Behemoth, followed by Gunbreaker, followed by Warrior, followed by Paladin. If I were to rank them. Like, because I, I did all four and, and currently, so, you know, that that was my feeling on it. Of course, take that subjectively. It could be uh, different for, depending on who you ask, but that's how it is for me. Though Dark Knight by far the easiest, like that's, I don't think, I don't think a lot of people will, will, uh, will question that one. Like, Dark Knight's really easy. And again, we're talking relative, like, okay, yeah, like, I've done it a hundred times, I know how to do it, you know, that- take that into perspective, you know. But, um, in terms of execution, Dark Knight was just really comfy. You know, I haven't heard this song for a while, because first and foremost, I haven't used my playlist in a while. This song's so good, I like this song a lot. Dark Knight was the worst. It flipped. Yeah, pre-living dead, absolutely the worst. Like it was just It's almost like we would almost like recommend you not take Dark Knight, that's how bad it was. Um but now it's flipped on its head. It's way better. It's so much better. Are you kidding me, you piece of crap? What kind of, what kind of hearing do you have? Rico, good to see you, man. Apologize to Zerathan? No, dude. He shouldn't have aggroed. He, he had an illegal aggro. Red flag. <laughs> oh my god. What are, they, what are you in Zeratons? Uh... I don't know. Isn't, isn't that the, the one of the... Isn't that one of the bosses for, uh, for the Savage tier or something? I don't know. Something with like leech arms, I don't know. Hmm. 
Well, since this since this zone in particular, 51 plus is all about uh like Aquin uh Aquian type of an uh, type of enemies, right? You got the monk, you got the crab, you got the shark. So it has to be a fish. <laughs> right? That 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 has to be what it is, so we'll just call it a fish. I don't know what an ice fight is though. I don't know what an ice fight's doing here, but you know what? It's okay. The ice fight is just they just had to put it somewhere, so they put it here. I mean, the scorpion is like an underwater scorpion, so that counts, but... Yeah, good thing there's three of them here. Like... I'd rather fight literally anything else. Let's do the ice fight first. Just hanging out here and talking deep dungeon makes me want to crack, uh, to crack this deep dungeon, this necromancer run. They can do it. Oh, you can do it. Um, I mean, like honestly, I think everyone can do it. Magic trader. It just comes down to how much time you're willing to put into it. Um, you know, how much time, how much studying do you want to put into it? That's it. That's all it comes down to. Sometimes people are on time limits. You know, like for instance, the one of the more Obvious time limit coming in is the raid tier coming up at the end of the month. So some people are trying to maybe get get it in before that because they're gonna prioritize that. Understandable completely. But some other guys don't have time limits. It'll happen when it happens. And those type of people I think, in my opinion, have the best chance because there's nothing pressuring them. They do it today, they do it in two months, they do it in a year. Okay. But they believe in it. I think sometimes additional pressure hurts a little bit. But, you know, we're all humans, we all got lives, we all got things that's going on. Can't be controlled. But how do you how do you deal with that pressure is the biggest question. That's how it works, so hey, then you know what? You got it, man. Time is your only enemy. And we'll be here. I'll be here. You know? You wanna talk? I got you. And if you wanna talk off stream, Discord's there. So, um, you know, I know your time is weird with the time zones, but if you still want to ask questions to me or to the community and you're not in the Discord, please, you're by all means welcome to join in. So keep that in mind for sure. Uh, Olivia the Wicked, thank you for the follow, welcome. You definitely do it if you keep pushing, just keep plugging away, progress isn't linear, but there's always something to learn when you lose a run. Also getting Necromancer is one of those accomplishments that pretty much everybody agrees is crazy. So it's impressive no matter- Yeah, everyone agrees it's crazy, and everyone agrees it's- it's, um... You know, when you see the title on someone's head, you're like, okay, gamer, you know? No debate, just that's it. You did- you did the thing. That's respected. But- but also it's- it is that self-accomplishment, you know? You don't- you know you did it by yourself. And at the end of the day, it really is all about your accomplishment, not, not about someone else's accomplishment, it's what you were able to do. Walk here. <clears throat> it's universally respected, and I think more and people know what that is, too. More and more people know what that title means. How's my time? I haven't even looked at my time. Oh, my time is okay. I'm gonna demi-clone the boss regardless, so... I do not like fighting the boss straight up, especially on tank. It's way, way too long. All the music is gonna be good though. The music, you know what? I definitely noticed on Machinist when we did the Machinist charity run, guys. When I was playing my playlist on the boss as opposed to listening to the regular theme, I actually enjoyed it way more. I would say 50% more. <laughs> um, because I had music I wanted to listen to. It's really funny how that works. Oh yeah, this one, Fighter of the Crystal. The, uh, the Crystal dudes.
I only did the the fight once with all against all five of them at once. So, but I still have some some pretty some pretty vivid memories of doing some of this stuff, you know. One of the one of the one of those trials where you knew you didn't want to f up. You didn't want to be the reason that people gathered here took a whole you know took all week to get all these people together for this like thirty minute run, and you didn't want to be the reason why it failed. Those are the days. I uh, pretty much I lost two pretty permanent stack runs in 96 and 97, 96, 94 both. Uh, I changed my search comment to upset giraffe can't get necromancer title because because internet. Uh, then was comforted by someone with a necromancer title. You know why? They they know. That's it. They 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 know. Um, it, I think it's pretty incredible, Magic Trader, with the experience that you've had so far. Again, you, you go to the Discord, or you talk to anyone who's done the challenge, and you just talk about a death, you know, what happens to you in detail. I bet you you're gonna- you're gonna find, like, five people that are like, yeah, that happened to me too. <laughs> you know, yeah, been there, I get it. So, like, that's the thing, like, we have a- we have, um, we have a channel called, um, DD Fails So Good. And I've heard from multiple people that that's their favorite channel. Because someone will go in there, they're gonna post like this horrible story like, Oh my god, I was right there, I was at 99, I timed out at 99, or like, you know, whatever the reason might be. And then you'll have like, you know, five people, ten people be like, Man, I did the same thing yesterday. Man, you know, um, I timed out on this. Man, I timed out on 200. Like, people get it. They understand it. They've been there. And I think it's really cool to feel that comfort, right? You're not, like, you might think you just did that, just this super awkward thing that seems so dumb but at the end of the day it's like yeah everyone everyone said that so it, it, it happens you just shake it off come out doga let's make this fast let's make this fight faster with the epic music it is the same Alright, hey Willow, thanks for being here, man. Appreciate you. Have a wonderful sleep. I'm gonna catch you around, I'm sure of it. It's gonna be alternating. I know the 14th community is very welcoming and pleasant. Mm -hmm. Coming from... Okay. Some Star Wars, it's a great change to have, both games, yeah. Yeah, honestly, I still think um, it is a little lucky that you do run into good people. I can definitely assure you that our Deep Dungeon community is for sure really loaded with a lot of really just cool people. Um, I think what helps is that there's really no deep competition, you know, nothing really rooted in having to want to be better than someone else. Um, I think that helps. You know, I think when if you were to step into like a deep dun- uh, I'm sorry, if you were to step into like a PvP community, I think you kind of will know what you're walking into there. Um, so, you know, I think the content and what's asked of gamers caters to that. That it just- yeah, there's kind of just no room for- I mean, it's not necessary to have kind of negative attitudes, if you will. And once in a while you get you get kind of the bad apple, but at least in our community it's it's pretty 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 damn good. If I do say so myself. 
But sometimes, you know, you get you get unlucky. I mean, I I've known newer players to just have like the one experience where it just really sours the whole thing. And sometimes um that is their first experience. You want to you want to know a funny story? My first ever dungeon in this game. Back in ARR, I mean, I'm, I played since beta ARR. I go into, I think it's Amdapur Keep. Yeah, I think it's Amdapur Keep. I think. Um, very first time I did a high level dungeon. I didn't know really about gearing. It was just, you know, okay, I'm high enough level. Let's just give this a shot. We get to the first boss. We don't kill the first boss. The tank in the party goes, your gear is bad, you should get better gear, and then leaves. <laughs> that's what he tells me. And I'm like, oh, okay. So that's endgame, cool. And that was like before like I even really knew what it looked, right? I didn't know that there was resources to look at, the game is fresh. I mean, that stuff kind of sits with you, you know? It kind of sucks. But I was just unlucky. I just I just didn't get the person who's like, oh yeah, you know, you can do this, you can do that, you can you can try this, you know. It's just your gear's bad. Bye. <laughs> so bad. Um, what happens? Luckily, I'm still playing the game. My uh, Goring Blade is so horribly out of sync right now. Okay, good. Let's go. What did you- yeah? Yeah? You know? Um... You know, when I do dungeons... Like, you know what I like to do in a dungeon sometimes? Is... I like to assume that I have the experience, that my gear is good now. And so if someone is not up to par, or someone's struggling, that... I'm- I'll stick to the end, you know? We'll show them the way, we'll teach you, I'll- I'll be like, hey, go to this, try this. You know, maybe this should be fixed. But like, you know, you just don't dismiss them. Like, maybe they, they haven't learned. I mean, you can't just assume everyone watches Twitch and looks at a wiki, right? I mean, people are just playing the game as is. Um, so sometimes they just need that little bit of experience, and that's the only, that's their first place that they're going to learn it. Um, I remember I was doing um, the last dungeon in Endwalker, the one with the... Uh, yeah, the 90-story 90, the 90 dungeon. And we got to the first boss. That boss is hard, right? It, with, with the pulsing, the pulsing AOEs and the positioning. And I was on Warrior, and I took Warrior because I can I can carry on Warrior, you know. But like my entire team dies in the first mechanic, and I'm still alive. So what do I do? I wait for them to come back. They're in the they're in the exit. I'm like, hey, so you know this this is how this boss works. You know this part of the mechanic, you go over here. This part of the thing, you want to go over here. And then I die on purpose, because I could very well solo the thing, but like, they're not gonna learn if they just watch me solo, like, it's better if they just go and do it. And sometimes that matters, you know, how you kind of teach someone, or how they kind of get the experience. Um, uh, you know, you want people to get better, that's the whole thing, so... Eh, that's my approach. I mean, not everyone's gonna do that, but that's how I do it. Um, yeah, exactly, Brokey. Alright, I'm gonna take a restroom break, three minute ad break here, mandatory three minutes. Um, we'll play some background music. SOP! Um, and also, again, we'll do the announcements here. We got the merch store, check it out while I'm away. Um, it does help support the stream, it's Deep Dungeon related. At least maybe in the future we'll look into Eureka Ortho stuff, but for now we have PUTD Heaven on High. And if you haven't taken the Eureka Ortho survey, Deep Dungeon, um, save the save the link or or fill it out real fast. Um, we're collecting results. We are up to 400, and I would love to get more. So while I'm away, you guys can check that out. But in the meantime, be minutes. I'll be back. Thank you for watching. Welcome back from the ad. Uh, Ponosaurus Rex. Thank you for that two months of continued support. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you for that. Uh, Match Trader says, if you're still here, my first sour apple was all the way in E11 normal. The Fate Break, well, the knock, the raid like, the knock got the raid like twice, and that caused some salt from one person in a party full of sprouts. I remember, um, I was doing, I think it was E, what is a uh, soccer dude? 
the Garuda Ifrit one. We were doing it on like like day one or like day two, like when it first released, and we're talking normal. That be uh B7 or something. And like someone in the thing are like, wow, like people are dying to these mechanics, it's so easy. I'm like, bro, content just released like literally 12 hours ago. <laughs> knock it off, dude. Like knock it off. Like people are literally still learning, like cool if you it's really cool if you've done the tier and like you've done savage and all that like these guys probably haven't i haven't so people are uh, people are certainly certainly weird and always wanting to some people are always wanting to to be like superior you know but it doesn't really help anyone when you do that 61 let's go guys speaking of uh rating Steel, off the bat, love it. Oops, I have music in the background, my bad. Okay. Forty seconds to kill that thing, and I'm gonna have to fight another one. Miss oh, Chila, hello, good morning. How are you doing? It's weird too because the end game community, the proper PVE. And game community most games tends to be super welcoming to new players. Um, but no matter the level of content, some people just like to just just raise a brow. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, sometimes you just find a bad apple. It happens. Oh, um, good morning. I got. I'm good. I got. Good sleep. Nice. Good sleep is always nice. You know, I tried it. I tried an energy drink, Chila, on Tuesday. Um, and uh, I actually like the taste of it, and it kept me up because like Tuesdays are like now. So so you know how like like at least for a while when we do our thing in the morning, Chila, Thursdays I, I I told you like on my like my super busy days like I got a long day on Thursday, but right now it's shifted to Tuesday. So Tuesday is my current like long day. So I got the energy drink just to be like, oh, you know what, let's just give this a try. Um, see how I feel with it. And it kept me up, like I was actually, it felt pretty, like, it tasted good and it felt, it, I felt pretty awake. Um, during this stream. And I got this, I got sleepy at my normal time, like I got sleepy at about 2.30, like I actually wanted to keep, like, I wanted to stay awake longer because I wanted to keep playing Honkai, but I just got sleepy. But when I went to sleep, my brain would not shut the fuck up, dude. My body was tired, my brain was going like a hundred miles per hour. I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> yeah, I, I might, and then funny thing, I might try it again just to see, you know? Um, but that was for sure because of the drink, so it's really, it was really weird. Um, like I'm thinking maybe I just like maybe drink it earlier or something, but yeah, it was, it was really funny. <laughs> Very noticeable, like, the things that I was thinking of and like, partially dreaming of, I'm like, this, it, it was almost like, you know how you have fever dreams? Sometimes, you get like, these weird ass dreams when you have a fever, that's almost what it felt like, that's how weird it was. Uh, in the very early morning, so I can wear it off, cause they do, yeah, I mean, look, like, like, I got, my body's got like, a really strict schedule, and a lot of times things don't do anything to me, you know, like, like, Energy Jake like things don't do anything to me, so it's really more of an experiment. But yeah. One last question before it goes off says Magic Trader. 
Uh, it's 5 a.m. here. Um, you, you tell people to fight in hallways. What did I just- okay. Uh, can chaps not spawn- nope. No chaps in hallways, that's why it's completely safe. Now, patrols can walk through hallways, you know? Like, a patrol can go through a hallway, but there's never a trap in a hallway. And that is one main reason why it's a good idea to fight in the hallway. That's basically the... 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 the important reason why. Yeah, and, and also you don't get respawns in a hallway too, like that's important too. Again, things can walk through a hallway, but things cannot respawn in a hallway. So that's why right now you're watching me fight in this hallway. I'm not gonna fight in the room because there's traps in there. I'll play safe here. That's still so much of my anxiety, yes. You know why? It, don't think bad about that. I gotta admit, man, when I do videos and I do my POBs, 100%, there are things that I take for granted in explanation. Because, you know, I've been doing this for years, so kind of like repeating the same thing sometimes I feel like is a little redundant. And sometimes I make this assumption that it's it's like base knowledge. But, you know, like yourself who's coming into it for the first time, that's not necessarily base knowledge. So uh, it could be a fault on me for not for not saying it or expressing it. But hey, that's why you ask the questions, you know? That's why that's why you, you become you become curious and then you get your answer. Um, but not gonna lie, it's hard to explain everything. And sometimes you don't even have time to explain everything. You want to explain everything, but there's just so much detail to Deep Dungeon. And sometimes I don't run into the situation, you know? Question, how do you deal with the trap? Well, what if my video never deals with the trap? I can't answer that question, you know? Um, so, so it happens. But yeah, yeah, we were talking with Magic Trader, we gave him that video. Um, he's gonna check it out. It's always good to, to re-advertise our buddy, Mr. Darifon. The Trap Master. Hold. Let's see what we got. Owning aloud, how does he never get hit when traps jumping around like a bunny earlier today? That yeah, explains a lot, yep. Because I am I am walking around areas that don't have traps. Trap master there, bamf, yeah. Now you do get hallways like this where it's very tight. So it's a little tricky sometimes, so not all hallways are perfect, but you try your best. And pancakes? What kind of pancakes? Do you have- do you guys have the- the super fluffy pancakes because you're in Japan? The ones that they like cook with mayo or something? Or is it like the regular American pancakes? Flat. Affluence came back. It's not with mayo, but it's how you prepare the egg whites and the- Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, I thought it was with mayo. Oh, I guess there is a version with mayo. That's probably what it is. You're a, you're a crispy can pancake kind of guy? I like a fluffy pancake. I don't want it too dense, though. Like, the only thing that upsets me ordering pancakes in, a, in America is that they always give me way too much. Like, a lot of times, if you just give me, like, one pancake, that's perfectly fine with me. But, like, to get three of them, it's just, like... I can't finish it, it's too much. What Effie said is very true too. That is definitely a misconception I think a lot of people are unsure about. Yep, only one trap per room. Where are you going, Mr. Cobra? You going over there? Right, I'll go over here. I like that chest, but there's an animal looking at it. Oh, it's a treasure room. Hello. Let's see what we got. You aggroed before the thing? Huh? I gotta delete. Oh god, I'm dying. Wait, why did I hollow? God damn it, I didn't mean to hollow. Finn is making them? Wow. You should marry him. He sounds like he's a pretty good guy. Oh, you're not dead yet. Bump, bump, bump. You think about it? Or... 
Are you looking at that chest, Mr. Bird? Or animal? I don't know what you want. Poison creature. Keep the strength at two here. Okay, check the chest. Steel! Mata Mana? Alteration, using it. Okay. Let's just work the exit then. I'll use an affluence with the alt with the alteration. Why not? Like get lucky. Still not out of here. Surely, surely. Or mimic. If it's a mimic, I'll just blow it up. Either way, it makes it a little exciting. Wow, he got that poison off at 7 seconds when I stunned him. <clears throat> what a champ. As Machinist, is there a point you don't use alteration? How worse are the gold mimics? Um, is there a point that I don't use alteration? Nope. I always use alteration if I get the extra. Um, in the higher floors, I will use them a little bit more aggressively. Uh, for... For time reasons, um, you know, a lot of times, an example in, in like Palace and Heaven on High, I will use them on like the higher floors where, here's my flow chart. I'll use an alteration. If I get a mimic, okay, we're going to use something. A rage, a petrify, a magicite, something. It's like, okay, floor is bad. I get mimics in my way, let's delete them. If I get Corrigans, it ends up becoming a decision of fighting through the floor. Alright, I get three free kills. Let's take advantage of these kills. So it gives me a little bit of a gamble option, and a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a play depending on what shows up. So that's why I use them. But I usually always use the extra on Machinist because the Mimics are not bad to fight at all. Um, in here, I think they are a little bit of HP sponges, but they're still not really going to kill you, so they're not really bad to deal with. And their aggro range is not bad either, like you can definitely get around them. So. More times than not, but wait, more times than not, it's just not a bad play. They're not really gonna kill you in, in uh, in Eureka Orthos. Alright, hey, Magic Trader, uh, thanks, thanks for being here, thanks for the chat, and I hope you have a good one, I hope I see you. Um, yeah, 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 cool, cool, cool. Plus. Pleasure, man. I know Corrigan High Rules Godson. Yeah, I mean, that's what it is. I mean, the Mimics are not really bad. I mean, in general, Mimics are not just not, they're not as bad as you think they are. Um, the only reason that they get a bad rep, generally speaking, is because people have to deal with them. Piece of shit, dude. I can't even ag- I can't get him. He's in the crystal and I can't aggro him. Um, the reason they get a bad rep is because a lot of people deal with them when the exit is open. Pure time waste. You know? Um... But when you're fighting a Mimic and the exit isn't open yet, that's not really that bad, you know? Especially in Eureka Orthos. You can kill them. They're not, they're not really wasting you time. Um, 
So when you can get the Mimics down to fighting them before the exit opens, it's a lot better. And when I use an alteration, honestly, I just assume it's Mimics, no matter what. Like, I'm just planning for Mimics, and then I get pleasantly surprised. Um, so. It kind of helps me kind of manage it, too, that way. Light. Oh, what Caddy said is true, they get more points. Points. See, that mimic spawn is whatever. You know why? Because the exit isn't open yet. So I can deal with it. Whatever. Not gonna kill me, that's for sure. But it's a little bit more of a problem if you're a job that doesn't have an interrupt. You know, there's a little bit more kind of strategy involved that way. But a machinist? You run around with it. Like, this is what kind of what you'd be doing a machinist with better damage. I just run around with it. I just kind of see where I'm going, what's my next room, you know, avoid the traps, at least the best we can, and that's how we handle it. Missed it. Oh god, okay. Big boy coming. He wasn't here before. Yeah, I was stuck in I was stuck rolling my GCD, so I missed it. Also I wasn't paying attention some of the time when my interjects that's on me. Drop a chest, could you? The Cobra should be showing up. Oh, yet another patrol. Okay, let me go over here. Or we'll just aggro it. Or we'll aggro that too. Mm, that's a problem. I'm gonna witch in here because one of them is gonna get buffed. So I'm gonna fight this one. I'm gonna reposition myself because we do have a patrol coming in. Do not want a buffed enemy with full HP. That's gonna be bad. Hey Dante, thanks for the 20 months of support. I appreciate that continued support. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing well. I okay, gotta watch this guy. Gotta watch his hand. Oh, he's coming up. Gotta watch the tail swipe coming in too. That'd be good. And it is. He's gonna buff him. Ha ha ha! I killed you before I could uh, register. Yeah, how's that? How's that? Uh, how does that animation lock feel now? So the move got off, but it needed more time for it to register. So don't... Dante, have a hope you're having a good uh, Thursday and good lead into the weekend. Oh boy, you came back. Great, love this for me. There's only- there should only be one more patrol, which is the Cobra. God, I feel like I- oh god, oh, he's over here. I felt like I just used my- my steel and my strength and it's already gone. I thought the Cobra was coming from another direction, by the way. Arm. 
Oh, there was another cobra. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't dreaming. It was just another one. I have yet to solo it, but I end up soloing Godfather. Nice! Hey, Godfather is a big win. Let's go. Yeah, I must have lost track of this one. Or the other one. Stunned him there so he wouldn't explode. That was on purpose. We got mimics here. That's. The... I. Mm, I'm gonna try to go for the chest. I think I can safely. Because I need the missing magicite. I'm sorry, Demi Clone. Worth it! If I got a mimic treasure room, then I'd probably. storm it. Just for the just for the first of all the kills and also the uh the chests. Oh come on dude, why do you have to travel across the map? What is wrong with you? Is that another flight? Yeah, probably get one back. Oh, uh, whoops. Not the AoE I predicted. Y'all, uh, yeah, oh yeah, he was facing my way completely. Alright, all these extra kills are- My time is trash! See my time? 37 into 63, that is horrible. We're gonna have to try hard here. I am demi-cloning the boss though, so that's gonna take like... What, six minutes probably? Yeah, it's just, it's more like I have to use more than I really want to, that's the problem. These extra kills are not helping, like, this is adding, like, this is adding, like, four minutes to the clock. When I'm already low on, lower on time. My, my check, my check time is, uh, 30 minutes at, at, at 66. If I get to, if I get to 66 with 30 minutes, we're in good pace. We're gonna get to 64 with 36 minutes, so it's not really great pace, but you know what? It's fine. We're gonna keep it in mind. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, it's a serenity, I'll use it. I'm gonna wait for him to move. It's gonna take me longer to kill it than for it to move. Oh, great! I was here long enough for a respawn. Cool. That was an instant pull because it's proximity. I wasn't expecting a respawn. <laughs> Of all the things to show up, I didn't think a respawn would happen. Like, literally the least of my concerns. Cobra's not anytime soon. Yeah, in, in the center near the exit. Could've been anywhere else. Literally anywhere else in the eight tiles that's on the ground. 
I'm gonna pick the exit and wait next to it. On the right side, by the time I kill this, the, Mat the Mata Mata should move. Yep. Alright. Time is uh, bad, but you know what? Stuff like this is what people want to see. If, if, we're, if we're being honest, it's what helps people. Oh, this'll, this'll speed up uh, the floor by default. Music buff. Better. I should have time before uh, that thing comes back. So I should watch this way in case something else comes in. Did you drop a chest? You did. Got my strength back, good. And that that chose coming back as well. I might delete him. Uh maybe. We'll, we'll think about it. RG will help. Yeah, it's it's gonna help us speak, so I'm trying to keep it at two, so it's definitely gonna help. I need to pull something soon. Because I wanna get rid of my 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 buff here, I'll pull you. Oh, lethargy. Wait, 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 wait. Great. Or do you want to get the examination on this room? It looks like it's a dead end. There's a chest there. Uh, proximity. Oh, my purity bag, yay! Oops, wrong button. Okay, uh, I'm not sure what I had left. I think there was a monitor in the exit room, so I'll kill that first. I'm gonna hop off here, good luck. Hey, thanks, Juni. Have a wonderful rest of the night or day, and I'll catch you next time. Love that for me. Where are you going? You junk? I value flight, yeah. He's stretching. He's stretching real good.
Oh, he only gets one G City in between, right? Oh, I got the tail swipe going. Okay, and what is this? A steel. Okay, definitely behind in time. I think I'm gonna demiclone the next floor, with the likelihood of me picking one up. trying to go faster. So I need to do something. Something needs to happen. So we're making this choice right now. Again, I'm gonna use it right now so I don't have to come back. Oh crap. I think the ninja will go right. Because the other one because the patrol went right, so they should all more or less go the same direction. Ninja before he kind of sneaks up on me in the future. The path and crit patrols in the is funny sometimes. They said should be predictable. Like they shouldn't all go different directions. Wow. Oh my god. This was this was a lower kill floor than the one previously, <laughs> and this wasn't flighted. God damn it. What a tragedy. Okay. Jesus, dude. Uh, strength. Yeah, last kill was flighted, it was 5 floors, this was 4 kills. Waste of a demi-clone. And I still need to go faster, no matter how you look at it. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, but I guess the... Uh... Oh, it ended up being more anyway, because I couldn't get, couldn't get off this goddamn floor without taking an aggro. Probably worked out because otherwise I probably would be doing this without the without Doga. And I killed it way too fast because I was just kind of predicting I'd have to have more kills, so I was kind of planning out my uh, my kill route to be like, okay, we'll kill a couple here, a couple there, but that is not what happened. And you dropped the chest, great. And I need to go get that chest. That's a Dread Beast. That's a chest that I'd like to get, but I cannot at the moment. You're facing this direction. So I'm gonna set up... Uh, let's do an Affluence... Alteration. Oh great. Oh, even better. Uh. Yeah, that was a strength one. I don't really go for that. I don't even go for Dread Beasts. Um, 
Like, I, I barely go for Dread Beast nowadays in my runs. Okay, if this doesn't give me Corrigan, so I have something fast, then I have to do the flight. 10% faster, but in, in terms of our current time, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure it's worth the effort. To, to waste it, to basically use the storms to do that, when I could use the storms here to make time back. Um, you know, if I had to pick a- like, a, like the exit's already open. If I saw it early, I guess it's a different story. But because I saw it late, sh because I saw it late, that's a- that's like, you know, something, so... i watch you. Not that I can see your abilities anymore. <sighs> guess I'll do that. Got Corrigans. What am I doing about this full? Oh, I got Mimics. Guess I'll do that. I'm taking the Pox. It's just too complicated for me to try and to avoid that. Would've been nice if you gave me a landmine. Okay. And another Mimic. Cool. And another push up. I didn't get a YOLO. Oh, crap! Okay, uh, I'm gonna... That worked out. He kill. He's not doing as much as I wanted to. Nope. I was kind of hoping they would die a little bit faster than that, but I guess not. Oh my god, this kill count though. That kill count. <laughs> okay, here. Got a lethargy too. Uh, 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 okay. Yeah, it worked out. I was gonna storm. I was probably gonna storm. Something had to happen, but I got the jet, so we did the jet. I was hoping for a landmine at the last minute, but that didn't come in. That is my bad. Bad positioning. I could have. I could have. <laughs> God damn it! Really? Are you kidding me right now? That's not me. Was definitely a story. It wasn't dread. Yeah. Yeah, apparently. Hey, I mean, it's still a time save. Got through the whole floor, picked up... Uh, actually, we didn't really pick up much. Got a lethargy... Safeties and sights. Didn't really get much. I got damage boost, though. Let's go. Less rare. Uh, I, I wasn't relying on it. It's just because I got the sight, so I wasn't necessarily relying on it. I've seen it though, but yeah, I wasn't relying on it. I was hoping. I think time is way too tight. I'm gonna have to do a flight. Just so I can get a little bit better about how I'm feeling about things right now. <laughs> Come on, are you kidding me with that angle? Oh man. Playing kind of messy right now. Being like a little too aggro is what it is. I really didn't think he would aggro.
I mean, the the worst case I can do if we're like really tight on time is I can go to 69, we dread 69 into 70, and then we get the bone up, and then we also demi clone. I mean, I have an Une, so if I do an Une on the boss, I need a little extra time to do that. So it just kind of depends. I definitely don't want to use the Onion Knight on him. That that's definitely a no go. We're not going to use Onion Knight. Nice miss. Nice crit. Okay. Well, Une is going to take a little bit longer. To refresh my water there. This is flighted. Where the hell's the chest? This is flighted. Steal again, use the steal. Yeah. Ben up in. Um he's gonna probably aggro as much as I'd like that. But I have 37 shards, I don't need any more. What? What is these angles, dude? Come on. He must have just moved the moment I walked into him. Like, I should have been able to avoid that aggro. At least, this is only the second kill. But I wanted to check that chest first. The, the sequence of events did not happen the way I was planning. Oh, that's it? Wow. Small floor. Oh, whoops, I'm not paying attention. Time check. Still not great. I think I think I'm not gonna use anything else though. And we will keep the dread plan on the back burner in case I really need to. So we'll go through 68, we'll go through 69, super emergency, I'll dread into the boss, and then we'll be fine. Did what I can. Yeah. And that's assuming I don't pick anything up. Like, anytime I make those time plans, by the way, it's in the assumption I don't get anything good, right? I, I don't rely on a pickup. I rely on just, okay, if we're getting bad RNG, how long is it going to be really taking? Now, a pickup will help, but I'm not banking on a pickup. Well, actually, you know, 61 plus barely gives me debuffs. Um, I've definitely noticed that in comparison to, like, 51. I th I remember going on one of my tank runs, and I was just basically sitting on on protomanders, being like, "Okay, I'm gonna use one when the floor is bad. I'm gonna use one when the floor is bad." And I'm on like 67. I'm like, "We haven't had a debuff yet." <laughs> it's like, "Okay, well, should have done it earlier." 
So I, I, now because I, I took that like into consideration, I I keep it in mind now. Like, okay, this these sets of floors are just not gonna give very many debuffs at all. So if I want to use something, I better either use it early or you know play a little bit better by ear. All right, so go straight. Get my water ready for the uh, refuel. Not a alteration came back. Right? I feel like I should strength through here. I uh, I will, I will, I will, I will strength. I don't need strength from the boss. It's going to demi clone. I need strength going through these floors. Surprised by two chests in here. If he pulls me back, I'll GCD, but I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Oh, well. <laughs> hey, pulled me... pulled me away, big time. Let me finish this combo. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, what do we got? Phallic. That, that, okay. Got the strength back, so that was worth it. I'll take the Phallic with me, but he's gotta come in... ...for a while. Okay, that's good. Potential demi clone though, I gotta check that a lot sooner than later. Onion? Well, if I get the onion, I mean, it doesn't help me on this specific floor. It'd be nice though. I'll take it. I'll take anything right now, it'll just help speed up the time. Let's see, onion on 70. Yeah. I still wouldn't use it. I'd save it for 90. Doga. Une. I'd rather have Doga on the boss than Une on the boss. Yeah, that was predictable too. I, I figured I'd, I'd get I'd get a demi clone there. Small rooms, five. What are you facing? Where's the chest? I can't see the chest. I didn't. I didn't. I almost didn't see the the thing come out. I didn't even hear nor see the the sticky tongue because of the stone skin. Should be okay with time now. I mean, how do I refuse to lurk over yell? Paladin, fanboy. I got you, man. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the lurk. Let's take a sign and take the tongue. Of the yeah, I just I really pay close attention because the I also have kind of the mental timing of when it should come in, so I kind of keep that in mind. Of course, if you're distracted, it doesn't help, but. I'm gonna get kicked back here. Because I'm mentally taxing, we'll struggle with pain. Sorry to hear. I hope it's not because something's going on or just time of year or something. But hey, if, if I'm able to give you some relaxation, I'm here, dude. I'm here for you, man.
Uh, we don't use anything on the next floor, which should be okay. And again, emergency, I just do, uh, I will do a dread to get off and to use it on the next floor, which will speed me up. I'm happy to be here for you work, it's just been... Uh, super busy and I spent a lot of effort today over to our ship advocating for patient. Gotcha. Okay. Hey, doing your job, man. It's, it is it is much appreciated every single time, so... Ninja coming in. Wait, was it? Oh, it's going away. Okay. No knockback, yes. You know, actually, you know, when there's no knockback, actually, Caddy, uh, it's a little bit easier for me than actually than having, let's say, Une out. Because I think between the animation spam, that's the one that catches me more. When there's less going on, I can hear the sticky tongue. You know, you hear the you hear the you hear the move go off, and I can react. I think with Une going out and casting everything, it gets a little too busy. And I miss it. I miss the audio cue. Into the boss plan, yeah. We'll see. Um, I need about six minutes into the thing, so we should be okay. Wait, I should steal now. Just in case I get pulled into a freaking death trap, Madeline. Oh, actually, that won't happen because I know not that right. These enemies can't go big brain on me today. At least not in this specific board. See, I was going by intuition there. I barely heard Sticky Kong. I was just going back because I'm like, you know what, I think it's going to come out anytime soon. IRL intuition. Ninja. Okay, I'm gonna take the chest and I don't want to aggro the ninja. You know, I think a dread is probably gonna have to happen. Unless this dies and opens the exit, a dread is gonna have to happen. So I'm gonna move a little bit more to see what the chests are before I, uh, I make that choice. Oh my god, these enemies are not gonna give me anything, are they? I'd have to drag them with me. Oh, the exit is the opposite direction. Okay. Oh wait, I can't knock back. No 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 knock back. Okay. 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 the things that I got. I need more than this though. I, st I think I still needed to do this no matter what. I miss a reveal. I'm not gonna go down for that reveal. The time is a little too tight right now.
Yeah, they are. Should be fine. So we still managed to keep the the protomanders more or less intact. The demi clone was going to happen no matter what. I was going to demi clone this a hundred percent. The dread being used is kind of you know crappy, but it had to happen. At least we retained everything else. The decision had to be made, but uh, we made it through, so that's what's important. Definitely got a strength. I don't think a shank is needed. Not not when the dread is going. I don't think a shank is needed here. I think we should be fine. Fifteen fifty-eight percent right now. Let's see where we're at fifty percent. I'm doing about 20% a minute. Well, with the Dread, I'm doing 20% a minute. But if I can just get this to 10% a minute, then we're good. And we definitely should be getting a 10% a minute with Doga. That is um, even more than 20%. 13%. That's 25% a minute, so we should be fine. Yeah, 25% a minute, we'll be fine. Okay, Jed's off. Pretty close. Dread had to happen for sure. I think even if I got that kill without the dread, I think a dread had to happen in this boss. It wouldn't wait too tight. This was with the three minute, the three minute damage down. You know. All right. Cool. We got it, no problem. It was tight. But I think the Dread 100% had to happen, no matter what.
Well, that was tight. That was close. But uh, even even with the time being that tight, we kept the cool. You know, didn't panic. We knew what we knew what the tools are able to do for us. We had a plan. We executed it, and we we got away with you know not too much. I think we still have flights. We threw down the dread, but dread's kind of whatever. Um, so hey, speed. How's the run going? Hopefully not too cursed. Um, no. I mean, the last floor we just finished with about thirty seconds on the clock, but I wouldn't call that cursed. That was more self-inflicted. Um, the time loss that we suffered was because I was just playing a little bit bad. Uh, so I wouldn't say that's that's the game or anything. So, um, but so far it's been okay. Um, you just gotta keep this going, so. But thank you for asking. Um, I'm gonna hit the restroom. Stand up stretch. Uh, three minutes. Alright, yo, caddy, thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, uh, supporting all the other Deep Dungeon gamers too, so appreciate, appreciate, uh, appreciate that, so have a good night. Uh, I'll hit the, I'll hit the ad break here. We'll step, we'll step away for three minutes. Um, I will advertise this for at least a couple days. We got the new merch store, if you want to check it out. Deep Dungeon related. T-shirt, coaster, sticker. Um... Uh, custom art for for uh, for the for the shirts and stuff. So the uh, all the pro all the purchases will support the stream. It would also support the artist that uh, that made the lovely art. And then also, if you haven't already, if you want to share your thoughts about the e uh, about Yugi Orthos and Deep Dungeon, there is a survey. We have over four hundred people from the community and from uh, my mutuals etc that have responded to this survey. So if you want to put in your stuff and you haven't already. At least save the forum, you know, look back to it or fill it out while we're away. So those are our two really important announcements this week. Um, and I'm really happy about the merch store too, so definitely get that. Hey, it's Zyros! Perfect time, I was about to hit some ads. Um, I can talk with you a little bit. Hey, what's up, Dacian? Yo, Zyros defeated! Wait, did we 100%? I know, so Zyros sends me a DM. Excited he is. I beat the super boss. I'm like, yo, let's go, dude. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm here, so... Oh, you're still working on it. You know, uh, the super boss was my final one, Zyros. I got everything else, and then I left the super boss for last, but okay. Um, are you gonna do that on stream? You're just gonna wrap it up, uh, you're gonna wrap it up on your own time. Hey, Clef. Hey, guys. Welcome in. Um, I do apologize. I'm gonna step away for a few minutes because we'll hit some ads, but I can talk for a little bit. Um, thank you guys for being here. I'm Andrew Stamonis. I do a lot of Deep Dungeon solo. I do some variety. Um, I know Zyros was hyping up, uh, you know, talking a little Honkai in his stream. Uh, I'm doing Honkai as well. Um, I'm gonna be back on that tomorrow and Monday. Um, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that game. So, um, yeah, welcome in. And uh, we just finished up uh, Floor 70. We're about to step into 71. Um, once I kind of step away for a little bit of a break here, but uh, I hope you guys had a good good time in uh, Mrs. Zyrus' stream. Gonna wrap it on good, good ban. It always feels good. Actually, that's the extra layer about being streamers, right, Zyrus? It's that extra layer that you get to do it live in front of people. Um, so it's it's always fun. So I hope you do enjoy that, and I hope you like the game. The game, I love the game. Uh, Octopath was so good, and you know, I, I I have no trouble recommending that to more people. Um, such a good game. And I've been, I've been, you know what's even better, Zyros? Uh, before I step away, you know what's even better? I could not play Octopath 1 music in, in stream, because it, it anchors YouTube. But I can play Octopath 2 music, and I have so much Octopath 2 music in the, in my playlist. So I've been so happy to play it, um, <laughs> like, straight up. So, it does, yeah. So I've been really happy about that. Um, so, yeah. Good stuff. Unless something like changes my mind last minute, okay, that's fair. Hey, you got a lot on. You got a lot to. You got a lot to accomplish on your plate, you know. So that's fair. But anyway, thank you. I'll come back in three minutes. We'll play some background music. Hey, Biftek, what's up, man? How you doing? And Muchi, hello. How you doing? Um, to so be back. And I was just advertising. We do have a merch store. If you guys like Deep Dungeon or have done any Deep Dungeon, um, you can check it out while I'm away. And, uh, and the survey. If you guys have thoughts about Deep Dungeon, Eureka Orthos, drop that in that survey. We are collecting as many thoughts as possible. So, anyway, I just advertised that, but for the new guys. So, let me play some background music while we are away. Good song. Shirts are really good. <laughs> Much better quality. Yeah, they, they look real. Like, they're really nice. Um, like, was it glossy, I think, with the with the coasters? They, they were really made very well, so pretty happy with the products coming out. So thank you for that feedback. Anyway, three minutes. BRB, guys.
Thank you, I shall do that. Thanks, Swift Tech. The real unique ways you've been playing the game. Um, you had the you had the co-op Elden Ring, um, and a couple other kind of really interesting ways of doing stuff, and that's that's fun. You don't see that very often. You did you do a lot of crowd control, um, a lot of crowd control stuff. So it, it's fun to see it. So <laughs> Biff Tech burning all the points. Hankai Star Break. <laughs> Hankai Star Break. A break. So is that what we're calling it? We're calling it a break from Honkai. Um, you know, I'll take it. Yeah, I guess we're taking a break from Honkai. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow. We're gonna try to clear a uh, simulated world, world, uh, simulated universe, world six tomorrow on stream. I haven't touched it since uh, last time we did it. So, um, hey Quad, started Dragoon and EO, and and I don't totally hate it. See, so, like you mostly hate it, but not really. That's what he's saying. Regat said I'm doing okay, just got back into crafting and so decided to look at Twitch since he was on. Hey, I got you covered, man. How do we get the elegance? You been playing Honkai 2 Biftek? How do you find it, man? The Twitch integrated sub drives me crazy in the best way. <laughs> I, man, how much Zyros do I wish that 14 had something? I think 14 did have something. You know, like one thing, but, but it didn't really, like, you know, click. It didn't. It didn't. It wasn't continuing to develop, man. Yeah, but I wish fourteen had something to crowd control. Uh, um, do doing Dragoon EO makes me realize how good the class can be and how nerf it feels. And yeah, that's true. Full kit feels real nice on Dragoon. I mean, seventy's not bad, but yeah, sixty is pretty tame. I'm enjoying it, but it does seem like a lot of like, like Genshin. I will stop playing a couple months from now, but it's great. I hope I last a couple months. I only got to play Genshin for like that's me. That's a window sound. My virus scanner is saying there's nothing going on. Sorry. Um I only got to play Genshin for like a little less than a month and then I couldn't play it anymore. So I'm kinda just hoping I get to play Honkai a little longer than that. I mean it'll be interesting when sixteen comes out, you know, I gotta just make sure I log in just for like a thirty minute session, get all the stuff in, get out. But we'll worry about that when that happens. Did say hi there, focusing on survey, how's everyone going? Good. When was that 40? I think I get 40, like, Monday. I'm chilling now. I'm at 37. Um, I could push to 40. I might try to push to 40 for Monday so I can do content on Monday. But I don't want to push too hard because we're pretty. I'm pretty much waiting for new content. And I don't see a reason why I should get to 40 any faster than just going via daily. So try to work on something like it, but I know how you feel. Ooh. All right, Dyros. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Got close to World 6 clear! I'm gonna try to do that tomorrow. Can't wait. It's been it's been a little it's been a little uh little little tough waiting to do simulated on stream. But at least um At least I'm not losing out on doing that. You know like there's no daily, there is a weekly, but we we wiped out the weekly on Monday already. Um so I can just vibe with that. I've been far. I've been farming simulated universe, getting the the achievements, but I haven't. Uh, I, I I will clear on stream. Genshin last me until after Ian Zuma. Close to 3.0. Oh, gang loot wasn't it for me. No challenge at all. After you get a few more characters to build them, Star Rail seems to have more challenges taken from. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Difficulty ramp up from World One to World Two was nice. I'm looking forward to. Yeah, it's great. Um. Definitely interested to see as it ramps up even further when you start stepping back into World 3.2, you know, 3.3, so on and so forth. But, um, and and I mean, seeing that this is just the the base, right? I mean, how much stuff have they added to Genshin over time? So they're probably going to add different game modes and different challenges and the special events. And I'm just very interested to see what kind of different aspects of the game they'll put in for turn based. You know, um. That that bit kind of interests me, and I haven't looked at any leaks or whatever. I don't know what's upcoming, but it would still be very interesting to see what's coming up. So, all right, back to business. Also, Tara, thank you for I can't believe it's been twenty months, Tara. Thank you for the continued support, and uh, thank you for for that, and thank you for being here. Uh, let's continue on this one, shall we? Da da da. Wait, is my music dead? Good. All right, music going. We're gonna do a little landmine place here. <laughs> I love turn based, dude. It's my jam. I'll always say it. In Octopath, if that was any indication, love Octopath, all that stuff, so. 
A landmine? Good. We already have it. I have a witching back, buggers. I can go backwards, so let's just see. Um, I might take the Toku Tokus with me though, because those I can drag around, no problem. I'm gonna get the buffs up now, before I forget. I'm gonna get the strength up so I don't cause a problem. There's another one. They're so fun, man. It's always been my favorite genre, in general. There's a cat. A learning trap. All here? Good. Okay, at least I got the exit cleared. That cat's coming in, but I'm like, I'm not gonna avoid him. I'll wait for him to move out. You can do some crazy stuff with speed and particular builds. Already got already more flexible than the standard Genshin builds. So crit, uh, crit ratio, elemental damage you done. That's good to hear. I mean, I didn't delve too deep into Genshin for that stuff, but that's good to hear it. Yeah, I, I've been liking speed, but I've been trying the other paths right now. I've tried almost all of them. DOT gaming is a lot of fun. Destruction was a lot of fun. I, I'm kind of leaning hard into speed though. Like, that's probably my favorite. Because of the the way I have things built up right now, so but you know I'm still gonna play around with the options. I gotta use that intuition that uh, Regats wanted me to use. All right, well, that's one. <clears throat> it is, yeah. I had one run where I was full DPS and had destruction, and it was just it was ridiculous. I was healing back. I was I was consuming HP. But then healing back each hit, and then I had shields coming in on top of that. <laughs> it's just like, god damn dude, let's go. That was a lot of fun. And then I think also I had, I think I had split damage as well. So damage is a lot lower. Defense higher when you had low HP. It was just, it was just set up correctly. It was insane. So much fun. I got you, dude. I got you, man. Hey, rehab bears coming in. I gotta respect these cats. I don't want to bring them with me. Because it's gonna be a nightmare to deal with these guys. The straight line, so that's kind of annoying. I just hope that's not the only landmine. Okay, hold on. Let me just kill you. I'm waiting for that stupid cat anyway, may as well just kill it. Okay, there's no trap. Uh, I hope the exit has the landmine, otherwise it's gonna be a really awkward landmine. Please have the landmine here. Please have the landmine here. Okay, I got lucky. Right. Oh look, it's not enough. Alright, I guess we're gonna go back and find something else to fight. 
I killed one, I think I got one, two, three, four, five. That's six kills. Wasn't enough. I think seven kills actually. This blind palette is still cursed. Stay tuned. We're still okay right now. So um, definitely stay tuned to find out for that answer. Blue Ice, I hope you're doing well. Happy Thursday, dude. Oh, MG. Should have pulled more, but I was trying to get those cats, man. This is everything on the floor, I think. I think this is literally everything. Because the cats came from the bottom, the east room. And that was an empty room. This is everything. Yeah, name a better combo, huh? I've been avoiding watching EO content since Samoki since it came out with the intent of doing 31 30 blind. I've yet to step into 31, so screw it. <laughs> hey, I miss you too, man. <laughs> you know what? It's fair. Bless you trying to keep that keep that going, but yeah. Sucks that it, that it, I guess it took that long. You haven't been able to go in. It happens. But I'm I'm here, man. Hmm. This is not gonna be a great one to do. Well, I'll try it anyway. If I see a landmine, that is. Am I raising that? I will see if we have a landmine first before I do a big pull. Because I actually don't want to go crazy. And right now I don't see one. This is an ability floor though, so I would like to do something. But let me just check that last room first to see what we got, and I'll figure it out. This might be a good storm floor because I have the Lamia here. And I can get the Dread Beast out of the way. My buffs are wearing though. Are you gonna move, elephant? Like, today? There's like nothing blocking you, you should be moving. Thank you, Jesus. I do not have a landmine. Okay. Let me check the chest first. Painful chicken. Uh, hold on. Okay, that's a silver. Affluence. Dread! Got a dread back! Well played. Okay, nothing there. Okay, pretty good choice. I don't regret that. Got a dread for a storm. <clears throat> I noticed that if I'm in a non-story set and it's five rooms, I always have to kill everything on the floor. 
I think that doesn't happen as common for me, but I, I, I believe it. Tuition. Yeah, okay. Okay, let me pull a unicorn now while I have my bus. Actually, let me take the damage boost this way. Corrigans. I forgot I uh, altered here, so that's nice. I'd say time's a little bit better. <laughs> on, the, on the last set, on 61 plus, we were we we walked into 64, uh, 64 with like 34 minutes left. <laughs> it walked into 74 with 49 minutes left, so it's just a little bit better than last time. Oh god, it's a thunder beast! I do not want to fight those. It's so annoying. Get out of here. And another Thunder Beast. Ayo! The predictable Demi Clone. Affluence again, sure, why not? Let me get a pull in as soon as possible. I'll check the chest and get a pull. I guess my buffs are up. Steel came back. Let's do the unicorn. Another Thunder Beast. Three of them total. I might get damage boost too. There it is. There's a cat here as well. <clears throat> okay, number of things I have to deal with. Oh, you went that way. Oh, there's another room here. Okay, got it. Is there is there a demi clone guy? Apart from the white mage. Granting you stone skin, the other ones seem to just do. Yeah, they basically just do damage. Um, Onion Knight is like a, it's just like a paladin, so it will do damage, DOT, and it will also heal you below fifty percent. Une, the white mage, will heal you a little bit on a higher percentage, like about seventy-five percent. It'll do. Um, what the world is going on? It'll do. Um, It'll do a DOT, it'll heal, it'll cast Stone Skin. So like, the, I guess the easy way to explain it <laughs> is that Onion Knight is the best one by far. They give it like Odin, but not as rare. Doga would be the next one with his CC and good damage, and then Une would be the worst on damage. If you're talking utility, Une is really good. Une would be a perfect complement if you're a DPS melee with no items on the, on the floor. Pull on Nune, she's gonna keep you up. Um, so, you know, I think I think when you play more, you'll see which which ones kind of benefit you more. I think there's a little bit of personal preference. Some people don't like Doga, and it's petrified because it costs a lot of issue. That's fair. But it was up, Gal. Wow. Well, yeah, how you doing, man? Thanks for the, thanks for the two Twitch babies. Appreciate that. Hope you're doing well. Good to see ya. I'd bear come on. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, bring around the Rosie. This thing can't possibly come in this direction, so I'll fight here. I learned. I, I cleared you, Kabe! Congratulations! Thank Oh god. Okay, how did I not die? I forgot about that. Hey, congratulations on you, Kabe. I think the second time I've done that and I didn't die. 
Thanks for celebrating celebrating it in here too. Appreciate that. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. Oh, I'm just kidding about the whole they're not coming this way thing. I was just kidding. Ha! <laughs> I know. How how are you liking it? Do you like it? I've been loving that game. We're gonna play it tomorrow on stream. Um, I've been really, really liking that game a lot. I'm in- I'm in maintenance mode, though. Like, I- I pretty much am, like, waiting for new content, but I'm not complaining. Like, that's the- that's the cycle of the game, you know? Um, but I've been really liking that game a lot. I- I- I really thought I would like that game, and I think I like it a lot more than I thought I would. You know? I've been tracking that game for two years, man. Two years I've been tracking that game. I tried to get into beta for two years. Never got into beta. So this has just been a game that, yeah, really, really was looking forward to. <clears throat> Give me a free to play. Yeah, hell yeah, let's go, man. Free to play. Free to play gamer. I'm 100% free to play. I had debated if I wanted to go. We were joking in chat. We were calling it free to play plus, you know, play, play, uh, pay the five dollars a month, uh, a month, pay for the battle pass. But I wasn't really impressed with it. I feel like I'm, I'll be fine. Um, so I've really stayed full, full, uh, full free to play. And I just want to see how far I can get with the free to play. You know, that's, I think that's part of the fun challenge. See if you can keep up with the, with the other gamers. And I'm, I grind. I'm a grinder, so I'm gonna grind it out. I feel like the time I can spend on it will make up a little bit. Alright, what are we looking at? Not a... Ah! Uh -uh. Okay, let's do that. May as well keep it at 2 for now. Sorry, was are you at 40 yet? I think you pushed hard, right? So you at 40? Or plus? 40 plus, rather? <clears throat> oh, you're 30! Oh, you're the same as me! Okay, okay. Yeah, let's go, dude. Oh my god, it's the Sig. Hey, Sig, how was the Asher run? 47. And level checker, thanks for the follow. How was, uh, how did Asher go? Guys, it's my buddy Sig. Deep dungeon extraordinaire. Stop that 181. Okay, cool. And thank you for the 37 months we sub. It is an absolute pleasure to have gotten to know you, dude. So thank you for all you do. I got the PB to get some resources, but it's just that. Small time saver. But yeah, you know, I am not a... Uh, I've been saying this constantly, like... I am certainly no judge. However the hell you want to play it, then you play it. It's your money, it's your time. You know, no one should ever be... No one should ever be, uh... Peer pressured in one way or another, you know? So you enjoy it. Um, but at least how I'm viewing it is like, okay, we're free to play. So if you want to see what it is at complete base value, you know? And there you go, that's how, that's how much I'm progressing. You got a little little extra little extra dollars into there. You can see like how you compare and all that stuff. So that's how I look at it. We have gears, yeah, and a and and a centaur friendo. You be vibing over there. Oh oh. I'm gonna take the ninja. Uh, don't kill me! Okay, good. Good thing I have the passive regen right now. I can watch these guys see when I get the chest. 
I won't buy pulls. That's for sure. No fun in almost guaranteeing a character and I know who I want. So just save it up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna skip the next banner. I got Sea Lace, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna skip the next banner. I don't know what I don't know what he does though. But I'm pretty happy with my current spread on my party. Not to mention, you know, I'm gonna get pulls here and there, and I'm gonna use the standard tickets. I got I, I'm actually gonna I got two I got two uh, I got twenty pulls tomorrow. When we start off stream. I might uh yeah, I think it's just twenty. I, I think I might actually get close to thirty, but I think I'm just gonna be able to get twenty. But I've been averaging like pulls on stream every single time, which is kinda cool, you know? Every time I go live I can do some type of pull. I'll pull you. I see Corrigans in the distance. I still think it's insane and amazing that Aiden worked on Rubicon's trial. Yeah? <clears throat> Udar, thank you, appreciate you. I got Sile in the strategy of skipping. I wanted to banners. Work well for me, Genshin. Especially if they start doubling banners. With reruns, like, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, look. I think the Genshin vets are going to get some good expectations. Like, you can probably use your previous knowledge and apply it. Um, you know. So, <clears throat> and right now it feels really good, in my opinion. Like, with the with the characters I currently have, and I haven't even like leveled everyone. I feel like I can I can do the con I can do all the content available to me. You know, I'm sure again. I'm sure a power creep situation is gonna happen. It, it's bound to happen. I just hope at least I still get to enjoy it. Like I'm, I'm hoping that there's going to be some party mechanic. I wonder if they're gonna be they're gonna do some multiplayer type things. You know, that'd be kind of cool. It's Mr. Ross again. I am blessed by good friends. You guys check out our buddy Mr. Omni 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 Ross. Just a pleasant dude, really good attitude, really positive vibes. He does a lot of deep dungeon. I would dare say he's nearly as good as me, if not better. And in his own way, he got a very calming atmosphere when he does his streams. But he does a lot of deep dungeon and a lot of the harder continent for teams. So be sure to check him out if you haven't already. It's good stuff. And he's part of uh, he's part of our Twitch team, Team FF XIV Solo. Loaded with gamers of solo content. Sig's in there. Darabon's in there. What's up, Darabon? Ross is in there. Chila's in there. A lot of the homies, so... You know you're in good company over there. What's up, Shiro? Died on 99! Oops! Uh-oh. MP is actually in instead of out. Yeah. That would, uh... That would be the usual strategy. <laughs> I mean, unless you find some weird-ass pixel that, that makes it viable, but... <clears throat> um, sorry to hear that, Ross, but hey, I hope you had a good stream regardless. Hope the run was good. I hope I don't make the same mistake, because Kaladin has been kicking my butt. Actually, I've been kicking my own butt, actually, more specifically. I never died until then, so yeah, actually, good run. Okay, cool, cool, cool. There we go. Takeaways, we like it. Hey, welcome in, guys. I'm just Stevens here. Do a lot of deep dungeon, do a little variety. Currently, our variety game is Honkai Star Rail. And uh, we, we're gonna do that tomorrow. But uh, we're gonna try to clean up Paladin. I, I have been going through Paladin for a little bit longer than I should. I should be already be done with this job, but mistakes were made. Um, so we are we are here trying to get this clear today. So we will be going all the way up um, until I wipe or we clear. Oh yes, thank you. Nearly forgot this was the A4. Not dying in EO, surprisingly more of a feat than anticipated. 
Yeah, you know, you challenge it. There is the, I mean, as much as this is a pretty predictable content, I think, in terms of, like, the vets, there's still ways to die, you know? Snake found out today, Thunderbeast can spark if you're far... Oh, wait, you only found that out today? I'm a little confused. I saw it in groups, but never in solo. Oh, I see. I, um, I think I did that intentionally in the Machinist Guide. And it was spicy because I almost didn't make it back, but I did force it out, yeah. I just thought they didn't do it so- Interesting! Okay, that's fair. That's a fair ass 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 uh, assumption. Yeah. I think- I think, um... See, that's an interesting thought process there. Like... I think ever since Heaven on High, I just automatically assumed that- I just automatically assumed that there isn't like that weird mechanic where something happens in Palace, but it doesn't- like, something happens... that happens in a party doesn't happen solo. Because that was totally like a Palace thing, but... I just assume everything that happens here is just gonna happen in a party. Um, so I never, it never crossed my mind that something wouldn't happen, if that makes sense. Oh, okay. Uh, now, I, now you know I don't watch your dumb videos? Yeah, I know. It's okay. I haven't seen in so many ones yet. I mean, that's fair. I mean, that's just like, that's just like, you know, fighting an enemy that just decides of a 50-50 chance of using something, it uses, like, you know, attack A like 20,000 times. Until the one weird time it decides to do attack B and you don't even- you've never seen it before, yeah, it's fair. That is fast. It's- it's pretty fast. Um... I would say- I would say, like, you'd have to know it's coming. For you to be able to- oh god, you have to be able to dodge that if, to, to know it's coming, and then you'd be fine. Yeah, I can't stun you, apparently. Oh, this is gonna be so stupid. I wish you had a cast for you, little idiot. You have to get just far enough. It also doesn't happen in the initial pool, which is nice, but yeah, you have to get just far enough for that to happen. Are you kidding me? I really would like that. How does he telegraph that? Um, so he'll- he'll crouch down. It's actually very hard to see it. Uh, I'll pull another one so you can see it. So there's actually two ways that people try to do it. Um, one way is they'll just kind of count the auto attacks, which you can do. It's usually about th two to three auto attacks, and then he'll just stop auto attacking. Um, but what I look for is the visual. Um, he will like, kind of like, scrounge down a little bit, and then he'll do it. Uh, I think there's a Thunder Beast here that I can pull. Okay, okay, got it. Alright, so, watch this, okay? So he's moving normally, blah blah blah. He's gonna do some auto attacks. Pay attention very closely to him. So that's an auto attack, right? Look at his body right now. Okay, see him? He's like, crouching down a little bit. You see that? His tail is wagging a little bit. Now, this is weirder because it's... It's lethargy, so he's doing a lot longer. But he's like, he's like, preparing, and then he spins. Um... But that's what I look for, essentially. And then when he's he's normal, see him normal, he's more up, more upright. That's what I look for. And, and that's really your tell. Now again, you can count the autos, which is which will be consistent. Um, but that's the tell. And also, if you're kind of kiting back and forth like I am, like you know, back and forth, back and forth. If he goes down, he's not gonna chase you. He's just gonna stop the place. So those are kind of all the ways there. So he's those are right here. So he doesn't chase me because he's he's charging up that attack. So those are kind of all the ways to look for it. Um, it is cadence. It's not a random. It's not a random timer. So you can kind of predict it. Um, but yeah, that's that's the that's that's the that's the best I can tell you. All 
I'm not gonna get the reveal. Whatever. I'm lazy. If you sidestep doing the charge up, no, he just stays in place. It's like a Chimera doing this thing. Chimera just face in one direction and then adjust after. <coughs> Uh, ninja... the line. How's my time? Considering I'm demi-cloning the boss, I think I should be okay here. Sick music, I know, right? Sounds familiar! Zyro's tough question, man. Which battle themes do you like better? Octo 1 or Octo 2? Battle themes, not the boss themes, but the battle themes. Which one do you like better? Like picking a favorite child. Do I 2 better? Hmm, you know, I, I think I actually lean a little bit more into 1. Oh god, wait, 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 wait. I think I lean a little bit more into 1 than 2. But the boss themes for 2, I think, are superior in my opinion. Soon? Yeah, soon. Uh... Paladin on stronger or weaker side of this? Um... You know, I would say stronger. Its mobility is really nice with its bursts. Being able to, to hit on the run is, is pretty cool. Uh, you're not really worried about defenses and survival on any of the tanks, so you're just worried about just damage. So I think it's mobile damage gives it a bit of a plus in my opinion. Um also the the one the one factor that I that I like to include that does matter in my opinion is fun factor. You know, I think if this is a job that you enjoy playing, I think that'll be a lot better than playing a job that you're not. Um for me, I have way more fun on Paladin than I do on Gunbreaker. Gunbreaker bores me. Um however its ability to clear is great. Gunbreaker is very good clearing. But I am not as excited to play that job as I am with like Paladin. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take the ape before he kills me. Yeah. But hopefully that gave you a pretty good answer. You should, yeah, in a pump. Oh, then okay. I just didn't go off. Um, Gotta check the room. Nice. What did I get? Anoichi Sasquatch. Manageable. Oh, not without the steel, though. I forgot that line was there. She has to go next. Nice miss. This is totally tank privilege right now, by the way. But also the um 
the Lamia buff came to play big time here. Like, it just helped me mitigate so much. No problem. It did cost extra kills though, that's the only issue. I don't know if I can get this chest right now. This reminds me of the game I was playing. Oh yeah? What's up, Jason? How you doing, man? Kind of worth it. We'll get the strength and then off we go. I think it's a strength, right? Because I didn't open it. Yeah, it's a strength. That was my time. Hmm. It's. It's okay. I'll need, like, a little help. If I get a bad debuff, I need to get rid of it. Like, that's where it's sitting. If I don't get debuffs the next two floors, we're fine. But if I get debuffs, I might need to do something about it. 1 to 10 EO on anything makes it mis is miserable. Yeah. Agreed. Well, unless you, like, speedrun it, that kind of helps it, but... Fair. Uh, I like Paladin, but 1 to 10 makes it, yeah. Oh no, it doesn't. Uh, I mean, rather, it does. Everyone, there's like, I don't think there's anyone who likes <laughs> 1 to 40, 1 to 30. Um. So that's fair. Okay, I gotta get rid of this ape right away. Last for a minute. I once fought an enemy on one for se one on one for seventeen minutes. <laughs> Dang. Did you record it? Did you put it up on YouTube? Did you put it up on TikTok? That would be a good TikTok video. Like that floor ten mecha hits harder than the four fifty boss. Boggles your mind. Well, it does constant damage, which which is the thing. I think it has the same amount of HP as the S Twintania, if I remember correctly. From people doing the stat stuff. Yeah, they love 17 minute videos, dude. They uh, devour 17 minute videos. You just all you gotta put, say, all you gotta put, dude. Easy game. Wait till the end. <laughs> so you gotta put. You you put wait to the end for the whole video. You got them. They're they're, they're never gonna leave. Yeah, you won't believe what happens. <laughs> God, anytime I see that video in my feed, I'm like, how long is the video? Don't care. <laughs> Come to me, ninja. It's not that much, but not much less. Twin is about as 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 much as the the ball. Is it? I wouldn't mind the health pull nearly as much of one minute response. Yeah, one minute response is tough. I know someone did the math. I just don't remember it correctly. I thought I had read that uh they were like the same, but I know it's like similar to something. Well, I mean. It's a, uh, it's, it's like, it's bait, because it's like, if the video was good enough, then you won't have to tell someone to tune in, right? But they do it because of that. Like, that's specifically why they do it, is because they want you to stay to the end, even if it's like, trash. Okay. Oh, interesting, okay, okay. Gotcha. 
these owls. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Good thing I heard you, I wasn't even looking. That's true. Yeah, the scaling is different. That's very true. So it kind of factors in. I know there's another ape on the other side. Are you kidding me? Hey, Raji, what's up, dude? Thanks for the raid, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome in, guys. Angela's Demons here. Do a lot of Deep Dungeon solo, as Raji does. Raji does some Deep Dungeon on their end, too. Hope the run was good. We are doing Paladin EO right now. We'll be here till the end, so, uh... Sit back, relax. I got you. Astro run died. Ooh, 197. What got you? Time? Or commanders? Or what got you, man? 187 is exceptionally good. Well, good stuff. I'll get you the shout up when I get a chance. Uh, Stalak, hello. Lord Leviton, hello. I didn't really manage them. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, okay. And it's a loading experience. Astro takes a lot of adjustments, so it's alright. You're gonna learn. Shout out to Raji. Gotta yeah, check him out. Part of the community. Does Deep Dungeon on their stream, as I said. Do you want more Deep Dungeon strummers? I mean, you got one right there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, bingo. Nailed it. Yo, what up? Joe, how you doing, man? Got the lickies. You're gonna aggro, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, baby, you're gonna aggro. Oh, it's sunny. How's my time? 16? It's getting a little tight right now. Should still be okay, but I want to allot about 7 minutes on the boss. Noichi. Oh, Corrigans. Ah, oh, I didn't see them. Huh. I forgot I altered. Oh man! That's on me. I didn't go here first. I didn't check here first. There's a Kanoichi there. Can I check the room and get out? Yeah, okay. That's all I need to do. I don't need to check the chest. Fresh strength going in is good. 
Yeah, welcome, I guess. Hope you had a good night. Okay, track down the apes. Gonna be food right now. Bombs are good. That's pretty good. Lethargy. That's a. What is that? Uh, what? Oh god, you're gonna aggro. Okay. Gotta use a little bit more here. Oh, right, I lethargy. Less of a concern. I am down the- oh, I am down the, uh... The, uh... Storm? And I haven't seen an auto-heal yet. So I'm gonna use because we got a blind floor- uh, an ability floor, I did it for time. Patrol's coming. Let me see. I mean, I don't see apes either, so that's a good thing. Ah, uh, that's yeah. <laughs> he just like ran, ran right up to that. Now, actually, because he got a little too close, I might be able to sink the chest without the aggro. The negative. You're okay. I needed a right angle there so I can get out of this room. No monkey, no bum. Well, for now. I haven't seen past this room though, so... I don't see one. If we get out in the next two kills, I can use an Une on the boss. But if it takes me a little bit longer than that, then I have to do a Doga. More here. Good boy. Good boy. The thing, I, I'd like to go to the other room right now, but the owl is giving me a problem. Because I'd have to walk through the owl, and probably by the time that happens, uh, I need to... I, that thing moves. There's also an ape. I can see it right now, there's an ape in the other room. But you need to take care of that one, but lethargy is going to help me out with that, so that's what we do. Okay. I'm going to pull the lion here. I'm going to wait for it to come a little bit closer. It gives me some freedom to get to the next room, and I just have to walk through the, yeah, the owl. No matter where he's positioned. It's a mine butt on the screen.
we should still be in range of getting an Une out right now. If I get if I get out of here in like the next minute. Let me just check that room and then off we go. Oh, there's another room. Oh, this like I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I'm win. I'd like to reveal, but I right, time for a super epic super boss fight. Zyrus was fighting this boss earlier. But we'll bust out the music on this one. Rune's coming out. This boss gives me constant paranoia. I don't blame you. I really focus in on this boss. Um, I think more so when my gap closes are available, that I really try not to use it a lot. This song is very good. <laughs> this song is very good. Zyra's killed the boss, um, an Aquapath 2 today, the super boss, and this song plays for that specific fight. I think I'm getting pulled. Almost always I get I get attached to negative. There should be a pull, but we'll double check to make sure. Yep, the pull. Opposites attract. Left bicep, thanks for the 18! That's a twitch, that's double twitch, baby! We're getting pushed. Thank you for the continued support, I appreciate that. I hope you're doing well. Happy Thursday. Okay, it's gonna be a push. Nope. Oh wait. Oops. Five fifteen sixty, five fifteen sixty, five fifteen sixty. We're not going fast enough.
I'm not sure the strength's gonna be enough. We need to go a little bit faster here. I'm getting pulled. We're catching up. Negative. I'm getting pushed. Okay, we're fine now. I think I had to shank. It, it didn't look like it was looking good. I think the shank was enough. Because now we're okay. We were going like... We were going like, I think, 12 or 13 for a minute, and we were well behind the pace. I, I had to cut more than that. So I think that was a good play. Getting pulled. Yeah, now we're gonna be about 40 seconds ahead of pace. But we were like, it was tight. I think it, we'll end with about 30 seconds left or about 40 seconds left. Maybe more than that. He <laughs> done like a full spin. Every second counts, man. Every minute. Every second. Alright. What about what I say? 30, 39 seconds was there? Good thing. I was, it's a good thing I was doing math. Because what I try to look for especially when you're under 10 minutes, is basically you try to look for... Okay, so, so imagine this. Easy math, right? I mean, I suck at math, but this is easy math. You get there with 10 minutes, you have 100%. You just gotta go 10% a minute. So when I was looking at the HP, it was like well above that. You know, like, if I was gonna cross over 5 minutes, we had to be under 50%. And we were like, I think like 55 plus, close to 60. So it was just like, oh... No, I think what I think I said what fifty nine or something. I said sixty at five fifteen. Sixty at five fifteen. Where we had to have been to a comfy time, we had to have been under fifty at five minutes. So I was trying to see the math and once the math came in it was something like I think I, I put it at like twelve percent. So it would have been very tight, so the strength had to happen. But yeah, that was that just had to do very quick math there. Is Octopath two a continuation? Nope, separate. Um actually it's interesting. Um I hope this isn't spoilers. I don't think it is. Um, but I think for a lot of the game, because of the way they're explaining technology about like certain 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 things of technology in Octopath Two, you thought it was a sequel to the game. Um, but then later on, I think you figure out. Wait, my hand camera 
stopped. No, it's still working. Um, okay, it's fine. Um, but then I think later into the game, you you actually the there are hints that it might be it might be a prequel, but it's really weird. Like it's not even sure. Um, so it's in the same universe. There is almost no references, technically speaking, to anything from the previous. Um, there's some similarities, like for instance, the church uh, of the, the the flame church exists in both of them, but they don't make references to each other. So one could totally play Octopath Two without even touching Octopath One. You're not gonna you're not gonna feel like you missed it. Think of it like um, think of it like a Final Fantasy game. Right, Final Fantasy seven to eight to nine, like they're not linked at all. Um, I mean, people, people, super nerds try to make some link between them, but really on the surface they're not. Um, at least with the Octopath games, there is a lot of mechanical similarities. Like the battle system is essentially the same. Uh, kind of how you get the jobs are the same. The the actions that you take are the same, but the characters are all completely different. So, it's the difference there. Um, okay, so. I'm going to take an ad break. We got to push an ad because I got ads coming in. Um, so give me about three minutes. Stand up stretch, guys. Um, and the announcements for this week. First, we have the merch store. Uh, if you're if you're engaged in Deep Dungeon and you want to have some uh, Deep Dungeon gear, it is the official store of the channel. Um, all the purchases do support the channel as well as the artist that drew the art. Um, so, you know, take a look while I'm out. And also, some of the guys were talking about how they felt about Yubiko Orthos, they hated 1 to 10. Hey, we got a survey. You want to fill more information out, you want to share your thoughts, and we're going to compile it. And I'm going to be looking over it over the next couple months. Um, this survey will be open until the 6.4 comes out, because once 6.4 comes out, uh, no one's going to care about Yubiko Orthos, because everyone's going to care about the raid. So I'm getting your thoughts now, while it's still fresh. And um, yeah, if you if you want to fill that out or save the tabs, share it with friends, by the way. This isn't just uh, for the community. This is everyone we can get our hands to. Um, so if you got friends that have done it and, you know, they're okay with spending some time filling out some questions, there's the survey. So check out check those two out while we're away. Uh, let me uh, let me get some background music going before we start up. Good song. So BRB, thank you guys for watching. Three minutes, I'll be back. Thank you. I'll wait for the ads to finish and we shall continue. 81 plus. The super sexy floor is coming on in. Hey, thanks, Wallen. I appreciate it, man. I'll wait for the ads to finish and then we'll get in. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. We are at 417 responses on the survey. Thank you guys. If anyone listening had uh, put on some uh, responses, I appreciate it. Yo, Zyros, thank you again for being here. One more shout out for our buddy Zyros. Just a, just a, just a good vibe stream, man. Like, like I think Zyros and me have very similar vibes on our stream. So if you like this one, check him out. He does very different things than I do. So if you want someone to, another one to watch. Give him luck. He's my teammate on Team Drifter, so like all the more, man. And we've done some stuff together too. We've done Mario Party and all that stuff, so you'll like him, I swear. If you haven't checked him out, definitely check him out. Alright, welcome back to the eye, guys. Let's get in. Shall we? This will be really where time kinda gets to me, so I gotta be. Pretty, are you kidding me? We're gonna be pretty diligent about making sure we go fast enough. God. Am I missing Demi Clone right there? <laughs> there it is. Found it. I'm gonna get my flights to two as soon as possible. Come 
might end up emptying the flights here. But I want to definitely retain the dreads and the storms as much as I can. I love the fight from this song. Yeah. This is a good fight. It, it matched the music so well. The one and only time it actually had me had me hyped to try raids. Like, no joke. Just to hear this song in the game. Nice pickup. Good pickup. I'm gonna already use a flight here. No hesitation. I should probably have waited to see if I got an altar, but I'd rather just push it to 2 now before before anything. I'm gonna throw the Persona because more than likely he's gonna give me a problem trying to get to the next room. And I gotta burn my I gotta burn my uh, my buffs anyway. Just had my best 171 to 180. Finish with 29 minutes left on Warrior. Holy moly, that's that's including Behemoth. Whoa, you almost sped run once. I don't. How does the how do the palm manners look? Uh, twice. Like, are they, is it good? I don't think I've ever cleared that fast on a on a 171. I think the fastest I ever did it was like 24 minutes on the clock with Reaper. Four sides and landmines. Said, oh, oh man. God damn, okay, let's go. Alright, alright. Wow. Man, that's gonna give us that's gonna give score runners uh, a real run for their money knowing that's possible. The speedrun 171, 180, and not have your palms in shambles. Of course the run's cursed. Ah, you know. At least at least you had one one of one hell of a run. There is a course. I do want to deal with the course. I should be safe from the other one. I just have to make sure I keep an eye on the one behind me. I need to stop being lazy and get this armor set. Although the Eureka one, it's it's good. I like it. I, mean, I guess it depends on how much how much laziness you need to cut through, you know. And if you gotta go through all of Eureka to get it, that's a that's a lot of time. But if you're if you already have Hydados, you just need to go and pick it up. Then that's not too bad. I don't get the shackles on Behemoth anymore either. Good. Oh, the shaky! Sorry, the shaky, the shackles, the shakies. Good. That that and that's a lot. You know, that actually says a lot. To to make Behemoth not that much of a concern is such a confidence boost. You know, really helps the mental. Hey Kana, how you doing? Welcome in. Oh, there's like no chest here? Oh, there's one chest here, okay. That worked out. How's Eo going? Well, we just stepped into 81. Pro the Pro-Manders or the Proto-Manders are looking pretty good. Um, so definitely can't complain. We've come close to timing out though. 70, we finish with 39 seconds. I think with um, 80, we finish with about 40 seconds. But hey, time was well spent, and we're still okay with our proto manners, so I can't complain. Thanks for asking. Thanks for providing the survey. I just filled it out. Gotta head out. Alright, oh, hey, thanks for taking the time to fill it out. I appreciate it. Have a good night. 
Yeah, I hope I hope it produces something. It's gonna it's gonna be a little time, you know, to sift through the information, to gather the information. But you know, uh, whether or not something comes from it, at the very least, the uh, whoever gets to watch, you know, the content and whoever gets to whoever enjoys Deep Dungeon will know where kind of the populace stands on the, on it. Um, I think it's it's gonna be good information for for everyone to be able to 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 dissect to understand. A lot of times, you know, I say things, um, and this is what I feel like is good, this is what I feel like people talk about, but it'll be good to kind of get it in real hard, you know, facts, if you will. And I think a little bit before 6.4, I will post if I remember and I have time, I will post some of the snippets of the results. Um, because some of the, like, some of the checkboxes and multiple choice stuff that you guys had to fill, those are, um, in graphs. Very, very easy to look at graphs. So, I'll probably post some of those quick results. Like, for instance, you know, what do people think is the heart of Deep Dungeon? How many people have cleared? So on and so forth. Uh, those things I can, I can easily post. The short answers, on the other hand, that I have to manually sift through. So, yeah, that'll take some time. 400 of them. Actually, almost almost 420 of them, so it'll take a little bit, but... But... I'm excited. I don't know why I pulled this. This is like a really bad pull. Like a really dumb pull, actually. The, uh, the time loss here is gonna be just kinda dumb. I know, because I was talking, that's why. I wasn't paying attention. Nine minutes on the first floor, sounds about right. And we're still not out. Cool. I don't want to fight you again. And this is because I don't have a strength rolling, like that's pretty much what it is. <clears throat> if I had the strength rolling, I'd probably go a lot faster, but um, we don't, so um, we don't want to. I get a respawn, I gotta be careful with that. It'll be like the Titan music for 10 minutes. Gonna be respawn in 37 seconds. Finally out. That's good. It also didn't help we didn't even pick up anything here, so... Just fill out the survey with your 473rd account. Nice! Thank you. Thank you for, you know, honestly, thank you for... Just putting so much time into it, sick. So. You are the heart of Deep Dungeon. Without you, it's dead. <laughs> Thanks, I know. <laughs> you don't you don't gotta tell me twice. Yeah, 
you gotta, gotta, gotta make it, gotta make it look legit, you know. This is flighted. So I'm taking that into consideration. My my boss, by the way, are lining up horribly. Like by the time I kill something, they're up already. It's not not a good oh, not a good timing with that. Is that the exit? Mm, but all the gold chests are to the right side, so that kind of sucks. Let me check the chat. Oh, never mind. Chess is not gold. Oh yeah, for this I'll work the treasure room then. If I need any more kills anyway. See if I can work the treasure room to see it, it to sneak a chest or something, but very highly unlikely. If I pull that persona by the chest, I might be able to get to it. If I need to kill, that is. Also, next floor is gonna probably be a affluence altar to get those at two, and then we'll figure out the rest after that. More than likely, I just keep burning the flights, but I don't want to kind of go hard on flights right now when I can just get other things to do. Gator, Gato, Gator. Thanks for the follow up. Right, well, that kind of helps my decision making there because I wanted to have ones with the altar. Oh, you. Hektai is boxed in the person. The persona, yeah. Did you get rave caves? Oof. The better version of the song at the very least. Yoji. Sixteen minutes in the first two floors, making some awesome time. Definitely going super fast, as advertised. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Does he do it again? Hmm, curious. God damn it. You know on the right side, my bus are...
I spent six hours building an EO just to run just so I can hear baby keys. <laughs> yeah man, priorities. Dude, that's why Sig really likes EO. He wants the rave cave. Makes it all worth it? Yeah, exactly. Seventeen minutes in the first two floors. Definitely, uh, definitely on pace for a sixty-minute ten-floor challenge. Gonna use an altar here. No debuff. Let me see if I can find the altar room a lot sooner than later. Although this heck, this this deep eye wants to die, so I guess I'll pull him. That is uh is that mimics? It kinda looks like it's mimics, but I'm not sure. That is 100 percent mimics, okay. Which means I'm gonna doga here. I want to do it early, so I get the damage going now. I will also fortune, since I will try to kill the Mimics. Demi Cones need to come out earlier than later, so I get the most time out of them. Did you get this playlist clearing EO? You do! Wait, did you get this playlist, Aurora? What? Yo, what's up, man? Happy birthday, by the way! Guys, it's Aurora's birthday. Well, maybe not officially anymore, but it's Aurora's birthday. Wish him a happy birthday. Just like any sane human being, he goes and does Astro all over again. Got scammed? Yeah, good back. Oh. Oh, this is a logistical issue. Huh. Oh. Well, that's nice of you. Hope you had a good birthday, man. Oh, come on, dude. Nothing to see here. Get out of here. <laughs> At least he had two intuitions. Imagine having one intuition. That really would have been, uh... Tragic. You go guard that chest. I, I won't go for it. Alright, that's the exit, and there's another course coming.
And there's another course coming, and there's another course coming! Huh. I see what you're trying to do. He said 473 as of as of just now. Oh don't worry, the the, the survey is ready is gonna be up until uh, 6.4, so yeah, take your time man. Wait, stop. I bet this is no auto healing because I flighted. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Stop! I almost died, dude. Don't make me die. I didn't put a price point. Fine. Do I have a favorite job in Deep Dungeon Combo? Wait, what's the Deep Dungeon Combo? Favorite job? Ah. Uh... Talking like EO, I don't know yet because I haven't done them all. Oh, I, I did. I do like Paladin. I do like Ninja. Are you talking the combo? Oh, I see what you mean. Favorite job into the combo of the Deep Dungeon. I see what you mean. Uh, Ninja Heaven on High is insane to me. Red Mage and PUTD is the classic. Reaper Palace of the Dead was very nice. Um, I. I thoroughly enjoyed that experience. Um, EO is still pending though. I mean, Ninja and EO is... <laughs> Ninja and Like, I still don't know how to play Ninja, but it was just still a lot of fun no matter what. Paladin Heaven on High was good too. Like, the new Paladin was good too. The wrong sense of the world. Has like two buttons? Yeah! And I also beat it like the fastest I've ever beaten a Deep Dungeon. Or at least Palace, so that's why I liked it. But a real speed demon. How's Machinist and EO? So, Machinist and EO has the most clears, hands down. Um, it's not even close with the amount of clears. But that just- that alone gives you an indication. Uh, playing it myself, I like it. Damage is good, mobility is good. Uh, you're not really dying from auto attacks, you just have to remember what enemies do. Um, we are gonna actually be revisiting Machinist on Sunday, doing another guide, so if you want to sign to see that, that'll be Sunday, we'll do another Machinist one. But yeah, Machinist is in a really good spot for EO. Um, so. Oh my god, it's Mog Top. It's Frosty! It's Mr. Mog Talk himself. Mr. Full-Time Shima. I'm up. Yo, I heard... I heard Frosty Mogborn got to 99 today. He's gonna get that clear any day now, so you cannot miss his stream. He does the D he does Deep Dungeon kind of in the afternoons. Oh, so, you know, uh, I don't think there's any EU guys out here right now. Maybe if you woke up really early. But if you need an EU Deep Dungeon stream, you gotta follow Mog Talk. You gotta follow my buddy Frosty because he will- he's doing it, uh, right now. So he might get his clear at any moment now. So definitely, definitely, definitely check him out. And not to mention, guys, if you watch GDQ, that's that's that was my that was my wingman right there. He was on the commentaries with me on uh, in GDQ. So all the more reason you gotta check him out. Hey, how was stream? I know you were doing some uh, you were doing some of the, uh, the top. I think to top today, right? So at night you do top, and then in the day you do deep dungeon. So how was top?
Frosty might during work the dungeon stream. Hell yeah. Me more fog? Good. That's all you wanna that's all you wanna hope for. Um but yeah guys, definitely check out Mr. Mock Talk. And I assume you guys are gonna do uh, the world race. So um that is the channel for the world race. Uh for Savage. So if you wanna see the gamers sweating and out, um that will be the place to be. Yeah, I'm I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm definitely a viewer for that one. That's a that is a very well organized event. Amazing commentators, amazing charity, and you just get to enjoy the game. So. SC, oh SC, that's another one. I get to enjoy SC stream. It sucks for you SC, but it, it's good for me <laughs> when you go live because I'm like doing my daily errands. I'm like, oh SC's on. Let's go. Alright, yeah, yeah, go to sleep, man. You had a long-ass day. Get your rest, but I appreciate it. I'll take care of the kiddos for you, whoever wants to hang around. We're gonna go all the way to the end. Um, so if you want to see the full run of the deep dungeons, I got you. Um... Okay, what do I want to do here? Let's do the Une. Yo, what's up, June? How you doing, man? Yo, guys. Soon... T soon TM. There is going to be there is going to be a guide from that gentleman about Deep Dungeon. And it is going to be one badass one. And uh it's gonna be an honor to, to share the stage with him about getting people to clear, so I'm really excited about that. Good! It's been clean! I, I almost timed out on 70 and 80, however the palms are well managed, so. We, we cleared 70 with like 39 seconds, I cleared 80 with like 45 seconds, so it's been a little tight, but it's all by design. Hope you're having a good night over there. How's uh, Live Alive? If, that, if that's how you say it. I know you've been playing that game, I've been kind of lurking a little bit, but I don't really understand what's going on, but I hope you're having fun. <laughs> game looks very... I don't- I don't mean this in a bad way, but the game looks very dated, that's what I'll say. From my- oh dude, I hope my computer does- don't say that, that's the- that's the worst thing that can happen. I don't hope- I hope my computer doesn't explode. He's amazing. Yeah, SC's playing it too, that's right. Yeah, I'm watching the two of you and I- I have no idea what's going on, because I- I never heard of the game before, like, now. I'm kind of just catching up about what's- what's- what it is, and what's it all about, but... Looks like you guys having fun. Uh, Goo Goo Train. Sports Week. Do, 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 do. Oh, she did the- she did the white mage thing in the Heaven on High. She cast it from a distance for like 5 GCDs and then decided to run in. Damn. First time I ever seen- saw her do that. The original is basically the ancestor prototype for stuff like Octopath and Saga. Ah, oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Interesting. So, if I decided, Shen says, if I decided I'm crazy enough to want to do a high score run of EEO, uh, how much do I want to speedrun versus kill everything that moves on every floor? Good question! I couldn't tell you. Um, I, if chat wants to contribute to that conversation, from what I understand, at least from what I've read and seen from Chatter, I think the gamers are doing 1 to 30 speedrun guaranteed. I think they're choosing between 31 to 40 or 41 to 50 to speedrun. I, I, I think I think logistically you can't do both because something has to get sacrificed. Um, and then it's a lot... Uh, I remember Zyron said this for a little bit. He said something that carry. Uh, one of the things that carries... The scoring run is lethargy. 
And I think you're you're trying to do a massive amount of lethargy big pulls to get the highest score and to get the most kills. Um, and we're talking Zyron, who's been getting, if not 1.9 million, close to 1.9 million. So like we're talking the highest scores out there. So something around those effects. Um, again, don't necessarily quote me though, because I haven't really gone into mega serious mode for scoring. My highest score, I think, is a 1.79 million, so it's not bad, but certainly not up there. Um, you wish you just Finn stream that. Well, send that into his uh, send that into his suggestion box. Poke him. Now that he's a partnered streamer, man, he's gonna start playing like weird ass games. You know, he's free. I saw him playing Honkai last night. So, uh, put it in the suggestion box. Be like, hey Finn, can you do this, please? Thanks. <laughs> I'm sure he'll listen. <laughs> I'm sure he'll, uh... He'll totally do it for you, Rush. <laughs> he had too much fun playing against... Yeah. He got some, uh... He got some, uh, IRL trophies for playing on a controller, too. It's great. He said he doesn't want to do that. Well, ask him better. I was like 10k away from taking a 25th spot on leaderboard, and I feel like I can make that difference. If I lose it a day later, I'll be happy. Yeah, what was your score, by the way? Uh, because I'm averaging like 175-ish. And I'm not really going for high score, but I'm, I'm hitting certain things. So, I mean, I, at least I can give you some notes to get on the board. Like, I do care about getting on the board, Shen. Um, that is my, at least, somewhat priority. So if I get to, like, top 10, that's fine. If I sit at, like, 20, that's fine, too. Um... But I do want to be on the board, that's top priority. Yeah. Hey, DanJ. Hey, DanJ. It's a little late, but, uh, good to see you, man. That's what I'm thinking, except for maybe the popular jobs, like, like... Like machinists and all that stuff. I'm not sure what I want to do to this floor. Like I got into this floor and I wanted to do something, and I am unsure what that answer is. I think I'm gonna strength and flight the next one. Let's do that. Sounds like a good plan. I'm gonna try to deal with that goo goo over there. Dude, this visual kick is killing me right now. He getting line of sight at IRL. Valga! What's up, Valga? So thanks for shouting out our buddy Valga. Member of the community. How is your stream, man? What are you up to? Let me know. Fuck oh, man. I'm Angelus Demonus. Doing some deep dungeon paladin, trying to get my first clear on the Paladon. This, this job has been a little bit cursed for me, so I'm hoping I can uh, get this clear, but I uh, hope the stream went well. What are you up to? Get some DSR prog, and then a bit of ninja P. Ooh, uh, we were just talking about, um... Aurora, Aurora was in here asking what was people's favorite um, job in Deep Dungeon and then combo it with what Deep Dungeon. So like, you know, Reaper PRTD, Red Mage PRTD, and Ninja PRTD was fun. I like Ninja Heaven on high, but Ninja PRTD I, I do like a lot as well. Good job combo. The Gubu Paradise. He's a very good player, ooh woo. I think I think by default anyone who engages with Deep Dungeon or is in the community is already a really good player, so. Ban this guy for being serious. <laughs> you go you guys you mods go fight it out in the back alley. Ninja PUTD. Hell yeah.
We will give it- oh god. Yeah. Pin's best defense, coughing at you. Wow. So cruel. You know, I- I- I kind of wish I- I could do this. I don't really think it'll go well in public, but... Like, fortunately, I never had someone come up to me and, like, question the reason why I'm wearing a mask, you know? Especially nowadays when, like, barely anyone is wearing a mask now. But part of me was- was thinking, like, if anyone does do that, I would, like, take off the mask and just start, like, coughing, like, horribly. And be like, yeah, I don't feel too well, that's why the mask is on. And then it's just like, yeah, get off my back, dude. <laughs> Don't... push me. Like me being just absolutely sarcastic. What do you have a mask on? Yeah, that's why I have a mask on, dumbass. I'm gonna get that chest and go. You just say you're ugly? Alright. I'm out of here. Uh, how do I want to do time? I think I was playing a flight and then I gotta really push time. I might do dreads, we'll see. I think my palms are a little bit too good to affluence, but I, I mean, where else am I using the affluence? I guess I'll affluence flight. I gotta move a little bit. Time's a little tight, but I do have the play of the dread and the double dip or blah blah blah, and I could storm as well. Like, maybe I storm 88 regardless, and then dread 89 if it dude has to come to that. We'll see. Is it ever worth pulling on a tank? Um, to a certain extent. Um, in, uh, in really all the deep dungeons, uh, bio, 71 to 73, and then the palace would be 171 to 173, uh, you do have a higher chance of landmines. So, so, it does benefit you to try to do that play. Um, it isn't necessary, like, it's not a requirement to clear, because some people are not going to really handle the big pulls as comfortably as, as everyone else. Uh, it does take a lot of practice, but... You do do the big pull 71-73, and then you go for landmines combo. Um, and that saves you just a tremendous amount of time. And the tanks are the definitely end, the healers can pull it off, but the tanks are certainly built for stuff like that. Um, now, you can do other stuff, like you can do lethargy pulls and stuff like that, but uh, that's a different story altogether. I need to focus here. My left. Man, I actually forgot these guys existed. Well, that's great. I'm gonna turn around so I can see the exit. There is. Oh, I saw one coming. It says flighted, I think, right? Yeah. How is Reaper Neo? I don't know. Um, I assume it's good. I have not done it yet. I don't like. Uh, I, you've heard me say this before, Dan J. I don't like talking about jobs that I haven't done. So, um, yeah, I can't really comment, but I, I think it's pretty good. It might be the next melee I do, I just don't know why I'm doing it. Yeah, you can get away with land- without landmines. Yeah, you know, it's- it's not risky at all. It helps a lot, but you can totally get away without doing it at all. Um, and then not to mention, like, you could run into the situation where you could- you're trying to go for landmines and you don't even see them. I mean, it's RNG, like, like, it's a high- it's a high chance to see them, but it's not guaranteed. Um, so, but yeah, you don't need to do layman's at all. Yeah, no, no, you're good, you're good, Anjay. Um, yeah, I haven't gotten to it yet. I want to. I was thinking about, actually, what am I doing next week? Um, so I don't know the answer to that yet, but... I'm feeling like I want to bring out a healer already, because I, I want to at least get a healer experience. So I might do healer soon. But, uh... Yeah. The trial. Okay. 
not out of here yet. What is this? Um, Serenity? And I didn't check this chest because the Lamy is chilling here. So let me see if I can get this chest. How does Paladin feel for me? I'm still dreading trying to solo it uh, since the rework. Uh, you know, I really like Paladin SE in Heaven on a High after the change. Um, like, I had a lot of fun. Like, I did not like Paladin in 70, like the OG Paladin. Because it felt just just the, the whole burst phase was so disjointed. You had the the flight or flight first phase, and then you had the the, the requesting cat first first phase. But then having it all together feels a lot better. Um, so bringing it to 90, I like it. There's a, there's quite a bit of mobility. There's a lot of buttons to press, and that really feels fun. Um, and I guess to follow up that combo, I don't like Gunbreaker as much because Gunbreaker to me is too straightforward. Um, so it's boring. It's very capable. I always want to put that out, it's very capable, but it was a lot more boring to me. And Paladin to me is more fun because of what you're what you're doing and how the buttons are pressing. So. I like it. Now in terms of its capability, uh I don't know, they all the tanks feel the same to me, honestly. Like in terms of how much you need to how much time is getting like how long you're taking to kill stuff, it all feels the same to me. Okay. Could have gotten that seal, but I won't. Well. Um more than likely, I'm gonna try to do a Storms on the next floor, because my time is just tragic. I have to do something. Um, and I don't want to push it too, too tight, so I'll probably do a Storms and then maybe a Dread. Let's see. I'm trying to get through EO at least once in every world, just see how it's like. I wouldn't do Paladin at the same way. I like Paladin. I think of the four tanks, Paladin is pretty up there. Warrior is just special, because I do like Warrior a lot. So, um, you know, I do like Warrior, but... Paladin was, was a fun time for me, for sure. I think I still need this. I still don't know what I'm doing, that's okay. Demi-clone would be decent, but I'm not sure if I- Oh, well there's my answer. Uh, I'm gonna... Fight. Let's also fortune. We're gonna go for chests then. As well. Yeah, I mean, I- I... So, it crossed my mind. Okay, well, what if I... What if I demi clone here? Um, instead of go for the Serenity and clear it out. But I felt like my time is a little too low to benefit off the demi clone when I could very well just get more benefit on the next set. Um, I need something faster. So Storm would be faster, Dread would be faster, but the Dread is now here because. Great. I do have to go back and get it though. That should be okay to get there. I want to make sure that the path to the exit is going to be clear. Hope I can get that Spectre and we're good. Like, that might cover all the patrols that are floating around here. Alright. Gotta get the loot! Yeah, sure. And I and the Serenities in EO to me have less value than they do in Heaven on High Palace, so I'm like okay going to two. Like I'm not really worried about it. Get the flight back, that's good. I'm gonna check the chest south, get the dread, and then get on out of here. I think I still need to do something to speed up though. Like we still need something. Um, but more than likely I don't know. I mean, if it's auto-heal, it makes it real easy. I probably just dread into the boss. We'll see what happens. I could try to fight it and then just back up with the dread. Sure. These long rooms are, are hard though, they're troubling. You know, maybe a Storms would be superior to a Dread if I can make it work. I think maybe I plan for a Storms and then get to the boss comfy. I think that'll be a good plan. More than likely I'm not going to see another Storms, but also more than likely I don't see another auto healing. And a Dread is a little bit more safer than a Storms for me personally, because I'm still very shaky on the big ass pulls. Um, I think I think we just do a Storms the next four, so make it comfy. 
I could try to fight it, but I've spent 10 minutes on a 4 before, and that could be a very dicey. I end up using a Dread. Um, feels like on average the floors in EO have more tiles than... Yeah, I do feel like they are bigger in general. Also, this specific layout is way wider. It's it, you walk, you have to walk so much further in this type of floor set too. So that adds to the navigation time. Back to back, no items, huh? Okay, well now that's a little troubling. I'm still okay with the amount of surrounding, however. Target the mimic. Oh, he's. Uh. That's <laughs> not a great pixel. Oh. This is why these big pulls are just not very comfy for me. I'm not good at them. I make too many, too many mistakes here. Oh my god, Dread. Huh. Alright. Not that I would have predicted that happening. I'm still on off the floor. <laughs> I'll check the rooms and then we'll we'll just use the tread. So what I want to do is I want to get to the room because I want to see if it's a mimic and then use the dread to kill it if it if it shows up. amount of time. Have time. I have time if I die, which I would rather not die, but I do have time if I die. Okay, we're gonna bring in the in-game music now, because I do like the boss theme for this. And the boss theme for 99. We are planning a Demi-Clone, so Demi-Clone's coming out, and that should be enough time. It will be a Doga here. I'll save the Onion Knight for 99. This is my favorite boss fight of Eureka Orthos. Because it's fast. Looking for the numbers. Alright. I had a Holy Spirit, I didn't use it.
que é? É 50. Looking for the eggs to give me my position here. Safe spots over here. Alright, rinse repeat. Okay, line AOE first and then circle. Donut. Boss laser. Alright, so far so good. Over here. All right, looking for the egg. Easy here, all the way over here. Alright, repeat. Looks like two more cycles. Okay, Donut Triangle line. Boss laser. Waiting for the that one. One, that's two, that's three, that's four, and this is five. I'm out of range for that one. Looking for the egg. This way. I think two more cycles are good. Looking for the numbers. Okay, line then triangle. Boss lasers again. Cross lasers three times in a row. This is like the most cross lasers I've seen ever from this fight. Dang. Well, to be fair, it's usually dead because I have Onion Knight, but that's a different story altogether. Fiverr. Waiting. It's not botch it like last time. Get to the end. Last time I died like 2% and then climbed up. Oh, over here. Okay, looking for numbers. Got it. Cross laser. Okay. Should be good now. 
Laser Stream. Alright, then he busted. PB! <laughs> PB on Paladin! Oh, that's nice. Alright. He feels like an average floor is an EO, haven't went to the algorithm again. Whoop whoop. Yeah, did it. Okay, so now we just have to get to 99 now. Not too bad. Um, I shall come back. I'll uh, do an ad break. Because we gotta push out the ads. Um, announcements, as we've been doing all stream. First and foremost, we have a merch store. If you guys want to check out the Deep Dungeon attire, it does support the stream. We have shirt stickers and coasters with the art. It actually supports myself and the artist, so if you want to check it out while I'm away, that'll be great. Also, we have the Deep Dungeon survey. Last count, 420 responses. I kid you not, it is 420. We've had 420 in that. If you have any thoughts about Eureka Orthos Deep Dungeon, you want to share with friends, share that, share that uh, survey. Again, I'm I'm very much considering posting it on Reddit. However, I think I'm going to do a different version on Reddit. No changes to the question, no nothing, just collecting the data differently, because <laughs> I think uh, it will get some very different responses from a lot of from from the non-community side of things. So uh, I'm still debating on that. Like I, I think I will. It's just I'm not sure. But anyway. That is uh, shared to the community. It's shared to the people that I that uh, follow me on Twitter. So it's a lot. I, I would say it's more the 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 serious deep dungeon gamers at the moment. Um, but it's still good to share with friends who've only done it for one time. FC members, you know, just just hey, if they if they got some time while they're uh, on hibernation from fourteen, they they did some EO, see what they think. So, um, but anyway, you wearing the shirt right now? Yeah, I'm glad you like it. I like it, there, man. I okay, guess I'll play some background music. What we got? Nope. That plays an EO. Okay, we'll do this for three minutes. BRB, thanks for watching. Fire crest or reset? That is fighting words. But I will say, um, the design look. You know, I asked the artist to make it look badass. So I think it does look pretty badass, to be fair. So we didn't we didn't want to make the fire crest look like un undesirable. Um, so it does look pretty cool. At least the shirt does, and the coaster. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's update the title ninety one plus. Let's go for the let's go for the finale, shall we, guys? Can I clear this finally? Will it happen today? Yeah, probably. But you know what? There's only one way to find out. Let's go in. 91 plus. Alright, what do I want to do? Um... I want to do that. Actually, I want to do that. Okay, that's a dead end. There's a silver chest there, so I do want to fight for it. Gotta watch out for these guys who explode. A AD, uh, ADS coming in. I don't know if it's coming this way though. Ah, uh, it's coming this way. The loading ball of death is incoming.
a bullet. I need some space to move, so I'm gonna go here. Gotta watch behind me though, just in case something else comes. I currently don't see. Checking behind me again. Oh, so, look. Anna! Good to see you, man. I'm going, dude. I'm going. I'm gonna try to get this done once and for all. I can move on, complete the tanks, and go to other jobs. Mining drone is sound. And I would... Eh, I mean, they're not bad to fight. Shockingly, I got a demi clone. I flighted the next floor, so I probably use it on the floor after that to make it sit at a make it sit at two. Staying in. Oh, ah, oh, damn it. Okay, you know what? I pulled them at the same time. Kind of. Come on, eggs. Good job, doing it at the same time. That's how you should do it. <laughs> Might as well put it third. Uh, they'll be out of sync now. Also, I mean, I need to kill. Be honest. Eggs. Okay. Ah, uh, you. Get out of here. I'm probably gonna aggro that. I don't know if I can get through. Uh, oh. I need a good position thing when this goes boom. There's a couple enemies there. I'm gonna go more this way so that when it when I kill it I go away from it. So that I go towards it. So, I have yet to see an auto-heal disable, I think, this entire run. At least today we haven't seen it. I don't recall if my 1 to 40 climb had it, but I have not seen it at all today. So let's just hope that we do see it, maybe? I don't know. That'd be kind of nice. Hmm. I might get the drone here. That's the exit. That is a tr is that a treasure room? It looks like it. Yeah, there's more than five enemies there. Right, you're coming in. I'm gonna pull him back here again so I can go away from him. In case I have a spot to move. I'm not walking past him, which would be dumb. Dumb in my part, anyway. Can 
gonna try to get the reveal and then we're gonna go. I'm, I'm not gonna pull anything, at least I hope not. Just give me the reveal. Okay, good. Give me that for points. Might have to kill to get the. Oh, well, yeah, we might have to kill to get the exit. I have to kill two things to get to the exit. I'll pull the egg first. Possibility I can go the long way around? Uh, that doesn't seem very possible. I think it's still too close for me to sneak past it. I think the furthest one away from me, the one that's up north there, will not give me a problem, but this one closest to me is the one that's going to give me a problem. He's, he's a little bit too close to the exit, so, um, probably will have to die. I'll give it one chance to move. There's a very low chance it'll go in the opposite direction, but it went there, so that's fine. It's whatever. And there's an extra kill. Again, I want to position myself so I move away from the drone when it dies, so I'm going to pull it back a little bit more. Midway... About midway should be here. That should be fine. That drone should not give me a problem. set up a affluence flight for the next floor just to get rid of the flights probably do an affluence alter after that and then probably combo it with a demi clone if it's mimics watch this be auto heal the save oh. okay it's flighted so i don't want to do too much here Coming. Come out. Bum, ba, ba, da, bum, bum. High voltage. Watching for the next move, which will probably go off because I'm taking forever to kill this. Oh god, I'm low. I'm slow. That happened a lot faster than I thought it would. I'm gonna move around a bit. I know I just bursted, but it's fine. Affluence came back. Let me set up the next floor already, which is going to be an Affluence Alteration. Since I'm waiting here. Uh, we'll pull the the egg. Because he's blocking me on the right side. I can't go to that side. Is that a patrol? Uh, yes it is. It is a patrol. Okay. Fully noted. If it comes this way, I'll have to probably dodge it. Because there's no way I kill this fast enough. But we'll try. There must be more- oh, there's probably a- I see. There's probably two rooms down there, not just one. I thought that was a dead end. That's why the thing didn't come back. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, 
You're not dead. I'm gonna check that room first, the one that's in front of me. No eyes on the uh, mining drone, you should get only here. Oh boy. <laughs> it's going my way. Okay. There's more rooms, okay, got it. Uh, I can't recognize the exit though. I'm gonna get this chest and then go to that area. Let's see. The third one. Might aggro the egg. He seems a little too close to the to the edge here. Is that the exit? That's so hard to tell. I think it is. It is the exit. Okay. That is indeed the exit. Really? You're too close. Okay, I see the I see the patrol. I'm gonna pay attention to see if it comes this way, because then I have to adjust. It is not coming this way. Good. I can relax a little bit. So counting backwards with the uh, with the pro with the protomanders that we have right now, um, 98 is wiped. Let's say 98's a dread, 97's a dread, 96 a dread. Let's say 95 is a storm, 94 is the storm. We gotta get through 93 and then we just have wipes all the way up. So definitely probably using a demiclone on the next floor. Um, although the storms can get a little tricky, but we'll definitely use a demiclone. Give me a storm 99. Let me lethargy it at the same time. I'll do all the fun stuff. Okay, I checked the uh, room that I did not look at, which is two rooms deep, the beasts. I affluence this, by the way. So happy that it seemed to uh, give some useful chests. Oh, well, there's a silver. Uh, I can't do anything with it. I only have one serenity. But even if that becomes something useful, it doesn't really matter. I can't. I'm not gonna use the serenity for that. The serenity is like emergency purposes only right now. Um, if I see the ADS, I'll pull it. Otherwise, I just go to the exit. I don't see it. I'm gonna clear the exit, and then we'll work backwards if I need more kills. I can deal with mining drones, they're fine. It's just, since I can avoid them, I would rather not add that to the kill count. Lamia Petra plant. <laughs> sure, that would save me time. And then die? I can do that. Well, let me actually get the Mimic that's here, right? Obviously. Oh, it's like... 93, 94, 95, 96, 7, 98. Okay. We can sight and whatever. All the oh, angle, angle, geometry. Oh, stop, stop. Yeah, I can sight and safety all the way up. That's been good. Surprise. Anyway, water. Same exact debuffs. Good 
lane lane. Lights. Uh, I guess I'll take the box. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to hope that wouldn't happen, but I guess I'm gonna take the box. Auto cannon should not finish. A dread. Ooh. Um. It's a bit messy. This song is so good, by the way. This is a dungeon theme in Octo, too. Yeah, it's Silver Chest doesn't do me anything. Uh, I'm just gonna step on the trap now. Because I only have 15 seconds, I don't even get across fast enough. The storm's back, okay? Because we're just gonna wipe all the way up. I guess. And move on. Move on with your life. Okay, we forgive you. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter what the hell I do now. I just wipe all the way up. Although, storm plays are still very shaky for me. I don't like sh storm plays. Just, it makes it exciting, but uh, it's a little too exciting for me, to be honest. Oh, well. Then you then you get a then you get a, a, a freaking sprint floor. Um, all right, let me let these guys go. Ooh, we got coins. To the left of you. Okay, well, guess we're lethargying. Lether, lethargying. Wait, there's a bronze chest here. Then... Alright, I'm gonna storm here. I might clear out a room of set a room of like seven corrigans. Yeah, they like they, they so what can happen is that um it takes a treasure room. And then puts that into, uh, it makes it into a, uh, it changes it all to Corrigan's. It's, uh, massive points. People like that for the points. Oh, it's a mess. Certified mess. Back. 
I'm gonna try to get to the other room just to open it up. Silver? Ah, we ignore it. Ignoring it. Okay, so 95, 96. So I can demi clone one of these, probably, just to bring it out there. Probably want to leave two demi clones just in case I wipe. It shouldn't happen, but you never know sometimes. Mmm, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Oh, 95, 96. Four more fours. Okay, four more. So I just need to like storm the next one and then we can dread the rest of them. So I probably want a safety so I can have sights for the. For the dreads. I can also flight to make it happen. Yeah, let's just flight. Make my life way easier. Uh, let's just get out of here right now. Grenade for storms. Yeah, mm hmm. Safety play. Speaking of. <laughs> can you say that again? Can you say that again, uh, Sloise? Just, so, just so everyone can hear you. Uh, where's the auto heal? I don't know. Probably in someone else's file. Oops. Oh, we don't want to now. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, hi. Alright friends, I need you all to come over here. Come on everyone, it's time to party. Uh, oh, there's a fit code, there's like... Okay. I ended up at the exit actually. Jeremy, Witching, Doga, Doga. Oh, is this a chest on top of a chest? Yeah, that's a total two. See that? So the Lamia dropped the chest, and now they're all on top of each other, and I can't target the right one. Cool. Uh... There we go. I got it. Okay. Let me get the uh, the reveal. I didn't get the treasure room either. Blessed... The blessed to duck in. <laughs> I like that. Hey, Bedell! Thanks for the three months! That pack kill was satisfying. Yeah. Double witching to make it happen, but I got it back. So, he's good. Witching... Alteration. Thanks for three months, I appreciate that support. I hope your runs have been going well and your 14 gaming's been going well. Okay, let me get the reveal and then off to the exit. Alright, Une, I need you to just nuke him. I got business to attend to. So did Sage runs in Oh, I love Sage and Palace. I actually like that a lot. For the healers, it's such it, it's definitely my favorite. Damn, there's like three Dogas here. <laughs> 
Anyone, anyone need a Doga? Because I have them all here. Okay. Oh! Dog indeed. A dog indeed! Alright, so we just dread the last three. Cool. And then we deal with the boss. Ooh, a classic. It'd be funny if it, like all of a sudden we just get back to floor 10. I gotta be careful a little bit with the... With the Serenities, because they're now back to one. Oh, there's another Dread. It's another Lamia. Apparently she, uh... She, she wanted to come back. Yeah, they get a lot. Um, I would say I probably picked up like six or seven, or if not more than that. That's a really good amount, considering. Oh my god, <laughs> all the patrols! <laughs> like four chimeras all chill in here. That's one. That's two. That's three. Yeah, that was four. Yeah. It's all vibing over here. On your night. Yeah, and they're all in the same spot too, which is hilarious. I'm doing oh I'm late. I'm doing this at the points. While lying up to take up the survey. <laughs> True. True. Oh, I have the strength. Uh, I guess I'll use it. Get this chest. Alteration. Yeah, more points. So, one thing that. Uh, you want to be careful with. So I took the pox by accident because I got stuck in G City spamming. But if you end up trying to in uh, interject like right at the very end of it doing infatuation and doesn't go off, it is a better play to let the other one go in because it might cycle back to 30 seconds and then you'll still be off on the timing. And then you'll just take another pox. So I purposely delayed it, took that second one, and then purity, and then my interject is just ready for the third one if it were to happen. So just watch out for that, because it's like right- it's like just about right on the 30 second recast. If you're late, then you might be late forever, if you keep trying to use it. Maybe I should just like I should have just stormed this or something. I got sights for the next two, which is by design. Alright, next one. I need more water. While we're chilling here. Good. Ooh, it's Sprint. Sights. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Corgans? Okay, I'll come back. I'll come back. Oh, it's another patrol party, apparently. Now we got three time. Well, that's that's still four timers. That's three. 
Score run. Ow. A little bit. I mean, I'm trying to do some scoring, but not like crazy amounts of scoring. That's a lure trap. Ah! Bum, bum. Getting my points. Get the intuition, that's what I want to get. Okay, five seconds till the next infatuation. Feeling it probably might explode. I should have brought the mimic in, but like, yeah, it's probably a demi clone. Nope. You could have given me a hot shirt. Steel. Another chest. Alteration. Ooh, hey, that's this is a score run. Look at that. Not complaining. Not complaining. All right, we dread the last one, then into the boss, and we just call out mechanics. That's what we do. Bum, 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 bum. Big floor. Uh, I guess we can just work the exit. We got fitters galore. Causing myself a problem again. Coming this way, I'll take you. Oh, that's a treasure room. Okie dokie. And that's a fitter doing its thing. Watch my time here. 14 seconds. Do that. Ah, Miss Siren. 
This rogue lights you. Whoa. It's like... It's like three hours past your bedtime. Holy moly. Hey, what's up, Siren? Guys, that's my buddy, Miss Roga Light TV. Good friend. I've known her for a long time. Rogo 6 love Rogio 6 hyper aid of light Rogio 6 hyper Rogio 6 love. Yo, thanks for the 35 months. I appreciate you. Welcome in, guys. Turn the AC. Hello. Um, Miss Miss Siren was doing a sponsored stream. The Final Fantasy 15 EOS game. How is the game? How do you how do you find that? You know, you're not you're not obligated by contract over here, so you can be honest. You like it, you hate it. The TTS on that, I know. Welcome in guys. Andrew's Damon is here. I do a lot of deep dungeon solo. I do some variety as well. Currently my variety game is Honkai Star Rail, which I'm gonna be playing tomorrow. You've actually come at a good time because we're about to go oh, what am I doing? We're about to do um <coughs> we're about to do the 99 boss. So if you haven't seen the final boss of Eureka Orthos, might be spoilers, but we are doing that in a second, so. Welcome in. Oh wait. Uh oh, turn the AC, thanks for the 24 months of support. I appreciate that. Run, 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 run. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. So when he came back, cool. Um, uh, surprised great time, wasn't sure what to expect, but you can make a guild, and so obviously we create- Oh, obviously, I mean, why wouldn't you? But yeah, I'm, I'm glad you had a good time, and, uh, really proud about you, let's go. Um, I did see that, I did see that sponsored stream. Uh, it, it, it crossed my path, but I just didn't have the time for it. So I was really happy, like, once I saw that game, I'm like, oh, sweet, you got the sponsor, so, very cool. But yeah, I'm, I hope the community had a good time with it, and I hope you had a good time with it. Miss Siren just celebrated her 30 year anniversary of streaming. I remember her first day of streaming. Some of my some of my community members have uh, checked her stream out and have apparently never come back. So that's how that's how good she is. <laughs> I always joke about that. It is actually partially true, but it is fine with me. You're in a good home. Went super well. I was very nervous about it. Thankfully, everybody seemed good. He's good people. Definitely check around. All right, time for boss time. Let's go, one unite. You know, I could have taken the dread into the thing, but whatever. Who cares? This boss is hard, um, but not my favorite. Ninety is more my favorite boss here, but this is a good one with a good song. The most you see from the Eureka Orthos? Uh oh, spoilers. This is a good boss. Um, this is a good this is the good boss that we have here. Uh we are ice. We're gonna get behind to avoid the innocent needles. And then we're gonna be finding elements. I need fire. This is gonna be cut in half. I need the fire side. Right over here. I need to swap elements, hot and cold. Staying here. AoE's coming out. He's gonna call a blade. This doesn't do anything, but then we have to pay attention to empty or solid. Empty is in, and I need to cheat to cardinal direction if I need to go. Cardinal direction. If I stand there, you can't stand center. There's a pixel in the center that will avoid that, but uh, I'm not into that right now. Behind. Watching elements. I am ice. Watching his element. It is ice. I need to swap to fire. We cannot be the same element. I'm taking intentional damage here to swap to fire. We are staying out and into cardinal. Right over here. He's good. So that spot I stand in in particular is safe for two different variations. Solid is out, and then I stand in that spot. It, hopefully we get to see it. Uh, this is going to be safe spot on a very specific spot on the ground. The Y-shape over here. We stand here, we are safe from this following mechanic. 
Uh, I don't like it because it's too easy, but it is what it is. I'm looking for fire. Yeah. We're good. Rinse and repeat. Behind. Watching my element. I'm fire watching his element. He is ice, so I'm taking no damage. Gonna be in between, right next to a needle over here. That's a safe spot. Standing an intercardinal over here. Good. I'm gonna get, uh, I think, glasses again. I'm gonna be standing on the safe spot here. Boring. It is that, again, on the floor, you can use the marker on the floor to tell you where to go. It is safe every time, and there's one in every part of the arena, but that is going to be safe. I need fire. After you. Behind. Watching my element. Survey says I'm fire. Boss is ice, so I stay fire. Okay, good. Staying intercardinal. There's the second variation. This spot in particular, this like T is really good. That's that's why I like to stand to, to avoid all that. Uptime is not fantastic, but it is what it is. Glasses again. Where's my Y? Oh, safe spot. There's another variation which has fire. I wonder if we'll see it today. I don't know. RNG. I need fire on this side. Behind. Watching my elements. I am ice, watching his elements. He is fire, I am not changing. Going in, and then cheating to intercardinal. Oh, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Alright, now we get to see the other one. Here I like going on the outside, because the one time I went on the inside, I got burnt. <laughs> pun intended. So I'm gonna go on the outside, just to play a little safe. I'm gonna go into the one that explodes. Over here. Over there. That was a little close. Okay. 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 And we're good. I need ice. This way. And that's not even. Ew. Yeah, I actually get to have Ununite in my picture now. There you go. Paladin is finally complete. <sighs> this is the smooth run. I mean, this is how Paladin should have gone. I see. Paladin should have gone like this, but yeah, whatever. Makes it, I guess, it's more content. Delayed three weeks. It's fine. Another job. That's uh, number 8. That's the uh, 12th clear. Number 8 on the Omni.
We're almost halfway, almost halfway through the jobs. Hell yeah. Thanks guys for watching that. Bust out, let's go, bust out the onion. Onion Chad. Onion bro. Doo doo doo. Look at him, look at him run with me with that shield and the sword. Let's do the moving it. Pretty place. Um. This is, I think, a much- this is a way longer run, by the way, than Palace of the Dead going to the bench. So you have to accommodate for like, about a minute and a half, two minutes just to get down here. Uh, part of- part of the challenge, <laughs> getting down here. It's a- it's a long-ass walk. Yeah, I think the- what Finn said, optimize- if you want to optimize speed, you want to sprint, which I did, you want to sprint as the boss dies, because you get a second sprint, uh, on your way down. That's the optimized sprint strat. <laughs> Hey, come on, any night. Get the picture. Get the picture. No, this way. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Look at him. There we go. We did it. We did it. Curse and yeah. It's okay. We'll find another curse. It'll be fine. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't have to wait too long. I'm sure I'm gonna find something else that I curse. Finish right as I got back from packing. Yeah! 1-7! I'll take a 1-7. That's pretty good. I was kind of going for... I was kind of going for score. I got a 1-7. I like it. Good stuff. Guys, thanks for being here for that. Hey! Got the clear. Right back in the saddle. After doing the charity week. And then the Honkai week. And then we're back into the... Back into the, the clear attempts. And we got it in. So, hell yeah. Let's go. And that is the end for me. Hey guys, thank you for being here. Look, my bot is like, yeah, I got you. Those are all the socials. I don't even think I, I don't have to type anything. Um, for 14, we are gonna come back on Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern. We got a guide. Machinists, Protomander Time Management Guide. It's something that a lot of people have been asking for. They've been basically saying, hey, look, I watched your video, but like, why are your palms so good? Like, you seem really lucky. Well, we're going to explain what that luck is, and that'll be all what we're going to do Sunday. Explaining how to use all the stuff. So if you want to kind of look for, ask some questions, or just sit in and just listen in, that'll be Sunday. Um, tomorrow, I'm back for Honkai. We're going to be spamming Simulated World 6. More than likely, just 6, even if I clear it, because I'm not high enough to get to the other ones. So if we clear tomorrow, I'll probably try to do different builds and stuff. So if you want to see uh, Simulated World 6, that is tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, again, the announcements we had this week, we have a merchandise store related to Deep Dungeon. If you want to buy some uh, POTD Heaven on High related shirts and coasters and stuff, um, it does support the stream and the artist. More importantly, support your artists. That is very important, so definitely check it out. And then, of course, the survey. If you've done Eureka Orthos and you have some thoughts, you love it, you hate it, uh, save that, fill it out, take your time. I'm going to keep that survey open until 6.4 shows up, because once 6.4 shows up, no one cares about EO, so we're going to do it while people still care. So definitely keep that in mind. We have up to, let me, let me check this again, 423 responses. That's a lot of people considering. So we're going to definitely get that further and uh, pushed out and we still got a couple weeks to gather some info. But yeah, thank you guys for being here. This was an awesome night. I'm going uh, to go relax and, and, and chill until I get sleepy and all that stuff. Um, let's go see who I can drop you kids off to. Ideally... Oh, yo, let's go here. I know. I haven't been, I haven't raided this gentleman uh, in a bit and I want to raid him. And he's, he's popping off. Let's go. He's, uh, Z, thanks for being here. I, I had a fun time in your stream, by the way. Good stuff. Um, we're gonna go to our buddy, I taught you so. He is popping off, dude. He is, uh, he is a friendo. He's doing some uwu, I think. And a lot of you guys know who he is. And, uh, let's give him some support, shall we? Get into Mr. Todd. Um, you'll like him. He's a great, great, great. A uh, member of the community in general for 14, does a lot of raids, helps a lot of people. Um, so you're gonna enjoy his time there, so we'll drop you off there. Thank you, have a good night, hope to see you tomorrow, or Sunday, or whatever. Have a good weekend. Good raid. See you guys. Bye-bye. Thanks, Siren, for the raid again, I appreciate you.